Good morning, everybody. We are back. Back with a new game today. Not just playing 10 ball. We're starting out the U.S. Open 8 ball championship out of Griff's Bar and Billiards in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm going to click on a few things while you guys filter in and make sure we're ready to go. You can see here. FSR, Sergio Rivas, first up on the stream table, on the feature table, I should say. What's up, Aaron? Welcome, welcome. Everybody, find the stream and share it out. Let me make sure we're live on Griff's TV. And that we are. Good, good, good. What's up, Laura Berg? Good morning. You know what time the 10-balls final is? The 10-ball final is at noon, right around noon after this match. Right around noon after this match. What's up, back salad front blunt? I always text the streams to all the homies. That's right. My man. Good morning, Steve Griffith. Good morning, Ike. Everybody filter in. Let me get the thumbnail set for the video so everyone knows we're playing eight ball today. We'll save that. Boom. Good morning, Monique Greer. Kenny Koo, good to see you. Uh, the race will be on the scoreboard when we when we go to the lag, but uh, they're racing to eight for this tournament. Sergio Rivas hitting a few balls here. Let me uh, – I'm going to step out of the booth real quick, let everyone know that we're ready to go. I think everybody's getting in here. 200 people hopping in already. Titles are good. Thumbnail good. Overlay good. Music popping. Trying to wake everybody up this morning. Let's see the stroke by Sergio Rivas. Look at that cue ball. Holy crap. Okay. I'm going to tell them we're ready to go. Here we go, FSR. Ooh, that's a close one. That is a close one, but it looks like FSR got it, I think, from this angle. Yeah, FSR got it. But it looks like Sergio's going to be the one racking. I was using some of my software. Let me turn my music down here. It's a little bit too loud for me. Turn that down. It's probably coming through on the mic. I was using software. The OBS software can create a straight line across the screen, and I zoomed in and put that line across the top of the balls. And you could you could definitely tell. Oh wait, no, no, it was Sergio. No, no, I was reading it wrong. It was Sergio, the one on the left. Sorry. But anyway, players got it right. It's an early morning, guys. I'm, I got four hours of sleep last night. I was editing editing some videos, but I'm excited to be back. 
Ten ball finals at noon, guys. Right around noon after this match. Checking out that Taum Max Rack for the eight ball. The eight ball template looks like uh, Sergio's kind of struggling to get them all in there. <laughs> template on eight ball is a little bit if you're not used to racking it, it's a little bit finicky just getting the balls there in the first place, but they should freeze up real nicely. There you go. All new day, a whole new tournament. A whole new chance to impress the world. Sergio Rivas to break. Look at that bridge. Nice and tight around the queue. Pops him. Little kiss off of the second ball. Stopping it from going into a pocket. And he's got a dry break out the gate. Stripes are looking a little bit tough here with the, where the 13 and the 15 are sitting. I'm, I'm going to guess that FSR goes with the solids here. Two ball has a pocket in the side. You can use the two ball to get on the four. Maybe use the four as your key ball because the eight only passes down here. Play it backwards. See if you can get things rolling here with uh, maybe the take care of these first. I'm not going to pretend that I know eight ball patterns, actually. I'm going to speculate, guys. I'm going to speculate first and then learn. And then hopefully, by the end of this tournament, I understand this game a lot better. But I kind of look at 8-ball with, like, pseudo one-pocket rotation eyes. Because I don't play a whole lot of 8-ball. But excited to watch these guys, the best in the world, pick the pick these racks apart. Ooh, this is really good for FSR with the seven ball coming out. Seven ball being in this position right here is really good to be able to use that as insurance, like positional insurance at some point in the rack. Unless he has to use it right now, but I would I would maybe use the positional insurance right now. I mean, insurance is still insurance if you use it right away. Whatever it is, you don't like it. This is kind of what I thought he would do. Oh, this looks a lot worse from this angle, though. I thought he was going to go with the two ball right now. But uh, from this angle, that is a tight pocket, and he's kind of far away. Could get a funny skid on that that type of cut angle as well. So, yeah, interesting spot for FSR right out the gate, especially having the opening having the opening shot of the rack. We call that the oh crap ball. I like that. Who won the U or the ten ball final? We haven't played the ten ball final yet. We ended up not streaming it last night because the semifinal went pretty late. FSR decides to tie up the fifteen ball real, real tight. Sergio Rivas now with with stripes in a spot where it's so hard not to sell out here. FSR has so many options out in the open here. That it's really tough to make a good hit on a stripe and find some place to duck and cover. I wouldn't be surprised if Sergio takes a fair amount of time trying to decide what to do here. What's up, Gerard? Welcome, buddy. I'm sure someone has already answered this, but what time is the 10 ball? I'm going to pin pin it in the comments on YouTube. Okay. 
I'm going to pin it in the comments on YouTube. 10 ball final at circa 12 p.m. Pacific on Griff's TV. YouTube channel. Actually, I'm going to pin that in the comments on Facebook too, so everybody knows what's going on. A little back and forth here. FSR missing the one ball, huh? Boom, we are pinned, baby. We are pinned. What's up, Brandy Beckett? Interesting rack to kick things off. It's like both players have balls that are sitting in good spots. But I think that the table lays just a little better for FSR. It's going to be real tough for Sergio to... Uh, to go full offense and actually get out here with where the 15 ball's sitting. Especially since you have no other stripes. Oops. You have no other stripes in this area of the table that will allow you to easily roll into this window right here. He's looking at that problem right now. It's a big problem. I'd say that the easiest way to access it is if you have maybe this kind of angle that you have right now on the 12 ball and to just roll towards the 15, but you're kind of gambling. Uh, real tough, real tough layout here for, for stripes. Touchy position through at least half of the run out. He's going to take care of the 10 ball first. See where he sends his cue ball. Pops it out for the 14. You could also potentially use the 11 ball if he stops the rock in a spot where he can come off the 11 ball here and follow this way. But he's got a really small window to fall in with his cue ball about this big. And you could extend that out this way just a little bit. Oh, uh, what am I? who am I kidding? The two ball will stop the cue ball. So if he gets position on the 15, honestly, anywhere in here. That 15, he can use the two ball to stop the cue ball. He might go after it. Yeah. Well, let's just watch. What type of template rack are they using for the 10 ball? It appears to have a slight curve on the sides. It is the Taum Max Rack. Town's new template rack. They're using it for both the 10 ball and this 8 ball tournament. Race into 8. Hide in, what's up? Greetings to all of you from Vietnam. Welcome from Vietnam. Wow, he's going to use the 12 ball. To fall into the window we were talking about earlier. And the key ball situation, I'm assuming using the 13 as the key ball to get on the 8, has just a little bit of traffic in here, where if you don't end up with much of an angle on the 13, it can be tough to get around those balls. So, you know, if the cue ball ends up right here after kissing the 2, after shooting the 15, it might be a little flat. Let's see how he deals. Hello from Germany, Thomas. Welcome, Tomas. Look at the window. Look at the line. Got to shoot the 15 here first. Got to try to create an angle on the 13, I think. He's shooting the 13. He's shooting the 13 first. Doesn't the two ball stop you get from getting back to the eight? And you're jacked up right now. I think you got to shoot the 15 first here. 
Oh, he was looking at the angle on the 13 that he's going to try to achieve, maybe. He was just trying to see where he's going to land on the 13 and what is available to get to the 8. Tough to move the cue ball here. Maybe draw off the side of the 2. Don't want to get too straight on this 13 ball. We missed the whole 2 ball. What a great shot. This is a, this is a great, great run out from Sergio so far. If he ends up sealing the deal. If you're asking about the 10 ball final in the chat, make sure you look at the top of the chat, guys. I pinned a comment in the chat. I'll say that every 10 minutes because I know it's going to be asked every 30 seconds. So, Look at that. Overcuts the 13 to get the cue ball to move. Sergio Rivas, really nice run out here to take the first game from FSR. They've been playing for a while, ain't they? The first game was very, like this run out that Sergio just made. Yeah was extremely tight position on a few shots. I mean, look at look at how he's tiptoeing around. He feels like on edge. A little gingerly. Yeah. Even Evan's noticing. Did you let them know where they can find live scoring? Yes, live scoring on Digital Pool. On Digital Pool. If you want to follow the scores of all the rest of these matches out here. Was so that US down there? Open people. There's Carlo. Carlo Biado. Carlo. Sergio. One to zero. Farmatis. It's good to see you in the chat, man. Look at this break. Now from FSR. Two mm. balls down. Breaking it like 10 ball. Holy crap. Look at the spread. GG. Oh, it's looking GG. pretty good. As long as the seven ball goes in the side. I, I feel like I feel like you could give Yeah, the seven ball goes. It, at the very worst it, you can do the compress the point shot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um Ooh, actually the three fifteen cluster right there, look at this. I guess they both go to this corner, and you can use maybe you can maybe if you take care the of the five ball, ball, yeah, and then then use the four to get to the three. That might be uh, available, or no, if the five ball's still there, I wouldn't recommend actually coming off of this side of the this ball to try to get position on the fifteen because it doesn't go. I like solids. I definitely like solids. I definitely like solids. Could maybe use the two to get a better angle on the seven to drift down to the five. Yeah, I mean, again, all all dependent on whether or not it's it, it goes easily in the side, you know. But yeah. yeah, I like that. I mean, if you can get, you're already going to be underneath underneath the seven ball to get down to the five ball if it's there. So I'm with you. He's not thrilled because the first kind of the first couple shots really dictate whether or not you're able to run out the rack. And so, whenever you're playing eight ball, you're looking for the easiest option possible. And usually, the easiest option possible uh, garners some insurance along the way. And it looks like here that if you go aggro, if it's that big of an issue, then I might almost take stripes and play the nine ball in the in the lower right. You know. Because really the nine ball would be the only issue. No, the 15's an issue too. Oh, because remember? the five ball's still in the way. Yeah, yeah five ball's in the way. Five, 15 yeah. doesn't have a pocket, so I think you got to go solids. But yeah, the, the rack is is not incredibly technical. But I'm sure the reason the reason he's taking his time here is because there's not a lot of insurance along the way with this particular layout. You know, if you if you don't get there, whoa! Don't tie up the two ball with the 14. Wow, he's good. He's yeah, turned out great. I was surprised he hit it so hard. I was I'm wondering if maybe he was just trying to make sure the cue ball got over here. Maybe it was oh to get to the four. No, but then how do you get back to the three? Oh, use the five maybe. Roll forward to a perfect angle on the five. Oh, look out! Look out! Look out! This is gonna be trouble. It's going to be dead perfect because now he can draw around the three. 
Is it too thin to draw around the three? Um, we're going to about to find out. Because I mean, he's so close to the ball, it's easier to get that action on the cue ball, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, if he was another six inches away, I think he'd be beautiful. But this just looks a little a little thin than what he maybe what he wanted. Maybe the slide kind of got him a little bit? Just the speed, I'm sure, yeah. Yeah, this is real thin. So, going to have to negotiate a way back down to the three at some point. Oh. Or nudge it. Or nudge it. There I you mean, go. And he has a shot on the one. There you go. Problem solved. FSR. Never a doubt. Now he's got the strut. Did you see the strut, guys? Yeah. When he knows he's done the hard work, he, he gets that little strut where his arms, he goes like this. He starts walking like this. That was the best moment of my life that just happened now. <laughs> Is that easy, huh? You heard it here, folks. Mike is easy. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> All right, so the two passes the 14 on the right then? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, he's looking goes, at it. Oh, yeah. yeah he's, show. Good. he's good. Three balls, the key ball, this Leads rack. natural to the three. This rack is over. Nice big punch stroke here. Oh, the link in the description. I thought I copied and pasted the eight ball bracket, but I will fix that. Thank you so much. Whoops. Ooh. That is updated. FSR does take it. This is a former World 8-Ball champion we got right here. Yeah. Break and run specialist. You notice the spread of the balls off the break, making a ball and then having the balls all spread wide open. Sergio, when he broke, broke dry and had a couple of clusters to deal with. So here comes that town max rack. Whoa. I'm going to set some presets here on this. There was a lot of yeah. really good matchups to choose from opening up the event. We wanted to make sure and keep the finalists of the 10 ball off the TV table just so that way one's not getting an advantage over the other. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't so, want to. You know, getting more table time than the other. So after this round, we are switching over to the 10 ball finals. Make sure and go like and subscribe to Griff's YouTube channel. Basically, what I'm going to do is we'll, we'll stay live on the Griff's channel straight through. Okay. So the Griff's channel right now is live. We'll, we'll stay live straight through so the viewers that are there already won't have to find the video again. And I'll just shut the other ones off. I got you. Yeah. FSR didn't have much trouble racking at all. Uh, Sergio seems to be, you know, taking... Maybe he's not used to using a template on 8-ball. You know what I mean? But I do like... The spread on 8-ball is so even with a template rack. Interesting. He's using a BK3. I heard a few pros this last week say that the BK2 was their favorite the break queue ever. The best. It's the best. It's not even close. It's back when Predator made... I mean, they, you know, they, Predator made that break queue exceptionally well. My favorite yeah. break queue also. With the stock tip, I mean, it was just the absolute nuts. Ooh, Ooh unfortunate. Boy. That's a bit unlucky. That is unlucky. I'm liking stripes here stripes, just because you yeah. got you got more real estate to move the cue ball. He's asking whether or not he gets it in the kitchen or anywhere. I wonder if this is uh, the way that FSR has always played eight ball. where Because he's such a fast player, right? Generally very much speaking. A, very much a rhythm player. Um, so, like, maybe he just saves. He does all the possible thinking right at the beginning of the rack. 
which is what you need to do in eight ball. But it seems like he takes it a little step further because he t does take quite a bit of time deciding What's and then pops into the rhythm. You can just see him putting the roadmap together in his head. Yeah. For those of you that, that uh, love eight ball and, and play maybe in leagues, uh, my, the number one tip that I would give my, my league teammates with Four, eight ball. 14-11. 14 14-11? Yeah. What? No, I'm saying playing the 14-11. What were you going to say? The, tip? the 14 wasn't on the table. What was that ball then? Whatever was it? 12? The 12. Oh, excuse me. Okay, okay my, yeah, bad. Yeah. my bad. The 14's green. Um, no, I was just going to say the, uh, the, the, main thing, the main tip I would give my teammates, especially like if you're... Ooh, baby. He still has a shot, but it's not what he wanted. Just as an example, the easiest way to go from like an APA 3 to an APA 5 is just make a plan. Every time you come to the table, have some kind of plan, whether it be, I am running out right now, and is that realistic? You know what I mean? Or I'm going to run two balls and then play safe. Or, you know, whatever the plan is. And the plan might change if you don't quite execute like you're trying to, right? But before you continue, formulate a plan. That's what 8-Ball is all about. It's all about planning ahead and making sure that you're giving yourself the best chance to to uh, convert the rack to a win. Because if listen. you don't plan ahead, sorry, if you don't plan ahead and you leave one or two balls on the table, the other players got the whole, they got the world. Well, so. it also shows address the issues early on and... The good thing about eight ball is that you can have alternatives like Francisco did there at the very beginning, right? Yes. Because he handles that 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 region up top, it gets a little funny whenever he starts coming down south and has an option to continue his run, you yeah. know. So didn't flirt around there. Good run from FSR. I'm gonna be honest. Sometimes things get a little funny for me when I go down south too. But um, <laughs> okay, just, no, all right. I'm talking about playing right. pool. Like right, when you buddy. get near the stack, okay. you know, things get clustered wow, up in the stack. <laughs> oh. Oh, all right. Well, what are you laughing at? I'm, I'm not laughing at anything. This guy, this guy over here. You, what are you doing? You're the one that said it. Uh, <laughs> Vitaly was full of vitality yesterday. Yeah, he was, Robert DC. Must have been those uh, Reno 911 shorts. Buddy. Still wearing them, baby. <laughs> he still is. We need to go see HR. Oh gosh. After this morning. I have no idea what you're talking about. Yeah. Uh, FSR, see what I mean? Used to the template rack. Seems like the balls are, are racking up really nicely. Moving quickly. <laughs> Here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a chat box up top too, man. All right, let's see. Race to eight. Alternate break. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Hey, Coming, hey. We're missing the whole break. Huh? No, they're not. You are. Am I? Okay. It's only you. Oh, what the? What the heezy? Where'd it go? I wonder if. Why is that so big? Golly. Well, I didn't do this yesterday, sorry. Sergio using the new BK4. Ah, okay. Okay. I forgot they came out with another one. There we go. Uh, they're, they're using that name until the wheels fall off. I'm sorry, guys. I, did, I couldn't help myself. Okay. What's that? You did great, man. You did great. Got some issues here. Not sure how he plans on attacking. Could just call safe, pocket the six ball, and pin him up behind the ten. You know what I mean? It opens up the stripe down there and gives you options. If if the you know because the five's tied up for now. Playing the oh, okay, you just played it straight up. Well, yeah, I mean this is probably what a pro does, but if I'm if I'm not confident. <laughs> 
in if I'm not confident in getting and dealing with the five ball down there, you know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm not confident in the run out. There's nothing wrong with just saying I'm not even going to pick my group. Wait. So what are you what are you saying to do now then? Well, before. Oh, okay. okay when okay. he had the six right there behind the ten, there's nothing wrong with just you know letting your opponent make the decision and, and uh, putting them in a bad spot. I mean, now to your point, what you were saying earlier, you really got to decide what you're going to do with that with that three because the last thing you want to do is open th- up. Oh, the it's the three and the five. Or the five, the, the five ball. The three me. barely passes the, the stripe on the rail as well. well I, I mean, talk- it goes in the bottom yeah. left, but yeah. yeah. We were both talking about the five yeah, in the first yeah, place. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry about that. Um, but, no, you're right. I think it's time to just, if you can't get there, figure out where you're going to lay up to, yeah. you know? Two ball is on that side of the table. Um, these guys are always thinking, how am I, I going to not let my opponent to the table? If you could get somewhere like to the left of the nine ball with the cue ball, then you can cut in the two and go at the five. You know? So that would be where I would try to get to. You know what I'm I saying? I see what you're saying from dead center table. Yeah. yeah. If, you get the cue, if you get the rock right in this window right here. Right. And then you can cut the two in and break this out. That's where I'm trying oh, to get Oh, he's trying to move the three too because the three don't pass up here. Okay, well now 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 it's time to go in in the maybe chip them mode it's it's tough from here fsr is going to show me something if he runs out from here i mean they show me some they show me a few things but this is tough do you think he was looking at the three ball combo there for a second I mean, I'm sure it crossed his mind. <laughs> he's not mad at his money, though. You, he calls the three past this stripe on the rail. I think he's good. Looks like it passes. Do we get the overhead columns? Yeah. Okay. So. Oh, that now, window you were talking about. If he can, yeah. If he's got the two, I don't, I don't think he does. But if he does, he's got the seven and the one kind of his insurance up there right. at least something to look at you know and the five about. is probably going towards the side pocket here it'd be really unlucky if it lays up on the long rail oh Ooh, we missed the two gotta make it gotta make the ball mike Ooh. learned that uh what two days ago now what's that you gotta make the ball oh yeah yeah i mean this has been an enlightening trip um in pool making the ball is important so learn something new lenny uh, Jason, I'm guessing I'm, I didn't ask Jason why he wasn't playing, but I I would imagine he's it's because he's getting ready for Premier League, which is happening at his at his uh, pool room. So a lot of moving parts for that production and getting everything ready for that. So that would be my guess. Meanwhile, Sergio stripes wide open. Yeah, it's all about this whatever it is, the orange ball, 15 ball. I need some more coffee, man. Yeah, I know. <coughs> um, right there. I'm actually, I'm going to go get some. Do you want some? Like regular coffee? No, I might order some oh. Starbucks something. You're, this guy likes the sweet. I'm not fruit. trying to be like too much of a diva. Just, you know, in the morning, you like something yeah. you know, decent. He's a caffeined. Oh, for sure. No, yeah, if you're, yeah. If, if Scooters are welcome here at, at Griff's. We learned that the other <laughs> yeah. day. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Anywhere we, in the room. We incur- put the scooter on top of the table while they're playing. Why not? We'll get you some ramps. Yeah, that's right. We'll, we'll, Actually, we'll just go out there and we'll, pick you up. Yeah. <laughs> Make yourself right at home. Yeah. Uh, guys, the 10 ball info is in. It's pinned at the top of the comments, guys. Look at the top of the comments section. All if, the info you need is right there. If anybody knows that guy who, who rolled on in with the scooter, put him in contact. I'd love to talk with him. I know, right? You know, I want to I wanna pick that guy's brain a little bit. You think that guy owns a webcam? I don't think he knows what a webcam is. Okay. <laughs> uh, He's got one of those Nokia phones where you're playing Snake, you know? Sergio maybe has too much angle on this 10 to hold for the 13. Up um, table. Yeah, it looks yeah. like it. You got some options here, though. I think you can even try to come off the one ball if you need and to. And go above it, yeah. Yeah, see, so like that. And I think it passes the 11, eight ball almost tied up. That would have been unluggy. He's, he's still good. Now, can he go in the corner? Yeah, the 13 passes. Or is it, it does? Okay. Yeah, yeah. So he's, he's like then. dead straight in right here. He's like, check this out. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's great. Life he's is great. good. Yeah. That's what I mean. I like a thinner hit so that way you can hold the angle because you had to address that, that ball, right? So um, very well played from Sergio. Yeah. 
And he's familiar with these kind of things just in, from playing a lot of one pocket, you know? Yeah. Of using every every angle of the pocket, right? Every side of the pocket in order to um, put the cue ball where you want. Right. Neko Kaneko says, didn't know professional pool players played eight ball. I thought it was only something amateurs do. They do play eight ball, but they play the diff the game a little bit different than most amateurs do. They they actually do, like the reason why, in my opinion, that a lot of amateurs try to just run out all the time is because the pros make it look so easy. The world eight ball champion got like what sixty seventy five thousand something yeah. like that. So nice shot there from Sergio. Look, he's got a nice angle on right. the nine yeah. to get back to the other side of the eight. One rail out, natural. Yeah, he's moving. He's moving his cue ball real nice through these uh, these patterns here. Sergio's a solid player. I think he's from Wisconsin originally. A tough test for him opening up the U.S. Open 8-ball. He doesn't like something here, Collins. Maybe he's a little... Uh, I think he can get a nice I full think it's hit. fine, yeah. yeah. Maybe just thinking about that side pocket. Came up... Yeah, no, he hit it good. timidly because he's, he's yeah. kind of heading in that general direction, maybe. Yeah. Maybe that's what he was thinking about. One ball away from break and serve here and tying up the match. Oops, sorry about that, guys. If you got a little extra audio for a second. Apologies. Oh! <laughs> oh, he Barely was fighting to go in. I don't know what time he plays, but... Yeah, let me check it out. Take a quick moment to acknowledge our sponsors here for this event. Started out with this one right here, the Town Max Rack. If you don't know about Town products, they got some some of the players' favorite chalk in the world, actually. That Town V10, I don't think there's a single pro on the planet that can say something bad about it. Uh, fast and Loose Designs, making all the promotional material for these events. Um, and we've got... <laughs> Diamond Billiard Products. We're playing on these beautiful diamond tables, uh, and they, they chucked a little help our way for the, organizing the event. Uh, one PKT. This guy's just always decked out in one PKT. Loves those guys. Premier Billiards, the sponsor of the All Around. If you need some any of your billiard product needs, check out their website. By the way, if you're in the area, we got some town chalk and gloves here for sale. Actually, they're in the hotel, but I'll bring them. I'll bring him. Uh, I'll bring him back. Yeah, or just reach out to Molina Mike on Facebook. Windows open. Why do I only put interviews on Facebook and not on YouTube? Yeah, I mean, I interview a lot of players on uh, on the podcast that goes on YouTube. But the reels, the, the when I'm live at a tournament, I'm only uploading to Facebook. So. Also, Michelle Griffin, realtor. We had a nice chat last night. Good lord, she was sweating that Vitaly Petsura match like you wouldn't believe. She's a big fan of Vitaly Petsura. Uh, and then also uh, our title sponsor for all four events, Q-Tech, a Goliath in the industry. Fantastic production cues and, and uh, beautiful work. So I think that's everybody. Let's get back to the action. Right off the break here, open table. Two ball hanging in the corner, blocking off the stripes in that other corner. Maybe if you go solids, you can use that to your advantage at some point. Yeah, I think he'll be playing a, a stripe solid combination here and bring the cue ball out. Really opens the rack up. That's really the whole rack, you know? Yeah. The one ball passes down here in the bottom left as you're looking, or in the upper left now as you're looking on the screen. And yeah, I think if you can just get back out center table, you're you're sitting real pretty. 
I think he'll be using the 10 ball here. Yeah, nice shot there from Sergio. Coming out center table. Just wants to give himself as many options as he can. A lot of times you'll see these guys just handle specific areas of the table first. So maybe a 5-1 and then come back or stay down table and then, and then work your way the other way. Looks like he's liking the 7 ball here. Hey, Halcyonius CW, thanks. I'm, I'm really glad you're enjoying the coverage, man. Is one pocket coming up this week, too? It's going to be in, what, uh, six days from now is the start of the one pocket, I think? Six or seven, if I can count. Don't ask me to make my brain work. I'm going to go get some more coffee. You leaving? Yeah. All right. All right, coming up from the one to the five, I think. Sergio Rivas looking to make a move here in the opening round. Just looking to see how he wants to get on the four ball here. I kind of like just coming out one rail. And I don't think the seven ball passes. It's, it's really all dependent on, on that, whether or not it goes in the bottom right. Trying to get in that window for the four, it looks like. I'm guessing. Nice shot there. Takes care of the seven ball. And he's on his way to a, a one-game lead here, getting back serve. It's all about just really trying to minimize the mistakes whenever you get opportunities here for these top guys because, you know, with the template, there's a high, high chance you're going to get a ball down. He's perfect here. Come out one rail. Just giving the shot the respect it deserves. I like it. Following this, we got the finals of the U.S. Open 10 ball. Let me know in the chat who you guys like for that matchup. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to get a sweater in. SVB versus Vitaly. I know a lot of fans are going to be picking Shane, but I tell you what, man, the way that Vitaly's breaking 10 ball, he's going to be tough to beat. Just the score for you guys. We're still barely getting our our wheels going here. This is day number what is it? Day number four. Second event out of four that we're starting. The room is just filled with champions. A lot of the same players that were here for the ten ball are still sticking around for the eight ball. Ten thousand dollars added for each event. Five thousand overall as well. Is he going to come up dry? I think he is. Sergio leaps up. And that's not going to work for the former world champion.
Thanks, everybody, for sticking around with us. Make sure to hit the like and share button. Get it out there for all to see. Thanks to our sponsors for making this stream possible for all you guys at home. All day, every day, till we're done. So, Sergio looking how he wants to attack here. He's got plenty of options, but it's all about this opener. He's going for the six ball on the side, and after that, he should be off to the races. It's just about getting, getting a good, a good position here. Last thing you want to do is just really have that cue ball swing back and forth. Hey Bob, I appreciate that. I'll make sure and uh, order some. We're gonna we'll Uber eat some over. Keep us going for the day. HR Biggs asks, are you switching over for the 10 ball on this channel or do we need to go to the Griff's channel? I would say go to the Griff's channel. You know, we wanna we wanna help them grow their YouTube channel as well. That's why when we were trying to figure out what was the best way, we said let's do the finals on that channel exclusively. So like Colin said earlier, if you're on that channel watching from Griff's, we're not gonna shut off the stream. Um, that one's just gonna continue on through. However, if you're watching on any of the other channels, um, you will need to go to Griff's TV um, and watch after this match is over with. So Shane's playing, um, let's see, Shane's playing Tyrell Blowers over on Windows Open. And so um, I think Vitaly's playing a 10 a.m. match as well. If you guys go under events on Digital Pool, you can find the US Open events, eight ball, 10 ball. The, the eight ball link is in there for the bracket and you guys can check out the live scoring on there. Plenty of matches are underway already. I think Carlos live on his YouTube channel. Just taking a look and seeing some matches. It looks like James Devi is up 3-2 on Mario He. And the other one's Carlos, 7-0, geez Louise. Vitaly, 3-1 over Roland. And Lee Van Cortez is up 4-1 to one on Evan Lunda. Hey, Tim, I, I appreciate that. Um, yeah, you know, it's all all the kudos goes to Josh for being open to it, you know. He knew I was going to want to talk to him today, and, or yesterday rather, and um, I didn't mean to kind of have it be at that point of the day right before his match. But, you know, Josh and I have got pretty good rapport. Um, it's, it's funny because once these guys open up, they're great to talk to. It's just a matter of getting them out of their shell, you know. And so, fortunately, I've... I've been able to build some friendships with some of these guys over the years, and I think they'll know I'll respect their time and and um, try to make it efficient. But yeah, thankfully he was open to it, and it just gives people more perspective versus assuming, you know. So I've always been that guy where, hey, let's go hear it straight from the guy's mouth instead of just, you know, circulating rumors online. As Sergio Rivas is two balls away from taking a two-game lead, and it's going to be his breakneck, so massive game here. I will be commentating the Lucas and Jeremy Jones match. I'm not sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I should have thought about that a little further when it comes to scheduling, but I'm committed and I'm excited to do it. Um, guys who still play the game really well, it's kind of like a tale of the tapes and you guys can check that out on the Shark stream. Shout out to Bobby Hilton. He's doing great things out there in that part of the country, bringing over some great pros. and. I know he's got a lot going on with them in the next um, week, I believe. So, Sergio Rivas, eight ball, side pocket. There it is. They were brewing some coffee, but four two. It's taking a little while. I was chatting with Max Lechner at the bar top. Man, that guy's interesting. Well, you want to bring him on in? I'll hop out. No, I, I like the vibe we got going here. This is good. This is good. Okay, I'm good with it. Yeah. Mm. I just got to get my coffee soon. Yeah. Oh, by the way, someone sent you some money. Oh, snap. But it was for me, for my coffee. So. Man, tough crowd. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Sorry Bob Yunker. I don't think he's ever going to see that money. <laughs> at, least, at, at least he's honest about it. Yeah. <laughs> so the 
coffee should be ready any minute now. It's been brewing for about five minutes. I'll go, just go step out thing. again. I'll be all right. You know who else is going to be all right? That guy's up like 7-0, I think. Carlo? Yeah. Yeah. He looks like he's up 7-0. He's just Not like, a man. in the world. He's like, man, this is fun. He's, he's whistling. whistling. <laughs> <laughs> <That's funny>. <laughs> <laughs> just a walk in the park. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Sergio really kind of struggling with this 15-ball uh, template rack. You know what would be great? Is getting that guy in here for the finals. Carlo? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Why? I've never well, interacted well, with him. He's, he... he's the current world 10-ball champion. Oh, God, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Imagine. Let me know if you guys want to make that happen or if you want me to at least try to make it happen. I'm not gonna, no promises. I'm not going to make any promises. But I can ask him. Worst, worst thing he can say is no. So... Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see if Sergio can continue this run. Nice break. Look at this cue ball. Squared it up. Spinning like a top, man. Whoa, whoa. My camera's glitching. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the controller off and on. That's cool. Wait, is it reset? Never a dull moment. Is it reset? Yeah. Oh, okay. Just the controller. The the controller was telling it to zoom, and I couldn't make it stop. It's all about the opener here. The 11 passes the 2. I wonder if you take on this combo just to get stripes, and then you only have to deal with the 15 ball. That's the problem. I don't know if he can get at the right side of the one in order to make that combo. But unless he might be looking to draw off the 11 ball and go into the one ball here. He's going into the right. Yeah, I think you're going to see him draw into the one ball here. You got to open up that ball. A little risky, but I like addressing problems early on in the rack. Oh, well, this is the other side of the coin. So Sergio's going to play a bank in the side, I'm, I'm guessing. I don't really see any other options here where you're not selling out, at least this way. You're taking a swing. Banks the ball really well, and now he's in position here. Probably going to go after this 13 ball in the corner, and then and then the 10 ball after that. That's what he's looking at now. Just got to put the pieces together. Tin can corner. I want to see an interview with Andrew Blood. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> yeah, Sergio's playing really well right now. Big match for him. Solid player, but I don't know that I've ever seen him. I mean, I could be wrong. I, I don't. I haven't seen him beat a, a player like Francisco before. Or it, it is call shot. Um, or call. Yeah, I mean, just you know, if it's obvious. Oh, and he misses the ball. Kind of try to stun it through a little bit. That's a mistake, especially when you got a chance to continue on. But didn't leave the ball easy for Francisco. He's got some options here. The good thing is, even if you miss it, going for a tough two ball or maybe even a tough one ball, it's hard to sell out.
I just saw Shane walk by. I wonder if he's done with his match already. Maybe you guys in the chat can let me know. I don't see Tyrell over there. I'm going to jump out for a minute and go see what's going on. All right, buddy? Right on. Sorry, just clicking a few buttons, taking care of a couple things. I'm back with it. Are trying to pin him to the back of this four ball. Going to come up just a touch short, but at least covering up the nine and 15 and the 10 quite effectively. Going to be tough to escape here without selling something out. Am I hearing that right? Did SVB finish his match 8-0 to zero already? Hey, guys, while well, we're live up for the 10-ball final on Griff's TV coming up here in a bit, Max Lechner is going to be playing Oliver Ruger some 8-ball on table 13 on the Windows Open live stream. That might be an interesting one to keep your eyes on. Wow, trying to jump over the three? I don't know about this one. Is, there, is he trying to hit the 15? Might be trying to hit the 15 here. Yeah, trying to get over the three there. It's real tough to get up high enough and land late enough to get over that ball. And now Francisco is going to have a chance to use ball in hand to deal with this five ball. And if this five ball is twistable to the corner... As FSR is looking now, it doesn't even need to twist it much. If he's able to get an open look at the two ball up table or even the seven ball on the side, this game is over. Yo, what's up, Chris Knowles? Welcome to the stream, buddy. Can we switch once in a while to the Oliver Ruger match when he plays during the 10-ball final? We'll definitely keep our eyes out for it. That is an interesting one. Oliver Ruger is has a snooker background, so the a large portion of his game comes from pattern play and, and picking apart sticky situations. So it'll be really interesting to see.
FSR converts to a win here. Uh, extracting ball in hand. Which stage are they playing now? And is there a next game stream after this? Victor Aurora asks. Uh, this is first round, very first matchup of the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship this year at Griff's. Uh, after this match, right around noon, right around noontime Pacific, we're going to shut off the stream on Post Up and go exclusive, keep rolling on uh, Griff's TV from B Griff's Bar and Billiards on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed over there to, to show you guys the 10-ball finals. And then we'll be right back in it with 8-ball. Hi yeah, second ball down, another ball finding the corner pocket. Are these balls in the top right corner, top right quadrant going to stay open enough to run out? Looks like things are looking good. No real opening shot for stripes. I think he made three stripes on the break. No solids. Man, the solids are a little bit easier to negotiate from the opening. I wonder what he'll decide on here. He's going to take a moment to... Is he starting with the 15 ball here? Starting with the 6 ball. <clears throat> if he can get premium position after this 2 ball... Should be able to make things make things happen. The rest of the rack is pretty routine. Missed the two in the side. Oh, my days. And the 13 passes up into this corner. Is that the 13 or the... It is the 13. 13 passes up into that corner. 11 ball, the only question now. Going to have to find a way. Actually, the 11 and 9. There's no real ball leading to the 9 ball either. He's going to have to come with some pretty big positional shots as far as moving the cue ball a lot to fall into the proper window for these shots. Guy Woodward is in the building. He is here. All right. In the building. There's another guy if he wasn't playing during the final. For what? What do you mean? To talk about the 10 ball because he didn't play in it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. To be like totally unbiased and just oh, I was gonna sweat ask Carl, the 10 ball. They, they, they dipped out. So. Oh, he finished already? Yeah, he finished already. Did you hear about SVB just finishing his match 8-0 to zero in about 30 minutes? Yeah. Yeah, I asked him. I said, <laughs> said, "Are you done?" And like, just very like, "Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. done." I'm like, "All right, buddy, thanks, pal." Eight ball's easy. Yeah, it's easy when you're the freaking best in the world, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's his favorite game. Eight ball. All right, what do we got going on here? Four three? Is that right? That's correct. Give him a green card, he says. Oh, listen, I'm about to go get a whole stack of cards. Everyone's getting red card, yellow card, green card, you name it.
We're having a great time. We're having a great time. What a good, uh, what a good vibe this tournament has been so far. Dennis Sosi coming in with a ten dollars super chat. Thanks for the stream. Thank you for hanging out. Without you guys in the chat, it's like half as fun. Opening shot, trying to find a way to get into an, uh, into a uh, favorable position on the one ball at some point. Does the seven pass the one in the corner there? Show me that 91. Guess. It does. It does pass, guys. Might be able to get above the one from here. Just follow the rock. Can he follow the rock from here? He's really straight. He might even be able to follow into the short rail and then shoot the one past the three. It's got to be better than shooting the five right now, right? What's he checking on the five ball? He checking to see. All right, let's see what he was checking on the five ball here. Big follow stroke. Does this ball pass? Does the one ball pass? That's what he was looking at. He was looking to see if the one ball could squeak past this stripe, even if he doesn't make the ball as if he hits the point at a good slow speed. He covers the pocket for the stripe, and also, if the ball happens to fall, the cue ball is going to be right here for the taking on the three. Yeah, 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 yeah. That changes everything. The one ball passes the stripe. Can use the... Uh, the four or the seven. Maybe use the four to reposition yourself here after the three onto the seven to make it easy to get to the eight. Either or. I mean, he can get positioned on the eight off of the four as well. But he does go with the option for the four ball, I believe. Francisco playing like more deliberate than I've ever seen him play before. Trying to pick apart these racks. Yeah, use the four to get real nice on the seven. A nice line towards the seven. Just dead perfect. Just dead perfect. No big deal. Was there an entry fee for the players? Every player had a $330 entry fee. $30 went to um, green fees, tournament fees for, for holding the event. $9.99 from Dave Owen. Says, thanks, fellas. Appreciate you. We appreciate you, too. Dave Owen, I appreciate you. I really do. Let's take a, a peek around the room real quick. It's like John Mora hitting some balls here. In his match versus huh, Sky Woodward's just standing right next to the table. I don't know if they're playing a match or just practicing, but uh, we got Lee Van Corteza starting things off with Evan Lunda. Evan Lunda, Mr. Mover, should be able to play some pretty solid eight ball, you would think. Never seen him play eight ball, never seen him in one of these tournaments, but we all know Evan Lunda is here for the banks in one pocket. All the players kind of just settling into this tournament. Coming back to our feature table. Things tied up four to four. I got a buddy that needs one of those green cards. <laughs> 
How long until the 10-ball final? It's pinned in the comments. Pinned in the comments. We're going to do it right around noon after this match. Q's and code, what's up, dude? What is the S above each score? Good question. Speaking of one pockets and one pocket and banks coming up later this week. This is what the scoreboard's gonna look like when we do those tournaments. So this S just stands for score. But I left it there to clarify for when we uh, we do the banks in one pocket and we have to deal with ball count. Change the next song. Skip the Turkish booze. I'm going to need some more Telestrator action. All right. Problem is with 8-Ball, I'm, I'm, I struggle with 8-Ball at least. Uh, I, I just don't have enough exposure to it on a competitive level. I, I play 8-Ball for fun. 8-Ball uh, is a game that I play when I'm, you know, around Sacramento in the, in the local bars downtown that have pool tables as I'm trying to, you know, get to know more of the people that are maybe not so so deep into the the hardcore pool scene that I'm in, you know, trying to spread the roots out a little wider to, to show people how fun this game is and how interesting it is. So I just go out to the bars and, and bang balls around playing eight ball, trying to trying to I play like the more flashy shots to, to try to get people interested and ask questions where it's like, you know, how'd you do that or, or you know, what, what made that happen, that kind of thing. That's what I use 8-Ball for. It's more of an interactive game for me. So since I haven't seen it much in the competitive scene or followed it much in the competitive scene, I should say, some of the pattern play for me just isn't quite as obvious. Uh, and, and my way of logicing, logic, using logic to go through the rack maybe isn't quite as, as uh, sound as with the other games, so... What's my Fargo? It's been fluctuating between, uh, at the at its highest point, like 612, uh, currently at about 589. I haven't been, over the last year, really pursuing the game very hard. Um, did I say 512? 612, 589, I think it is right now, 588. Like I said, haven't really been pursuing the game very hard as I've been focusing more on streaming over the last year. Real nice cue ball here. Real nice cue ball, dead straight in, or, or maybe just a slight angle away from the... Why is he looking in that corner? Wouldn't you want to shoot the 10 in the other corner? Does the 10 go? That 8 looks real close to the 10 ball. Wouldn't you shoot the 10 in the other corner? The 9 passes the 2. I think you shoot the 10 this way, yeah. Yeah, if you're 598, I, I'm willing to play anyone that's like up to 620, 630. Back when I was playing a lot, my, my Fargo was going up fairly quick at the time. When I was really like practicing hard and, you know, working on the Mighty X drill and and uh, working on my, my fundamentals and stuff. So I, 
I'd be willing to play anyone up to 630 just for fun, you know, like like cheap sets. Oh, that's interesting, Jason March. I wonder why the shipping was so much. The town racks. Well, we'll maybe ask, see if we can reach out and ask him. I'm actually going to go ask Mike to text him. Mike, is this happening right now? Is this happening right now? Mr. 8-Ball? Yeah. Shane Van Boning. You can pull this anywhere you like to make it comfortable, but make sure people lean tight in so it just points towards you. There we go. That should stay there. Guys, check out who's in the booth. <laughs> Mr. Mr. 8-0 to zero in, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. I'm just <laughs> running out. Just running out. That's it. Yeah. Speaking of a guy that I was just talking about how I don't know much about uh, pattern playing eight ball because I don't uh, pursue it competitively very much, you know? Yeah. So uh, you're the perfect guy. I can learn a few things. I mean, I've been playing eight ball for about 35 years or so. Yeah. I mean, what can I say? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's a pleasure to watch you just smash them open and, and pick the racks apart, man. It's like, yeah. I mean, I love eight ball. Uh, eight ball, my favorite game, and you know, it's everything is just about the patterns and playing the right patterns and and uh, cue ball control. So right, right, right. Look at the scratch in the side here. I just noticed Sergio just scratched in the side, drawing back to the eight ball. Unfortunate. Yeah. Misjudging the uh, the speed, probably misjudging how he cheated the pocket too. Mike, Molina Mike's trying to do sign language to me through the window right now, and I have no idea what he's saying. Oh, check my messenger. Okay. <laughs> Looking forward to the final against Vitaly? Yeah, uh, Vitaly uh, actually been playing well in the last uh, couple months. Uh, we've been going to the same tournaments. He, uh, he got me in Tessie's Open. Yeah, was it a double dip, or was it a? I can't, uh, I can't remember. I believe I beat him in the first set. Oh, okay. And then I had to beat him twice. Oh, you were you had to double dip him. Okay, gotcha. Um, and I heard it went hill hill. Yeah, it went hill hill, and then I, I had a really tough situation shot, and uh, I hit it too hard and kind of butchered the shot. And, yeah. And um, gave him the match. So. Yeah, sure, sure. That's tough. Did you ask SVB about the scooter guy? What was that guy doing when he was driving by on his scooter in that 10 ball? Oh, uh, that was that was just a big surprise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I saw him coming across the whole room and and then uh, he got to the table and I was like, "Hello." <laughs> Did he talk to you at all or is he just was he just <laughs> no. rolling by? Uh, no, I kind of look at him and said, "Hello." And then and then he uh, drove by and parked it right in front of my shot. Uh-huh. And I walk over and I said, "Well, and I said, "Hey, man, you can't really park here." Yeah. <laughs> did you did you uh, see the meme? Did you see the meme recently that's been going around Facebook? Oh uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you saw it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he funny. he was pretty chill. Yeah. And, you know. So well, you're pretty chill. I'll tell you what. <laughs> I, I in that moment I said, if I if I do the stream next year for the U.S. Open events, I'm definitely going to build an arena. You know what I mean? Like some kind of paneling so that this area can be sectioned off so you guys don't have to uh, deal with that. This is not really, uh, you know, a bad location to uh, play, you know, a tournament. It's always been run properly, you yeah. know, the time and everything. That's more important. Sure, sure, sure. So. Uh, you don't mind having some. I don't mind, you know, the spectators coming, coming in and out. So. Sure, sure, sure. Well, that's yeah. very cool of you. So. That's it's all cool. about the timing and, you know, run properly. Yeah. So, and it's always been that way. So, yeah, and Brandon's Brandon's actually fairly new to the gig of running tournaments and helping out with that. So he's been doing a pretty good job. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's I great. I mean, like I said, he's been running the uh, the time and everything. Yeah. It's run pretty smoothly. Yeah, that's great. Good to hear. What do you think of that town rack? The new the new uh, template. Uh, template is always you know my favorite you know um, because it's more neutral for both players. Sure. 
you know, and it's all about, you know, hitting the rack properly, you know, on the brake and everything. Yeah. So that's the key of, you know, having a good brake and making balls on the brake. So, I mean, I always believe in the template rack just because both players are getting the neutral rack. Right. Um, you know, they're getting the same rack, you know. It, and it has more to do with how you're stroking the ball instead of how the uh, how yeah. the particular person put the balls together in the triangle. There's your boy. Look at that. Right in the foreground. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, that's why... The, that's one thing I like about this tournament that, uh, you know, everybody's enjoying themselves and having a good time. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's always a good place to play. Yeah, that's great. Did we get, oh, no scratch here. He, he just went close to the corner with the cue ball, looks like. Which which screen would you prefer to watch on? Because I can move this thing for you. Do you uh, like the bigger screen up top or do you like this one here? This one right here. Okay, good. This right here is just the chat from Facebook and YouTube. If, I, if you, you feel like it, pretty much see the whole angle of the table. Yeah. Yeah. Early days here. Kind of a tough opening shot, huh? Uh. This is six maybe. I don't even know what side. ball he has. Uh, it's off it the open break. Shot? It's open. Yeah. This is right after the break. Cue ball. Hanging up near the corner pocket. It looks like the six ball would be a good option. And then you got the you got to work on the two and three. Yeah. What do you use to deal with the two and three though? I would consider making the sis. I'm probably taking a gamble and running into him. No. So you make the sis and get position on the five or the four ball. He's well, taking he's the going gamble. Out for the break. He's taking the gamble. Yep. And now he only had the one ball. Yeah. No. No real insurance here. This is a tough shot to take for insurance. Nope. Yeah. I would have slowed the ball and then uh, probably get position, try to get position on the uh, the four ball to get straight in and draw the cue ball all the way down to make the two or three. Sure, sure, yeah. Oh, here's another guy. T-Rex settling in. <laughs> he's a character. Yeah, he is. He's fun, isn't he? <laughs> he still wants me to play. I know he wants you to play. I've seen the videos. <laughs> Him barking at you. <laughs> Still don't like the game, or just don't like the the uh, the bet. I mean, I'm just not really like motivated to play one pocket. Yeah, you know, I don't have the motivation right now just to play that one pocket. If I really hungry to play one pocket, and then I would definitely call out Tony. Let's. You know, let's take a big gamble, you know. Sure, sure, sure. But right now, I'm... Uh, You're focusing all on that. I'm ball. just really focusing on, you know, my rotation game. And, yeah. you know, I've been playing well. And, um, you know, maybe after the, the World Championship in Saudi Arabia, then yeah. I will get back in the mood to yeah. play one pocket. Yeah, that's, that's kind of... play him a big set. That's kind of a big deal, that World Championship coming up in Saudi Arabia. Want to be ready for that one, huh? Yeah. Wow, no rail here. No rail, ball in hand. No rail, and he opened up the stripes with that shot. So this is this is a pretty easy layout. So yeah, shoot the, the 10, 14. Yeah, the 14 first, right? I love. Uh, you yeah. like the combo? I do the 14, 10, and then shoot the 12. Yeah. In the bottom left, because you can drag the cue ball up the rail here, right? Just like. Just Actually, right it's probably run. safer to shoot the 10, 11, 13, and 12. Oh, yeah, yeah, I see. So you get down on the table, you get down just, by the side pocket, and then you shoot the 11. Just following along this kind of circle here, and then shoot the, the 12 as your... I don't like it at all. I don't like it at all. Yeah, because here now... So right now, in this position, you shoot the 12. You shoot the 12 and then use the 11 to come across this way, right? No. No? no. Oh, you just Basically, roll forward to the shoot the 12 and get the angle to shoot the 13 and come back to rail back in the middle of the table. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about doing that to go to the 8. But yeah, I You need to get saying. right here. Yeah, yeah. If you can mark it right there. He's saying roll it out. Roll it right out right here. there. And then you have an angle to go two rails and then draw, or draw yeah. one rail. Pull the cue ball out here, back to yeah. center table. Yeah. 
just to be safe. You gotta you just always have to try to find a situation where it's the safest, you know, so you don't get hooked or bad angle. Yeah, now he's gonna have to deal with cheating the pocket to get perfect on the eleven here. No, he's gonna draw right. Well, between I mean, the two and three. Yeah, I mean, but you got to hit the right spot in the pocket to make sure you follow yeah. the right line off of that. Yeah, it's pretty much an easy shot right here. Ooh. See, this, that, that's the thing you have to be careful when you play eight ball. You just have to really be careful, and, you know, not bumping into the balls. And yeah, you got to have a good cue ball control when you play eight ball. Yeah, if you're bumping into balls, you, you might... <laughs> not judge the speed correctly, right? Because you yeah. lose a little bit of energy into that ball that you bumped. Chris Knowles in the chat. Or no, uh... I would just go low left and try to hit the one. And you're safe. Yeah, that's a safe shot right there. Sergio's been moving pretty good through some of these uh, more technical runouts and, and dealing with... You know, when he gets a little bit out of line, he's seeming to recover quite well. Yeah. And keeping the game at 5-5 five to five against FSR, who is, if I'm not mistaken, the current World 8-Ball or former World 8-Ball? Who's the current? I'm the current World You're the ball. current. I couldn't remember if, it, if you were last year. Frank or Show was, was uh, the, the year before. Yeah, last World year. World yeah. 2022. Gotcha. Sky Woodward and John Mora just got called on table 13. Very interesting first round matchup. And we've got uh, Windows Open streaming that on Facebook if you want to go check that out. If you want to follow the score for that match, you can do it on Digital Pool. The link is in the video description. Uh, make sure you uh, are able to sweat all the action you want. And if there's anybody that you want to lose the match, make sure you convince Dominic Dunn to bet on them. <laughs> Dom was running pretty bad yesterday. <laughs> uh, the best eight ball players, uh, there's a lot of them. Um, I would have to go with, um, I mean, as far as patterns, is... You can say you. You can say it. Probably the best pattern play position, eight ball players in the world, is the the, uh, the Chinese. Oh, yeah. All the Chinese uh, eight ball players. They are probably the far, by far the best in the world I've ever seen. Because they're forced to play better patterns because of how difficult the tables play. And yeah. 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 yeah I never seen anything like it, but they make it so easy. It would be really interesting to, to watch. And then when I go over there, they make me look like a fool, you know? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. It would be really interesting to watch with you to hear your feedback about some of the decisions that they make. Yeah. It would be really uh, interesting. I'm, I'm going to say uh, all the Chinese players, uh, they're the best, for sure. Pretty solid break right here. A, a somewhat decent spread. The the balls all seem to have pockets, even though they're kind of close together. I'm not sure if this nine pass is the one though. Uh, on the, he's gonna he's gonna the shoot right. the seven and then try to get position on the three. Oh, Wait. sorry. I thought he pocketed a stripe first. He shot a solid. My mistake. If it was me, it'd be a seven. No, because of the angle. So, shoot the seven, six, one, three, five, four, eight from that angle. Yeah. Or you can do the seven, six, one, three, four, five, eight. Just dip, it all depends yeah, on. If you, if you end up stopping your rock on the four ball, this is a good angle as see, well. He, he got out of line on this shot. All you need to do is just stop the cue ball for the six. But now he can have to go a different route. He's gonna have to go a difficult route now. I, I, it looks like maybe you can cut this ball without hitting those two balls. He can have to go underneath the one. He can't get past before no. the one. 
He, that, that, would, that would be the best shot. Just spun the shish ball, spun the cue ball, and go underneath the one and try to bump the 10. Oh, I see. Coming this way. You just spin it. Yeah. That would make more sense. He's looking at his uh, other insurance slash key balls right now for the eight I think as they... an option. That's it. Or he can draw the key ball into the three and bump it. Send the three this way and gamble that the cue ball stays he up high enough for the just one. Just like me, move the three. Yeah. Pass a little bit past the one. And hopefully the cue ball stays up high enough where you yeah. can use the one ball. Yeah. But he's not shooting the shish ball because it's a longer shot for him. Mm -hmm. it certainly helps to hit the pocket. So now. I'll... He's close to your original pattern now, but he doesn't have a ball ideal to reposition on the five to make sure you get a good angle on the five. Right. Well, if you shoot the five, you have insurance on both ways. You, you either shoot the six or the one. Yeah. And you're safe both ways. It yeah. would make more sense. But this one is a little bit of a difficult shot. No. I mean, like I said, it, it all depends on the angle from where he sees. Yeah. And it's yeah. really hard to see the the kind of angle he's at. Yeah. So right now he he's in a good spot. Yeah. She's got to get a good shape on good position on the three. So make you sure go you're back up table. Make sure you're above it, right, and not running into the nine so ball. You want to have the angle so you get go above the table. Yeah. Above the side pocket. Now he's in a good position. I think he was just. But playing. really, you got to be careful on this uh, on the five ball. I think he was just glancing but at the I don't the know if the eight ball is going to go on the side. If he gets straight in, or if he get a real bad angle on the five. He needs to get positioned to get straight in so he can draw the cue ball. Now he got a good angle to come back one rail in the middle of the table and shoot the eight in the same corner. Sergio again, same thing. Picking things apart, recovering when things get hairy, staying alive. No, I'm not going to super Billy this ball. Someone said the goat is in the chat. Are you talking about Raymond Linares? I heard he beat uh, Filler recently. <laughs> Who are you talking about? The goat is in the chat. Well, I mean, anybody can win this eight ball format. Yeah. Out. Putting pressure on the FSR. Yo, Chris Knowles coming in with a $50 super chat. Put your wallet away, man. Don't do that. <laughs> Thank you so much for the support. He says, good luck today, Shane. And congrats to Collins and Mike for getting SVB in the booth. <laughs> okay, I, I just, uh, I'm just running good, apparently. Everybody really appreciates your time, man. Yes, I am going to Indonesia. I'm doing an exhibition match with uh, Epin Reyes in about three weeks. That's exciting. Yeah. What part of Indonesia? Uh, Jakarta. Jakarta, yeah. Nice. I just went to Bali this past uh, November. Didn't get a chance to stop by Jakarta. It was on the other island. I got to, to play some Balinese eight ball with the really small balls. And the, the, I think it was like a seven-foot table. Interesting game. Except the table I played on had sand all over the table. <laughs> well, FSR just got lucky and make the last ball rolling on the table. Got a pretty good spread here. You like stripes here? Uh, the eight ball kind of... Kind of a little... Well, obviously, he, that's the only shot he can shoot. And he doesn't have a shot on the solid. So you could cut have the six go, from here. You're going to have to go with the stripes. He, if you wanted, if you really wanted the solids, you could cut the six from he, here. He but. wants the solids for sure. So now he needs to, what he needs to do, get position on the 11. 
to bump the eight. I see, yeah. That's what he needs to do. So I'm thinking he's going to shoot the 14, get position on 11 to bump the eight, and then he'll have a shot on the nine or the 10. <laughs> Sean Damani wants to see your face in the chat. Wave to Sean Damani. The camera's right there. <laughs> There's your boy, guys. People love watching you play, man. They're always asking about you. I don't know what he's thinking. He's taking the 14. He's probably going to get position on the... That's a bad position. Well, do you think maybe he's going to use this ball to get position on the bump? With yeah, nine, with nine that, I'm insurance? thinking that's what he wanted to do. I think he still have the angue. angle to bump the eight. I think he can afford to keep all over. Just like yeah. that. There you go. Yeah, you had the nine as insurance. Yep. Also the ten up table if you know if the five's not in the way, that was a good time to go after it. He's gonna shoot the nine, he's gonna save the eleven ball for the eight ball. Well he's going for the Yeah, he's going for the ten. So he's gonna use the nine and the eleven for the eight ball. Yeah. It's pretty much an easy out from here. Yeah, I think even Molina Mike could get out from here, honestly. Now he need to. He's gonna go one rail up. Get position on the nine. What's uh, up with Sky? Oh, sorry. The exciting about. event this year will be uh, Saudi Arabia this year. And then after that, I'm going fishing. So, someone in the chat asked what's going on with uh, the Sky John Mora match. If you want to watch that match, you can see it on Windows Open on Facebook, and you can follow the score live on Digital Pool. The link to the bracket is in the video description on YouTube and Facebook. Current score 1-0, to zero, John Mora. Really picking apart exactly how he wants to lay on this 11 ball, I think. Uh... Yeah, he's just, like I said, he's just looking for the best angle. Be careful on the angles. And that's all he's looking for. You don't like just follow into the eight? Oh, he's going so to just... follow and get on the uh, the left side of the eight ball. And shoot the eight ball in the same pocket. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like I said, it, it's all about watching your angles and looking for the best angles on every shot. Uh-huh. And that's, that's the key of playing eight ball. Yeah. And you're not just talking about angle moving in the specific direction. You're talking about the exact angle that you lay on. Yeah. Right? yeah. You really have to be cautious. Yeah. Uh, no, the 10 ball final is going to be played at noon-ish after this match. It's pretty so, much after this match is over. Yeah. Race to two in the opening round here between Sergio Rivas and... Francisco Sanchez Ruiz. We welcome you to Saudi Arabia, Shane, and everybody else. Apparently, someone there watching from Saudi Arabia. Favorite watch, Shane? Are you a watch guy? You like watches? Yeah, I just actually bought my new watch uh, a week ago. Uh, new Brightland. I got two by me, no. Uh-huh. I'm not into I'm not into that scene no. quite yet. Maybe at some point in my life, but uh, that's cool. Actually this is better because it's lighter. Uh huh. The other watch is it's really heavy. Is it because of the band or is it because of the, the yeah. actual uh, mechanism? Both. Both, yeah. Yeah. Are you leaving after this event to go play the WNT event in Boston? Yeah, I'm going to play the uh, the PLP and then going home. But are you so are you going you're going after eight ball or are you staying through the I'm banks? I'm staying through the, the bank pool in the one pocket. The banks in one pocket? Okay. Yeah, I'm playing everything. Awesome. I actually leave 
around midnight. You're making the... a quick turnaround, right? Because it's only like a day later? Yeah. Yeah. So, I leave here around midnight, and then I get there around 10 a.m., and then we play the next day. Yeah, wow. So, hopefully, the finals won't be until midnight. Yeah. We're we'll actually say the final of one pocket or something. So the one pocket, yeah, that's the other thing is one pocket can take a long time, right? But but uh, I think that the way that the field is shaping up, the size of the field, we're looking to finish a day earlier if possible. Yeah. So we'll we'll see what happens. Obviously, as the tournament unfolds, hopefully we don't have any. I don't know how many people. I, I actually don't know off the top of my head right now. I think Banks is the smallest field that we have. Uh, but I think the one pocket is the last time I checked somewhere in the 40s and people are still asking. I've had a few people reach out oh, okay. to see. So um, we, we'll see what the final number looks like. Yes, I am going to the uh, the PLP in Connecticut. Yeah, I'm going to... I'm really looking forward to watching that too. It's like literally all my favorite players and then a couple of the new guys from the Philippines that I like to keep an eye on, that Feliciano guy. Getting some pretty good results. So the pattern I see here is he's going to shoot everything down table. He's going to shoot the 11 and then 15, probably the 12. And then he's going to have to get in position on the 10 to bump the one and shoot the 14 in the corner. Or actually, you can probably shoot the 14 in the side, and then the 13 and the eight. Into, yeah. Does the 14 have a side pocket? It's probably making more sense to shoot the 10 now, just to be safe and get it out of the way. But I don't think he's gonna do it. I think he's gonna save the uh, the 10, 14, 13 last. Question in the chat, Shane, are you coming to Sacramento for the for one of the events this year, the Marcoulis or the Crockett? If we yeah, if there's probably. A I, I like the uh, I like the pool room up there, and you know, and there's um, it's a nice pool room and. It's, uh, it's, it's actually running pretty smooth. And, you know, I only like to go to tournaments that actually run pretty smooth, you know. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So, I've always liked that tournament. And, you know, it's, it's nice to be in California. Sure, yeah. That's my homeroom. I drove out here from there, brought this booth with me. I, if it were me, I would shoot the 15 and then shoot the 12 and then get position on the 10. And then the 13, 14 in the corner. Maybe he's thinking it might be tough for him to get, you know, this good of a line on the 10 ball. Again, you know what I mean? Like, maybe he really likes the line that he had uh, in that spot. This is not a bad position right here. So he need to, what he needs to do now is shoot the 13 and get straight in in the corner. And then you got the 12, 15, 8. He need to be really careful on this shot right here, the 14. Or he gonna he, shoot, he gonna follow two rail with 13 and yeah. shoot the 15, 12, 14 use, in the corner. Use the 14 as the key ball. I think that's what he's gonna do. He's gonna follow yeah. two rail. Yeah, I like that a lot. That's what he's looking at right now. He's gonna follow two rail, try to get position on the 14 in the corner. Otherwise, he's got insurance. Bump? Now, new. Uh, yeah, I just he, I really like this line off of the twelve to get position on the key ball. You know what I mean? He can he, he gonna get, get four. He can shoot the fourteen, get position on the twelve, and then the fifteen and then eight. Yeah, I see. I see. I see. It's, this this is a good line towards the eight ball as well. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But like I said, you got to be really careful where you put the cue ball for the 12. Yeah. Long Vong asks, no Fetter in this tournament. You know, Fetter lost to Oliver Ruger, and he skipped town. <laughs> he left. He left. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. 
I guess something came up that he had an opportunity to do something. I don't know what it was, but. No, he, he hit the cue ball too far. Now he's going to have to shoot the 15. He's taking a gamble on, on every shot. Yeah. He's lost his cue ball a couple times, and he's getting away with it. So. I mean, like I said, he had to be careful on where to put the cue ball for the 12. He got straight in. He's got one of them punch angle angles, I think. I think, he, I think he's doing more of a, a draw. Wow. Touchy here. He might He might... Punch it, yeah, that's yeah. what he's doing, he's punching it. I like the, uh, I mean, sorry, I was going to say, you've always got options in 8-ball, almost always. But the issue is, sometimes it's easy to get carried away with the idea that you have options and therefore take it less, you know, take it more for granted and then all of a sudden you can find yourself in a really sticky situation. SVB, what tip do you use? Don't you don't you break and play with a how hard tip? Yeah, I yeah. use a um, how hard. Um, I've been using it for a couple years now, and you know I'm pretty happy with it. And um, they're they're pretty good tips. You like the control you have on the break with that tip? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think I've been using that for about three years now. Yeah? Yeah. I've been getting, you know, really good results on the table. Yeah. Not much of a, a miscue. Very few miscues here and there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe once every three months or something. Yeah. Uh, one miscue every three months? Yeah, I miscue. I, I hardly ever miscue. Good Lord. <laughs> I miscue like a few times a week. Oh, Probably there's a, a dry break. A there's a dry break. If I show, I'm not happy with that. Uh, not with his opponent on the hill. This could be uh, this could be ultimate disaster. Stripes kind of tied up with the 14 ball, though. Maybe if it was me right here, I'd be shooting the 14 right now. Oh, I see it. Yeah, way up table. Yeah, he's looking at running into the four right now. I think. If it was me right now, I should to be safe. Just shoot the 14 now. Because it's a good angle, you can cheat the pocket. Yeah, and it'll still go in. Yeah, yeah. Even not even, a dangerous shot unless you hit it bad. Even if it hits the rail right here, it's still yeah. probably gonna go. Yeah. So he's looking at it right now. If he shoots the fourteen, he he should be out. You just you just have to ask yourself a question, you know, you want to take a gamble and shoot the right shot or you can shoot the nine and guarantee you're going to hit the stripes. So that's that's what's going through your mind. Yeah. You know? Oh, no. What did Fetter say? Am I ignoring Fetter in the chat again? <laughs> Where is he at? Let me see what he said. It's loading, guys. Hold on. The chat's catching up on my computer. My favorite lure is... <laughs> I like to use uh, big uh, tube jigs for the, the late trout. Fetter Gorse Professional Pool Player says, Ask in all caps, all capitals, he writes, Ask SVB, when are we playing a big set? <laughs> 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 well, better. We'll, we got a tight schedule. I mean, we got tournaments everywhere. I, I don't know, bud. <laughs> I don't know if you want to play me right now, Peter. Oh. I'm breaking really good, bud. Oh, snap! <laughs> Shots fired. Oh, he even put in the 4.99 super chat to make sure that we can see it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm breaking really good. Better. I'm not sure you want to play, he says. In the meantime, Sergio Rivas goes after the 14 ball, tries breaking apart or using those two balls that were right there to stop the cue ball, and misses the ball, hanging it in front of the corner. 
leaving the solids pretty open. Yeah, he, he took a gamble. Yeah, and FSR cannot afford a mistake from this spot. He has to get out from here. Oh, oh, he missed the ball. It was after the break. The, It's open, right? Yeah, it's open. It's open. Wide open. He missed the first shot. The first shot, yeah. So it's, it's FSR's choice, whichever way he wants to go. And each grouping has a full run out on offer. Wow, dramatic time to miss here. Yeah, he, he wants to take stripes, for sure. Because the one ball is tricky. Yeah. And... With stripes, you don't have to move the cue ball as much once you get into position, right? I mean, I I don't mind the solace. The only tricky part is the five ball with the solace. Yeah. So this is a tricky situation, too, because he's going to have to shoot the combo. Everybody in the chat wants so to see Yeah, I think he's going to shoot the 11, and then he's going to get position on the 14. That's what you... Yeah. Safer to shoot the 11. We got to really be careful on the cue ball. Yep, he's in a good spot. So yeah, what it looked like, shooting the 14, got to get rid of the 13. At some point into the left-hand side pocket, right? Probably. I think I think he's going to get the 14, probably shoot the 12, and then the 13. Nope. He's going to shoot the 10, 12, 13, and the 15. There's different options that you can yeah. do, depending on the angle of the cue ball. There's different options the way you can go about it. But the 13 is the, uh, the most important ball. So probably in his angle, yeah, he can have to get position on the 15 and then shoot the 13 in the side. Try to find a good, a good follow, just kind of bump yeah, the rail yeah. and right back out to here, right? Yeah, he, he's going to go that route right here. And this is just a... Easy shot, just straight top. Maybe uh, outside English a little bit and get straight in on the 13. I wish Collins and Federal or Collins and Shane, sorry, <laughs> were reading all these comments. It's tough to keep up with you guys, man. There's so many of you. I'm not going to uh, Mexico. I'm going to stay home, practice, and get ready for the Whirlpool Masters in Germany. FSR is going to do the deed and give us a Hill Hill match for the first round. And Sergio's breaking. He won the lag. Wonder if the players are going to take a break or not before the last game. No, he's going right into it. Right into it. Tony probably... Shows you need to make a ball on the break. Tony probably keeping an eye on... Uh, some outcomes, if you know what I'm saying. I'm sorry? No, no, I'm just sorry. People <laughs> in the chat. He's looking at his phone. He's Most people uh, who know Tony. When he's in Vegas, baby, there's action. Mario He all the way down at the other end of the room. Look at all these guys playing. Look at this youngster playing in the U.S. Open. Who's this? Who is that? That's kind of cool. Anyone in the chat? Help me out. Well, there's a lot of questions, so I'm just trying to keep up. 
<laughs> Tony's hitting up Fetter for action. <laughs> I heard that they are going to move the International Open somewhere else. I'm not too sure. So. Everybody wants you to come to their tournament and look at them. Are you going to be here? Are you going to be there? Where are you going to be? Uh, I mean, I'm busy. So. <laughs> you guys sound like Christopher Walken from uh, Catch Me If You Can when he's talking to... Uh... I like Shimano. When he's talking to his uh no i'm not going to buffalo dicaprio where are you gonna be where are you at tonight favorite hotel and my preference is cj palace <laughs> is better in the chat asking who the last person to three foul you was <laughs> oh look like a dry break oh boy Dry break. Dry break. Yikes, with the 13 straight in the side. The 15 passes the, the 7 and 12. I think he got options on both groupings. Was he a dry break? 1, he, 2, 3, 4, 5, was 6, 7. slapping his leg. Yeah, dry break. Yeah, Fetter says, oh, snap. Ask SVB who the last player to 3 foul him was. <laughs> trying to trying to needle you right now, I think. <laughs> He's trying to needle. <laughs> hey, Fetter, why don't you needle him in person? Why'd you leave Vegas? You could have just played him out here in one of the tournaments. Don't worry, Fetter. Just we're gonna play someday. We're yeah. gonna play. Just keep talking. That's what he says. You keep Shane. just keep wolfing at me. <laughs> that's all you need to do. <laughs> Hey guys, since we're in the last game of this match, uh, keep in mind the next thing streamed is going to be the finals of the U.S. Open 10-Ball Championship between your man in the booth right here, Shane Van Boning, and Vitaly Patsura. That's gonna, we're going to go straight into that, but that's streamed exclusively on Griff's TV on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed over there or even maybe head over there right away or after this game. Uh, we're going to keep that feed up and running. And we're going to cut the feeds on post up, okay? So make sure you're watching in the right place if you want to see that final. Yeah, this is... he He's going to save the uh, the seven ball for the eight ball. So he's going to get position on the three. And then he's going to have to get position to shoot the one. Well, probably going to have to get position on the two. It's a little tricky. Someone in the chat says some random guy going hill hill with FSR. Wow. Sergio Rivas isn't necessarily a completely random guy. Uh, but the format does, you know, with the template rack, often work as somewhat of a level leveling of the playing field. But uh, Sergio's got a good cue ball. He can play. Yeah, this is going to be a tricky one. He's in a good spot now. I think he's going to draw the cue ball from the two. And try to get position on the one. He's going to have to save the four ball to get on the seven. In my opinion. Yeah, he can he can draw the the cue ball from the two ball and hit the side rail, get position on the one, and use the four ball to get on the seven. Uh, 
like I said, he's just uh, being careful with the keyboard control. Can't really take any risks. Trying to try and take the best opportunity. Don't want to take the risk of overlooking something, especially Hill Hill, when you're at the table with a workable I don't know layout. what he, Okay, now I see what he's doing. He's going to shoot the one, keep position on the two, and then he's going to go up one, one rail, shoot the four in the same pocket, and then get a good angle from the four to the seven. And that's what he was doing. He was looking at the best opportunity, best position opportunity that he can get. I don't know if he got a good angle. He's kind of straight here. I think he has to draw to the seven. If he got straight, then he's in a good spot. He's got actually a little bit of an angle moving. Yeah, like with like the draw stroke, looks like it wants to come this way. Yeah, it looked like it. So maybe go forward? Um, He's drawn. He's drawing. He's drawing. Yep. Oh, yeah. He no, got he straight was, in. He was great. Oh, man, look at him. Here we go. <laughs> this is a tricky one. Now he's going to bump the 12 ball and shoot the 8 in the corner. If he would have went a little bit further. This can get hairy, though, because if you accidentally over... He would have been in trouble. If you accidentally overcut the 7 here, though, and you run into the right side of the 12, mm -hmm. all of a sudden things can get out of hand really quick. That's what he's looking at. He, if he would have gone a, a little bit, like an inch down, further. Further, it'd be over. He'd have no. He would have been screwed. Yeah. That's why I love April. Yeah. You really get. Oh. I told it. you. Oh. That's yeah. exactly what I just said. You clipped the right the side heck? of the 12. You what lose the, the two ball. What the heck? He overcut the ball and he clipped the right side of the 12. I think what happened you, there. You the shoot ball it through the 11. No, 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 no. The ball skidded. You think? It hopped a little bit and it went it didn't even it went past the twelve. Do you try to shoot the eight through the eleven ball here? Uh, or do you cut it to the other corner? <laughs> he's not happy. He's not happy at all. Oh I don't my know. gosh. He, he, I don't know. Hill Hill. I think I think he's gonna have to cheat the Yeah, he's going oh for the bank. Oh my gosh, here we go guys. <laughs> Put on your seatbelts. He's gonna have to hit it hard. I don't know what he's gonna do. Nope, he didn't make it. Too long, cue ball on the short rail. Eight ball, not going to get too nasty. Thirteen ball in the side pocket. Lays pretty makeable. Yeah, if it was me, you're going to have to shoot the 13 in the corner so that just to make sure that he oh, doesn't yeah. have a shot on the eight. If he oh, shoot yeah, the, yeah, yeah. If he shoot the 13 in the side and misses it, then he showed out. Yes, yes, yes. So... Cause, Cause really, what you want to do is just try to get the cue ball close to the, uh, the the first diamond above the side, just to have insurance. Because if you leave it down here and if you miss, then he had to kick it in the side. He's saying if you leave it like out yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh, I see. Because he could kick this way. Yeah, he can kick one rail into the side. But yeah. if you come all the way up here, you don't leave the kick. He, he, he's already screwed. Yeah, 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 I see it. So, it's all it's all about putting the cue ball in the right spot so he don't have a shot. That's what you want to think in your mind. You know, when you're having a shot like this and you're having a tough situation shot, you want to think of your mind that may sure you don't show it up. Sure. And that's all about April. He can just roll the ball in, and he don't have a shot. He gonna punch it. He might miss. He hit it pretty good. Hey, shout out to JM1933. Any New York City matches anytime soon for Shane exhibition or otherwise? And now he's going to shoot the 11. Probably. He's got to get the 14. That's your only trouble ball. 
I think he's gonna shoot the 11 and get position on the 9 and then shoot the 14 10 that would be safe you really gotta get the 14 that's your only problem ball Maybe he was trying to go for the 14 right there and maybe just I hit it too thick. So. I think he was trying to get position. I would have got the cue ball on the other side. Yeah. And yeah. shoot the nine. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Yeah. I don't know what he's doing here. Now he's looking for a plan B. He's not. He, originally, he was going to shoot the, the nine ball and get position on the 14. I think he's going to shoot the nine, shoot the 12. No, Get position on the 14, and then the 10, and then the 15. Or he's going to shoot the, the 15 and then 14. Probably, most likely, what he's going to do is I, I think he's shoot kinda, the 14 and 10 for the 8 ball. I think he's kind of thin here. <laughs> I think he's kind of thin on the 9 like the cue ball wants to, wants to go. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's going to go up table, for sure. Back in the middle of the table. That's a good spot. Okay, now you're gonna shoot the 15, shoot the 14, 10, and 12. GG. GG means good game. Shoot the 15, 14, 10, 12, and eight. Yep. GG. Now you just gotta make sure you don't put a funky stroke on the ball. If it was me, I would have got rid of the 14 a long time ago. Well, you already you know ran I mean? out. You would have ran out. You would have ran out in about 35 seconds. So, yeah. let's be honest. But it, this is... See, see, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, 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 yeah. But funny. <laughs> but funny, he doesn't leave anything. What does is, what is Francisco think? Wow, he just gave him that shot. I can't believe he missed that one. Francisco had already taken his glove off. He had to cut it in. You have to cut it to the right corner right now? Yeah, he's going to have to cut it in. Or, which is not a real bad idea, just leave it. Try to make the eight ball in the same pocket as 15 and I slide the saying. cue ball down table. Yeah. And he doesn't have much of a shot. That's not a bad option. If that's the only option that he has... Slide, you're gonna have to go slide the cue ball like this. Yeah, you don't want to leave him the bank. So you're going to have to leave the cue ball right here where that oh, chalk okay. is. Okay, I see. That's probably the best spot. He's looking at your shot. Yeah, he's going to have to do it. I don't see him cutting it. Yep. He's not looking at cutting the ball because that's not even an option. Yep, he's going to have to leave the cue ball right where the chalk is. Oh. Well, actually, now he's going for it. Yep. Here we go. <laughs> he's taking a big gamble. The chat is saying block the pocket with the 8. I mean, you're... The yeah, 12. just leave it hanging in the corner. Yeah, yeah. It's not really a that shot uh, the only problem with that shot if you hit the rail first then the eight ball is going to go on the bottom rail and you're going to be screwed yeah that's the only problem with that shot Did you make it yep he made the ball wow what a shot all right i gotta get going well shane that was really fun i really appreciate you coming in and, and uh hanging out with me in the chat that was uh very cool of you Looking forward to watching this 10-ball final. Guys, we're going to give you about five five minutes or so to get over to the Griff's TV channel, okay? We will be ending the stream on post-up shortly, okay, guys? All righty. Ladies and gentlemen, here. Shane Van Boning. Watch your step, yeah. That was fun, man. That was fun. Holy cut shot, right?
Everybody head on over to Griff's TV. Link is pinned at the top of the comments. You got about... I'm going to I'm going to go to this overlay. And leave you guys right here. I'm going to step out of the booth for a minute. And when I get back, I'm going to kill the stream on post up, okay guys? Get over to Griff's TV. I'm going to change the title over there. Gonna change the title so that everything lines up. And we'll give you just a few more minutes, guys. And I'm gonna put the thumbnail on the video. Thumbnail in place. There you go. Boom, really good. Get over to Griff's TV, guys. You got about uh, three to five minutes, okay? I'm going to go use the little boy's room. You're going to have uh, Melina Mike on the on the mic while I'm gone. Mm. I'll leave you right here on that webcam while you're enjoying What do you got? Starbucks. Starbucks? That yeah, doesn't yeah. look like a Starbucks cup to me. Mind your own business, buddy. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're going to give you just a few more minutes and then we're going to kill the post-up stream. So if you want to watch this final, make sure you're on Griff's TV. I'm good. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was great. Yeah. I mean, that was... Hey, guys, while I'm gone, tell Mike how, how fun that was. That was, a, that was a great time with Shane Van Boning. All right, they're getting ready. Let's see if I can pan this over a little bit. This is going to be the finals of the U.S. Open 10 Ball Championship race to 13. Vitali was still playing Roland Garcia in the next table over. I wonder if we can see the end of that match because that was Hill Hill. Let me see how far over I can get here. So this is Vitali versus Roland Garcia. This is the first round of the 8 Ball. They're Hill Hill right now. Vitali had a chance to close it out. Missed a 6 Ball. That would have won the match 8-6. Now it's Hill Hill. So Shane's getting warmed up on the feature table. And as soon as Vitaly's done, they'll get started here in a few minutes. Good. I'm glad you guys enjoyed the Shane, the Shane conversation. He's not the most outgoing guy, but if you get him, if you get him comfortable, he's willing to, uh, he's actually really funny. Got a lot of sarcasm, obviously a lot of knowledge. Um, he's just, He's just awesome to have in. So we appreciate him. I asked him if he was willing to come in and do commentary. And I know I know how he is by now. He said, yeah, maybe later. And later means, hell no, there ain't no way I'm doing it. So I said, no, 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 just a few minutes right now. So luckily, luckily it all worked out. On uh, Windows Open, Sky and John Mora are playing. And then, uh, oh, matter of fact, I need to go see what we're going to have on the afternoon matches. So I need to start looking at that. Um... But yeah, no, we'll try to get some more players in here. I'm going to try to get someone during the finals. I'm going to look to see who's hanging out around the room. And we'll try to get someone in to uh, spend time with you guys. So, you know, you guys have plenty of time with uh, with all of us. So we only get to get these guys in here for a few times throughout the year. So we'll do our best for you guys. Anyhow, again, if you're just joining us, this is Hill Hill in the first round of the 8-Ball Vitali. Is about to play Shane Van Boning in the finals of the U.S. Open 10 ball race to 13. It's not a true double elimination. Personally, I kind of wish it was just because I like the double dip format. But for time, 
you know, I can appreciate one longer set. Um, but, you know, the argument can be made, well, you know, Shane hasn't lost and Vitaly has. So, anyhow, um, should be a good match. Race to 13. I think on paper, if I were to handicap it, Shane's at least got to be minus one and a half at a minimum. Um, maybe two, but that's a little steep for me. But it should be a great matchup. Okay, guys. We're making the change. Last chance to follow the link pinned in the comments on Facebook and YouTube. Get over to that Griffs TV YouTube channel. Let's sweat the finals of this U.S. Open 10 ball. All right, we're going to kill the chat box. Boom. Boom. Shout out to our sponsors one last time. Premier Billiards, the uh, all-around sponsor. Sponsor of the all-around prize. Michelle Griffin, realtor. Good Lord, she's fun to sweat a match with. She's got a ton of energy and passion. Uh... Diamond Billiard Products, Taum, Max Rack, the template rack for 10-ball and 8-ball at this, these two fantastic tournaments. One PKT, Fast and Loose Designs, and our title sponsor, Q-Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Here we go. I'm cutting it. Post up. See you later. Everybody get over to Griff's TV. If you don't make it there, I had fun with you, and we'll see you soon. And we are live only on Griff's TV. 2,400 people watching, and that number is steeply rising quickly. Please make sure and hit the share button, you guys. It help, really helps us out, especially with our sponsors. And being able to keep it a free stream for you guys goes a long way. Did you did Vitaly and the A-ball match end? Or? Oh. It was Hill Hill. Stop. Yeah, that's why I had her panned over. My bad. My bad. I didn't even think about the fact that Vitaly's playing in that final. My apologies, guys. We're still live on Griff's TV. <laughs> Here, how about this? How about this angle, guys? If you're just now joining us on Griff's TV, we're just waiting for the uh, conclusion of this. Well, that just concluded. Vitaly. Vitaly beats Roland Garcia. And Vitaly's going to be swinging over to our feature table soon. Right now, look at him go. Good Lord, is this guy just beating everybody? This guy is just beating everybody. You know who else is beating everybody? Who's that? The guy at the table. I mean, look, you got both guys who... You got two guys who are just breaking the balls phenomenally. Really a, a, a contrast to styles in the sense of Shane's very much a rhythm player. Doesn't really waste a lot of time. He knows what he wants to do, how he wants to do it. And he, does, and he just gets down and executes. Vitaly much more tactical. I wonder if that's going to play any kind of factor because his pace of play can just be a little rough at times, you know? And so, uh, oh, hang on a second. I think I'm getting a call. Okay. Might be going to check out a shot on a match. Shane still getting warmed up. The chat, Carrie Ann coming in and calling it 13-11 Vitaly. Has anybody in the booth ever lived in Alaska? Paul Miller, I've only been to Alaska once. I went to Anchorage, Alaska and ran a marathon. Mistakes were made. Look at this break. If he can replicate that break over and over in the finals, I'd say no one in the room stands a chance.
title still says eight ball. Refresh your page. Oh, it does say eight ball. My bad. Ten ball. Thank you. I thought I changed that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Refresh your page. I'm never wrong. <laughs> Said no one ever. My bad. Get your popcorn ready. Get yeah. your drinks. Get comfortable wherever you are in the world. This is going to be a great match, man. <laughs> Chris Garcia saying, zoom in, please. Take the payouts off. We will zoom in as soon as the match starts. As soon as the match starts. It's not started yet. We're just hanging out. Wow, so a difference of, of uh, 4,800. 4, it's pretty strong. Yeah, it's a uh, little more than doubling your money. If it's uh, blurry on your screen, guys, if you're having this coming through blurry, it's on your end. Check out your video settings on YouTube. I like so. Go down here, hit quality. Change it from auto up to 1080p. There you go. Never have to worry again. I think Vitaly's taking a little break, huh? Maybe. Well, he just finished the match, so. Yeah, yeah. I get it. Understandable. Understandable. You want yes, it's perfectly. You want okay, relax. Understandable. Relax, if you know what movie that is, put it in the chat. You want some entertainment? I can go get Corey in here. Corey? Yeah, that guy. Corey Duel? Yeah. Who? What other Corey would would it be? Buchanan. Okay. Well, true. But no, it's not Corey Buchanan. <laughs> okay. How many people we got watching? 3,100. Nice. 3,100. Let us know where you guys are from. See a lot of... Uh, yeah, where are you watching I see, from? I see Bakersfield, California. Oh, never mind. That guy's just spamming the page. Chicago. Oh, okay. Later, spam. It's like the 18th comment. Yeah. Hide the user in that channel. You know what? I'm going to undo it. I'm just going to put you in timeout. Atlanta, Colorado, you're, Tennessee, Wisconsin. Hang on. Boston. That's you're not, pretty strong. You're not removed from the channel, People. but you're in timeout for, for spamming. All over. Because you are sending love. But. We do got some stuff we're giving away for the event. If you guys would like to enter, shoot me a PM on Windows Open. We got like 10 town max rep com combinations of 8-ball, 9-ball, and 10-ball. We got two Qs from Q-Tech, two Truewoods with Synergy Shafts that we're giving away. We got... An entry into the U.S. Open event of your choice Good for, ne Lord. for next year. I officially can't read anything the chat is saying because it's going so fast. Houston, Germany, Colorado, Pennsylvania. Wow, you read so Seattle, fast. Bahamas. Indian, ba nice. New Mexico. Yo my mama's house. Boom. I like that one. <laughs> we got to give that guy something. Let's go. Yeah, I like that Give one. the guy a max rack. There you no. go. <laughs> He's winning the Q Tech Q. Yeah, oh, the whole Q. Oh, yeah, my God. The whole Q, Jesus yeah, for that, for that epic response. Oh, my God. Anyway, you guys can hit me up uh, if you guys would like to enter. It's one for ten, one for ten bucks, seven for fifty bucks, or twenty tickets for a hundred. Yeah, look how steep the the viewer graph is going vertical right now. Yeah, through the roof, man. That's Just, awesome. That's South great. Carolina, Mars. Ah, welcome to this earth. I doubt it. Uh, Listen, I doubt it. Everything you see on the internet's true. I don't think they have Wi-Fi on Mars. No, no, no. They're way ahead. <laughs> but your mama's house was. That was good. By far, by far the that best, really the best one. one. Yeah, yeah. Well, welcome everyone. We're glad we got all you guys in with us. We are just a few minutes away from starting the the final. Oh, I got to change the eight ball oh, graphic yeah. on the on the chat box.
What? Okay. Mike had to ditch. Mike, Mike, ugh, Mike had to bounce. Oh, yeah. Let's stick a poll in the chat, guys. That's a good idea coming in from Gerard. Start a poll. U.S. Open. Guessing what the 2024 U.S. Open 10 ball champ. S, V, B, or the driver. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's a little inside joke. Uh, Fetter and uh, Jason Sword call him the driver. Uh, Vitali. Pat Sura. There we go. Let it be known in the in the poll in the chat at the top of the chat. Who you think's gonna win this match? Ninety five percent in favor of SVB. Seriously, with thirty with three hundred and. Holy crap, do you guys think this is SVB or what? <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> Mike doing a little pregame interview. Shane is ready. You can tell where his head is at. He's totally in the game, man. Totally in the game. Totally focused. Vitali cleaning that shaft. Making sure he's ready to go. Plenty of water. Allegedly. Is Dom betting on in this match? <laughs> oh man. It's a lot of votes in one minute. I mean, we got almost 600 votes in less than two minutes. A lot of interaction there in the chat. Let's go. I guess we'll watch the players as we're waiting to kick off this final. This is an interesting matchup, for sure. Tally really been coming with the goods lately. Don't forget to click that like button, guys. Feed that algorithm. Ch Shane is checking on the results of the poll. Uh, nice. Hey, Margaret Goodman. Thank you for the love and support on PayPal. Really appreciate it. Ninety-two percent to eight. I'm not. Mm. <laughs> I asked Fetter, and pardon my language, pardon our language, but honestly, if the kids are home, plug their ears. I, I don't blame you for having the kids around to watch the U.S. Open Ten Ball Championship. But I asked Fetter. I said, "Why'd you leave? Are you playing some pool this week?" And he says, "Nah, I'm just talking shit in the chat this week." <laughs> from Fedor Gorst. Live your life. That's right. He's on tilt. Losing that match in the uh, 
early in the 10 ball before the cash. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Looks like Vitaly's just going to take a practice break here. That break is... Look at his cue ball. Well, Shane said it was 50-50. I don't know. I don't think he was being coy either. So no. I, th I think I think he's serious. I, Look what the chat with, thinks. With that break, though. Yeah, Look, no. It's, Look how many votes. Yeah. Money line would be big. It would be a big money line. Yeah. 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 We'll go full screen in a minute, guys, as soon as the lag comes through. The 10 ball finals is starting shortly. Hit the share button, make sure and get it out. This is exclusive on Griff's. Big shout out to them. Big shout out to Mark Griffin who make, made this event possible for the players. Yeah. Before and set a precedent before passing on that he and, and setting things aside to make sure that this event could continue to happen. In his last days, he wanted to make sure that all these things were were lined up so that way the players were taken care of even after he was gone. Yeah. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, so, pretty amazing. Mark, we hope, we hope you're enjoying, buddy. And, um, yeah, we're glad to be here. Yep. Almost 4,000 people watching. We're going to end the poll as soon as we get to 1,000 votes, guys. What exact cue for the raffle? So we got two cues that were given away this week. It's a Truewood Ebony, Truewood Walnut, a 10 town max racks, an entry into the Ultimate Pool Louisiana event next month, an entry into a US Open event next year of your choice, eight ball, 10 ball banks or one pocket. We also got a bunch of Ultimate Pool gear swag that we're giving away. We got a bunch of stuff that we're giving away. Yeah. So you guys can hit me up on Facebook, either at Molina Mike or on Windows Open, and uh, we'll be able to get you set up yep. so big shout out to all of our sponsors you, you see those logos down there those are all people who are willing to support the event premier billiards they're actually the sponsor of the all around so we are giving around a bonus for the all around as well so it's um yeah we, we couldn't have done it without them yeah Tally gonna just hit a few more balls here to get in stroke, get in 10 ball stroke. Who won between me and Molina Mike last night? We actually didn't end up playing. I ended up editing videos until like 1 a.m. Shocked. I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Yeah. That's what it is. Here comes the line. I'm waiting for it. I'm scared. I'm waiting for it. Here we go. Come on. I, know, I, I know you got something. No, I don't got nothing. Something behind the I'm curtain. I'm serious. I'm scared of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're a scary guy. Okay, here yeah. we go, guys. Let's go. Ooh, we got to get on the right thing. Time for the lag. Race to 13. This is one set. One set. And Shane is going to win the lag. And I'm going to get the scoreboard right. <laughs> Whoa. Sorry. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Dogging it. I'll change the race length and everything, too. We are racing to 13, guys. Monster break out the gate, but doesn't get an open shot on the one. The results of the poll... A thousand and one people, ninety percent in favor of Shane Van, Van Boning in this match. Nice save from Shane. 
Little containing shot there. He's going to have a two row kick at the one. Someone in the chat just said there's no sound on Griff's TV right now at the moment. I don't know how to help you if you can't hear me say turn off the mute. <laughs> You're <laughs> muted right now. Wow. Colin's coming in with the heat, son. <laughs> Jeez. Look at this safe by Shane. Real nice. Real nice. Tough to get safe off the kick. You're all, you're actually kicking to make the ball, I think. Oh, yeah, 100%. Kicking to make the ball. 100%. You have to, right? I mean, what? Yeah, yeah. 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 If you yeah. don't make the ball here, you probably sell out. Right. Yeah. He lays pretty good. You know, common one pocket shot that you'll see come up quite a bit. He's a very particular player, so I mean, I'm sure he's, you know, he'll he'll line himself up and. Oh, just missed it! Wow, was not off by very much. Shane Van Boning is gonna get ball in hand. <clears throat> Over under on the runout time here. Oh, I'm going to tell you what. Minute 45? This guy's got place to be and things to do. Minute so, 45. Yeah. Probably. Shane has been playing some real fast I'm, pool. I'm lately. not going to mention any names, but me, well, so me and Spencer were betting on some over-unders on, on length of run out at the Rio during the 10 ball. Yeah. Right? And at a certain point, it got all the way up to like 12 and a half minutes. <laughs> a rack of 10 ball. With, without multiple innings? With one inning? No, like well, no, 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 no. No, no, no. Of course it oh, was. Okay, it okay, was okay, like okay. just to run the rack out in general. Gotcha. So, and it was a combination of what the breaks were, like what the layouts were after the break, and then the players that were playing. So. Touchy draw shot here. It is. Not Unless for you're seeing them bowing. Yep. Yep. Cue ball on a string, man. I know there's someone in the chat that's timing it, too. There's someone in the chat that's timing this. Gets back to the good side of the eight. Yeah, he's fine here. And looking real good. I'm surprised Shane's stuck in the booth as long as he did with you because he's like a workhorse. He likes to stay in rhythm, stay hitting I balls. Honestly, I, Mike, I think he was having fun. No, no, no. I let me tell you, I know he was because as soon as he left, yeah, he had a smile on his face. And if you know Shane, yeah, Shane is. I mean, don't get me wrong; he's not like a miserable guy. He's, he's no, no, he's, no. He's, he's very he's, much happy, but like he's he, kind of stoic and just he was, introverted. You know, he was enjoying himself 100. Yeah, percent That's really cool. So kudos to you for for doing that. No, not to me. I mean, kudos to him in the chat, man. It was the chemistry there that. Uh, that made it fun, I think. So, you guys are the best. Well, the interaction is great, but you know, I like I told you before, whenever we first got in here, I said just keep it kind of short because I know Shane likes to practice. And so after like the ten minute mark, I was like, uh, should be all right since he's not walking out yet. So, um, <laughs> but it looks like he's he's feeling pretty good about himself and and hitting the ball real the, well. The chat said it was a minute and thirty three twenty nine. Oh, nice. Minute I w see, I would have taken the over. You would have taken the over. I would have taken 45. the over. Yeah, I told yeah. you the line was good yeah. right there. I, I would have taken, taken the under. over. Yeah. I would have taken the under. No. He's just running the ball so fast, man. Mm -hmm. He's ready. I'm gonna post the Griff's link on Windows Open because I, I think people still don't know. Yeah, do it. Oh, I'll put it on post on post up as well. Yeah, on Facebook. If you do, let me know. Yeah, I'll figure it out. 
someone gunning for a Nike sponsorship. I think the guy's just trying to stay comfortable. Pretty good break, except the one ball ends up on the short rail. It looks, it seems to be for a lot of Vitali's breaks, he ends up being forced in a position where he has to move, make a move, you know. But for the ones where he has a shot on the one, it's like, it looks absolutely choice. Yeah, very much, you know, and that's why, like, even though Shane's got a really big break, it, it was, it's not as controlled as Vitalis has been, at least from last night. Obviously, we haven't seen it today, but Vitali was controlling that one ball, like, in the upper corner consistently. How much for first and second? Here you go, guys. The payouts. Put a dead center table. You just leave it right here. What do you think, guys? No? Don't like it? No takers? Okay. Put it back, please put it back. <laughs> What's that? I had the payouts right over the entire table, like covering the table. <laughs> ah, the Easton's joining the party here. You want me to get Savannah in here? No, I like I like this, I, I, really. It's a good vibe. All right, buddy, I'm yeah. good with it. Whenever, whenever I need a break, out. Yeah, I'm, are you I'll, just trying I'll... to get out? Do I stink? It's, those shorts are making me real uncomfortable. I hate to bring it up again, but yeah. it's just, I need like an HR department. Anyway, jump shot here. Airborne. Two ball tries to reverse back into the pocket that he called. I think he's going to get away with it. He's going to be all right. Maybe a little bank does he, got, here. does he got a bank? Oh, yeah, he does. Right? Maybe a little bank orang. You can shorten it up pretty good. Actually, he has to lengthen it out, I think. If he can see it. Might not be able to see it. the right side of the two putting the two ball, the cue ball on the other side of the 10 I like that shot play conservative wow, he played the, look at that he played the yeah, two ball he speed that good. He, he played the speed of the two ball there to the back side of the four this is awkward this is really awkward I think you gotta come he's looking to come off the right side of it but that, that corner pocket if you hit it bad is just Big. Hey Thomas <laughs> Heller, thanks for the thanks for the support on Venmo, man. Appreciate it. Amanda's been watching a lot of the stream. Yeah. Yeah. The wife. Yeah. Nice. She enjoying it? Yeah, she said she was talking about Shane. Oh, I thought you okay. Yeah. SVB. She called him SVB. Oh, she is learning the Yeah, she's getting the lingo. Oh, no, she's getting hooked, guys. She might be hanging out of the pool hall coming up here in a couple weeks. Okay, relax, cowboy. <laughs> I'm getting excited. All right. You know what else I'm excited about? Seeing what Shane's gonna do right here. Is he gonna kick on the back side of the two? Use the four to slow the two ball down and hopefully Get some separation, maybe? Hits the two thin, misses the entire four, so the two ball doesn't stay where it was. Is the five ball in between? It's a little, uh... 
A little dicey. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little this bit. This is a little dicey. Hey, same thing for Traver Travis Richardson. Thank you as well, man. He's looking at this one pretty good. And I can't say that I blame him. He got like a right in a funky little spot here. I wonder if he's just playing to make it. Wow. What you know how tough that is to do? That is a ridiculous wow. shot. The difficulty in hitting the ball that good with that speed Guys, from that, that shot distance. that shot looks so much easier than it is because he hit it perfect. But go ahead and try it at home. It's all about that line, and then you have to hold it. You have to hit it perfect, and then you have to... Get a little fortunate there. That was an excellent honestly, shot from Vitaly. Honestly, one of the only, one of the few people in this game right now that hits hits shots like that that good fairly frequently is a guy at the table right now. SVB is is fantastic at doing stuff like that as well, controlling both balls and knowing exactly. Really, I was thinking things. like a little Federesque there, you know, just keeping it simple, but really high level shot. Oh, Ooh, baby, extracting ball in hand. Wow. Fantastic shot from Vitaly. All right. Just runs to the table for ball in hand. I got to go do some work for just a little bit, but I shall return. Okay. Right. Tally going to take his time here trying to make sure that he converts this to a win. These first opening sequence here, two, three, four, five, is the whole kit and caboodle of this rack. Next two shots are key. Yeah, Shane was trying to hit that ball thin. I see someone in the chat pointing that out. He was trying to hit that ball thin so that he can get some separation between the, the two and the cue ball, but the gamble doesn't work out. Hit it so thin he forgot to hit it, I know. Brutal. Interesting spot here because the eight ball sits so high up on this uh, long rail here. I actually like the, the back and forth. Instead of the three rail, because the three rail here, I think, wants to be coming across here. See that? Gives you, like, a, a steeper angle a lot of the time, but he actually found a, a really nice line into the third rail, so, so it was coming off of a higher point on the third rail. That was a nice shot. I think the natural position there, like the natural, was coming a little bit lower for a steeper angle on the eight, but Vitaly negotiated it really well. 
The other way, it's like a stun shot, and it just keeps you higher up on the table. It's just a personal preference, though. There's some guys that would shoot it one way, and some guys shoot it the other. One to one. One to one, kicking things off in this race to 13. <laughs> the little accordion music coming through. Gotta like it. Next. Uh, Q Baller says, this commentator is clueless. I am not a commentator. I'm a streamer. I'm hanging out with you guys and trying to trying to share some opinions when I, when I can. But I am definitely no pro. That's what Jeremy Jones and Alex Laley and all them guys are for. If you can do a better job, you're more than welcome to come down. I'll have you hang out in the booth. Just fly on out to Vegas. <laughs> right, Armson. <laughs> I I just I just roast him a little bit because I think it's it's just a little silly to I think he's being silly. Anyway. We keep it we keep it fun. We keep it fun, guys. Shane Van Boning. Massive break and how often does Shane How many times is that now that Shane has broken the balls just in the last three days that we've seen Shane break the balls and the one ball come up here? I think at least three or four, maybe this is the fifth time that the one ball has ended up right here for a bank shot as his opening shot, and he just gins it in the side pocket and runs out. Relax, guys. Relax. We're just playing. Nice, nice, nice. Shane just makes this game so freaking easy, dude. Eight ball sitting right in front of the corner. So easy to slide up to the nine. Oh, this is real nice, too. Just... Just so easy. Yeah, Raffer B says, I hate how easy he makes it look. It ruins my game. Every time I watch Shane play, it makes me feel like I could go out and run a four-pack right now. Focus. Focus. There it is. SVB. Two to one. <laughs> Shane would be on the hill if it was winter break. Yeah. It's a single race to 13 in the finals, guys. Modified double elimination. All right, what do we got, buddy? Is this the right score? 2-1? Two, 2-1, one? Two to one, yeah. Sweet. Brands from the Sofa says... I can't tell if this is sarcasm or not. The, the thing I like about the pro commentators is listening to them say how they think the player is going to play the shot, followed by, uh, well, yeah, you could play it that way, too. <laughs> My favorite thing, 
watching pool streams is when somebody gets out of line, you know, just a little out of line. Oh, oh, he overran the cue ball here. And then they say, but he's okay. Because yeah. it's Shane yeah. Van Boning or like because it's Nika Imminen or like, you know what I mean? Well, they just the, the being able to adjust. Yeah. You know, a little scratch on the break from Vitaly in a uh, really big moment, frankly, in the beginning of the set. It's really important when you're playing a guy like SVB to fire back when he's launching missiles at you and you don't shoot back. It's a recipe for disaster. Yeah. I mean, no, we all know how imposing that he can be and not just with his run out, but with his break, you know. And so yeah. if he gets this, if he gets everything dialed in like he's able to, he's already a little funny here. Um, yeah, look out. You don't want to get in too well, deep can... of a hole, especially on alternate break. Yeah. I, I like drawing the ball back here because you could draw short and shoot the three in the corner. If you get to here, you can shoot the three in the side. And if you get to here, you can shoot the three in this corner. Shane's rolling the ball out two rails to get back to the side pocket. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Nice a little close down. to your work here. Michael Aldaffer says this is like sitting in the game room watching with a bunch of buds. That's what we try to do. That is the vibe, the intended vibe. I don't know about you guys, but my favorite part about going to the pool room, aside from playing the game myself, when I'm done playing the game myself and I want to go sweat some other action, I like sitting on the rail and talking to the boys. You know what I mean? Whoa, close again. Close again. Uh, happy Eddins, my name is Collins Nui. Dude, Billy Burgess, thanks for the love on PayPal. Super generous, man. Thank you. Justin Folks, thank you as well. Thank you, thank you, thank you. As well as David Baranski. You guys are the best. Plays the four ball, no problem. And this rack... going to go to SVB. Look at the focus, Shane, just like, yep, that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to walk up, rack the balls, and do it again. It's like we have a match with Payne McBride right now. I don't recognize the guy he's playing. Well, Carlo Biato on the rail again. Oh, that's Cena. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He had a big uh, tournament at the Swanee. One ball's going to find the corner. How many balls does Shane want to make on the break? Look, the two balls setting up straight in. And time for Shane with another seven ball run out going to be done in about a minute and a half. Oh, my break.
I, I don't know. I don't know how he lost in any of the 10-ball events out there in Vegas. I mean, in Vegas. We're here in Vegas right now, but at the Rio. Uh, with the template. With the template, rack your own. I don't know who's going to beat Shane right now. Holy crap. Uh, 13, Isander, thank you for the compliment. I mean, it is the final, so only Vitaly has the chance. <laughs> yeah, truth. Uh, someone, Joseph Gabriel says Collins don't jinx him. I, I genuinely believe that's impossible. Uh, the way that Shane's playing right now, it's something to watch. Something to witness. SVB with a quick lead of 4-1, to one, punishing the scratch on the break that happened less than five minutes ago by Vitaly Patsura with running that rack out and break and running another one immediately. A minute and 10 seconds. Casey Looper says a minute 42. The pace of play is cranked up. We've turned the pace of play up to 11 with SVB. Uh, Vitaly cannot afford another scratch on the break. How cool would it be to get an hour of coaching from SVB? Life in Buick says, you know, if you're the right person, I'm not, how do you say this? This isn't, uh, this is intended to just be like a factual statement, you know, because coaches, it's important to find a coach that has like a good uh, personality matchup with you and a good, uh, like you communicate in a similar way for you to get the most out of your coach. And I think most people in the chat can understand what I'm saying there. If you have a, a, the right uh, personality and, and uh, way of communicating to jive with Shane Van Boning, it, it's probably priceless. Now with Vitaly's break, things not working. Struggle bus early days for Vitaly Petsura. Really, really appreciate all the love, you guys. I'm glad you're having a fun time. Vitaly trying to put the cue ball behind the two. Doesn't get there. Doesn't really tie up the two ball either. Uh, not that that necessarily matters at the moment with where the one ball's sitting. I don't think uh, there's really any, any true offensive option here. For Shane, unless he comes with something real creative with the nine ball hanging in the side. But that's a pure gamble. Because if you catch it thin, you can't really control the ball that you're hitting it with. So he's looking at the line to send the cue ball between the eight and two, or at least in that direction, off the second rail. So trying to find that spot. <laughs> Chetty Moonlight says, I spent an hour getting lessons from Buddy Hall in the 90s. It didn't help. Well, maybe, maybe there just wasn't the right vibe. He 
He could also just do the tried and true shot of, of putting splitting the cue ball and the one with the three, but he finds that perfect line. Look exactly where he pointed. Vitaly's going to be jumping here. No doubt in my mind, Vitaly's jumping here. Position is probably on offer with the jump cue as well. He calls the corner pocket. Uh, Sarah, because I am, asks, where is the next broadcast? We're just going to go right back live on... We're going to keep this one rolling straight through. And then we're going to go right back live on YouTube and Facebook with uh, with Post Up to continue the US Open 8-Ball Championship. Marshall Maynard says foul shot coming. I don't think he's going to foul, but whether he makes the one is the question. Doesn't quite get there, and he's going to leave an opening for Shane. And Shane breaks the next game. Uh, Leslie Webb asks, Collins, what's your Fargo? Uh, easy to find on Fargo Rate. My name is Collins Nui. I'm the only one on the internet. But uh, if you're curious, I've uh, been as high as 612 and as low as 589 right now. Um, maybe 588. I haven't been playing much pool since I've been doing the streaming thing. Sorry, buddy. Yo. Okay. Pull down those shorts a little bit. No, this is comfortable. Okay. All right, what do we got going on, man? 4-1? Four, 4-1, one. Four, one, Shane Van Boning. Doing uh, Shane Van so, Boning so, things, so huh? So Vitaly scratched on the break Kay. two games ago. All right. So Shane runs that rack out and then breaks and runs the next rack in about a minute, minute and a half. Vitaly breaks. What a bully, man. Doesn't get a shot on the one ball. And then Shane plays. They, they go back and forth for two innings. And... Uh, and Vitaly sells out after a jump shot that Shane left him, you know, safe. And Vitaly was forcing him to jump to try to make the one, but now Shane's running out again. And if history tells us anything, he's probably going to break and run the next rack. He's got this table dialed unless he gets a funky kiss. Yeah, I was heading out of the booth and got stopped like 18 different times, including by one of our sponsors of the event, the uh, gentleman who did the flyer for us, Chris Santana. Chris of is here? Fast and loose designs. He nice. wants to meet you, buddy. Nice. Can't wait. Yeah. He heard you're a fish. And, I am. Um, I'm definitely a fish. So if you guys need any work done when it comes to logos or flyers or any of that good stuff, make sure and hit him up. He does phenomenal work. I cannot vouch for his uh, professionalism and uh, attention to detail enough, man. He's yeah. he's outstanding. Fast and loose designs. Big shout out to, to Chris Santana. He's going to try to hold it here. His line has to be good because not a lot of room for error if he just tries to come out one rail a little touchy. Just like that, and he yeah, hit it great. Yeah, totally he hit it great. Dude, there's just no stopping this guy. What a jerk, man. Just, you you have just to execute so on your breaks. You have to get there on your breaks, or you got to just pray yep. that the pool gods are going to jump in and, and you know, well, stop the madness. There's very few guys who can fight the pool gods one-on-one -on -one. yeah and like that, pull out the fists yeah and that guy right there he's one of them yeah use that use that uh pool glove as a boxing glove yeah, don't worry about it danny it's only the final going on buddy yeah it's fine it's all right it's all right five one oh and my god breaking five one and breaking what a performance he sent that thing. Gladly. Oh, man. This is the best thing I've ever is seen. Is that Colin. Jennifer Rabbit? It is. Of course it is. It is. Jennifer Rabbit just sent me the best. The best thing ever. Colin's got a photo of it. Let's see if he posts it on. Oh, I'm not posting it. I know you will. Come on. Don't make me Don't make me out to be the bad guy here. What do you mean me make you out to be the bad guy? You're the bad guy. No. No. <laughs> no. You're being a bad guy. No. All right, let's see. 5 1, buddy. You update the score? Of course I do. Yeah? Okay. All right, good deal. Why are they playing on the nearby table? They're in the tournament, Dustin Morris. Yeah, so we got the U.S. Open 8 ball championships going on right now in the first round as well. 
Look at this break, man. Look at this. Yeah. He's gonna get a shot on the side. Also, and if you if you were watching during the last match that we watched on stream and Shane was in the booth, Shane really doesn't care. He really like doesn't like he talked about the guy rolling through. Mr. Oh, you asked him about they it? They see me rolling. Oh, in. yeah. Yeah, I asked him about it. He says, oh, I don't care. Even if they want to talk to me, I don't care. Oh, he's a professional, man. Yeah. He's been through it enough. Yeah. He's just going to play some pool, you know? He's just going to do his thing. And uh, by the way, Shane just absolutely crushes him, gets a shot straight in the side. <laughs> and the rack, I mean, this rack's over too, dude. It's a wrap, son. Yeah, it's getting real. It's gonna get out of hand here pretty soon. If real quick, yeah. If you know, if he can't stop the bleeding any. Dude does not waste any time. He's got places to be and things to do. And all Vitaly can do is just sit back. He ain't even watching. He's watching some somewhere else. I know. It's like he, it's like they're not even playing the same game, man. Yep. It's like they're not even playing the same game. Well, like people forget. I mean, listen, Shane's Mr. Shane's Mr. Nine Ball right now, but he was he, always Mr. He Ten was Ball Mr. Ten Ball for the longest time. Yeah. You know and. This is the reason why. This is what he can do. This is why nobody wanted any piece of him gambling, playing big table 10 ball. You know, I remember one of the first big matches I went to was him and Dennis um, out in Virginia, and it was dubbed like the greatest 10 ball match on earth, and Shane just hammered him by like 40 games or something, yeah. you know? Vitaly's going to step away for a moment. Things haven't been working for him, and he's just getting absolutely obliterated early days in this set. So can't blame the guy for wanting to step away and cool off, maybe. Reset. Hit that reset button. Got to hit some kind of button. Yeah. All right. All around the room, you got champions all over. I'm, I'm looking through the window here. We got FSR just hanging out. He just got done playing on the TV table. You guys can check out Post Up. YouTube and Facebook, make sure and go hit the follow button on there. We're going to be streaming all the matches outside of the finals on there. You're talking about You're talking about windows open. No, I said post up. You said outside of the finals? Oh, oh, I see yeah, what yeah. you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. In in every tournament leading right. up to the finals. Yeah, 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 yeah. The um on windows open, I do got a match stream right now. I think it's Filler versus Billy Thorpe, first round or second round eight ball. So if you guys want to check out some eight ball, you can go sweat that as well. Looks like Carlo Biato is streaming his match. If you want to check that on his YouTube channel. A lot of pool coming out of this room right now. Give a lot of pool content. Big shout out to all of our sponsors. Michelle Griffin, Town, Diamond Billiard Products, Q-Tech, 1PKT. We will have some event shirts here on site. I think in the next day or two, I'll get some stuff here. Um... Premier Billiards are actually the all-around sponsor. Big shout out to them. We got some trophies for the all-around award we're going to be giving away. I'm going to add a couple mods in the chat, I guess, if people are getting out of hand. Uh, just some of the regs that I know. Um, if Griff wants to change it in the future, then that's that's fine. But uh, if people are getting out of hand, you can take care of it. I Chat's going a little too fast for me right now. Especially with the the heat of the action. Yeah, Stephen, I'll I'll unblock you on Windows Open, buddy. Just be cool is all I ask. Everybody, so. be cool. We're all just, just having fun. I don't like holding grudges. So life is too short. What what match is this, Collins? Uh, this looks like uh, Payne McBride and and uh, Cena. Oh man, dude, this guy. You know what? Look, here's the thing. I think I've. I pride myself on following pool and players from all over the world, right? And I had never, like, besides just on a scoreboard, Oops. I'd never seen this guy play before, ever. And then he just comes out here in Vegas and just 
Starts doing some amazing things with, I think he was in the final of the Swanee. Dude plays solid, yeah, man. Yeah, plays I mean, just goal. solid. Oops. Here we go. We are back. Hey, Chris Knowles. Uh, my bad. I accidentally, I was trying to mod you and you, uh, I accidentally you banned blocked. you. <laughs> so I just undid that. Good job, Collins. Yeah. Uh, undid that and now you, you got the mod, so. He did the same thing to me the other day. I posted the link of the bracket and he was about to give me the boot too. So don't feel <laughs> yeah. so bad. Yeah. I think we should have enough people at least to take care of the the riff raff. And you sound old. Five ball down. One ball is Ah, the four ball got in the game or the one ball. Sometimes the pole guys just aren't on your side, man. Push out. Shane isn't isn't the guy you want to play chicken with though. So let's see what he left them. It looks like he left them a shot. See how good he's feeling. What happens when you're old, buddy? <laughs> good night. your thing i'll be right back guys i'll be hanging out with you guys u.s open 10 ball championship final race to 13 good return from shane one ball is really close to the rail and with the new cloth it really makes the shot just that much more touchy you saw vitaly play some really good strong um safety shots earlier but you're gonna have to come with something big it looks like he wants to try to go right there between the seven and eight with the cue ball i think the one ball is enough off the rail where he should be big favorite to put that ball there but he's thinking he's not afraid to take his time and rightfully so. I mean, this is a big, big spot in the match. I mean, you're already down five racks, alternate break. You have to get this game here. He checked it up. Is it going to leave a window? He went all in, it looked like, on the bank. I don't even know if he called that. It looked like he was playing safe. And no, he did not call that. So I think Shane's going to get the option. He's pointing the finger. He says, you got it. I'm good. Which means he cannot see the two ball. And if you're by tally... When it rains, it pours. And what do you do here? I think he's going to try to go two rails at the two ball. He wants to hit right by where he's standing at. And that's what he's looking at, just trying to find his line. The problem is, you're going to have to hit it with some speed in order to get some separation. And it's going to be really difficult to not sell out a shot here. Alright, let's see what he's got. 
One, two. Makes a good hit. I don't think he called that. Even if it were to go in, he's going to dress up right by the corner pocket. And he's a little annoyed. And I get it, man. Not not the start he's, he wants in this final. It was deep in there. He wants that ball to slow up. Definitely did not want to play that. Now this is touchy. And if you're Vitaly, you just got to hope you come back to the table. Shane's looking to cut this ball. I think he's having second thoughts. We hope you guys are enjoying the match to this point. He's calling the two rail. Kind of playing it two ways here. He's got blockers with the seven, eight ball just in case it does not go. I think he's right where he's pointing as where he wants to end up. Could be a swing though. Vitaly hangs up a ball. Shane's supposed to get out. Vitaly's gonna get a chance to get back to this table while Shane is digging up on this ball here. Just to kind of hold the cue ball on, the, on that side of the table. Did a good job here. Wow. And where it ended up, it just... It, very nice shot there from Shane. Well judged. see here he's lining up for another two rail kick I think he wants to hit this ball pretty full hitting it a little soft he ain't got the full part but he's not gonna like when he gets back to the table here because Shane is probably gonna bury him unless he elects to go for the run out I think he's going. And he is. And that ball's in. Nice shot from SVB. Captain America right in line on this four to come back for the seven, eight. Hit that one just a little thick, but he's perfect. I'm gonna draw right out. Put the eight ball in the same pocket. Looking to take a commanding seven game, six game lead. And if you're Vitaly, you got to figure something out because it's not working. He's not liking something. I think he's just a little, a little flat, more flat than what he intended on being. Doesn't look like it passes the 10, so we may have to draw out of it. He's looking to see what his options are. I think he's considering rolling up. I think he can stun it on over just an, a little bit, but he's looking to roll forward. And he ain't messing around. He's taking his time here. Oh, wow. He got a lot of mileage out of that. Real nice shot there from Shane can just tell how comfortable he's feeling. After all that, he just decides to whip it around two rails. Beautiful shot there. Come over one, and he's going to get 
halfway home. 7-1, SVB, and breaking. This big SVB break that he's had the entire tournament went undefeated through an unbelievable field. Yap, Fetter, Filler, FSR, Mario He, Albin Ocean, just some of the names that are that played in this event and we're down to the last two players. I think 63 players altogether entered in the US Open 10 ball championship. And you can see why one of them went undefeated. Shane's going to have a shot on the, in the side. Not the most controlled break, but it's been effective. And it's a four eights in a funny spot here. So he's going to have to address that at some point. Running into the two, and what's he going to do here? Now, if he can squeeze this by, you can make this shot real effective. You can open up the four ball here and just lay up on the eight, just like that. But he wants it to move. Uh, he's good, though. He's really good. Didn't address the problem, but I think that's what he was trying to do. <laughs> Don't worry, Shane. Just move the ten ball. Put it wherever you want. Playing cue ball fouls only in this event. Vitaly's measuring up the two railer. He's had some really close matches this whole tournament, only dropping one set to Lee Van. I think something like nine six, eight something like that, eight six. It was close. Comes back for revenge in the semifinals. Collins is coming back in here, you guys. As Vitaly's got to figure something out here. He's got to make contact. He's got to try to hide the cue ball some way. Or at a bare minimum, live the fight another day. Good shot. But what are you going to do? Yeah. What are you going to do? Yeah, you know, when you're spinning your wheels a little bit, and it's not even that you're playing bad, you just, you know, things are happening, and, and uh, um, yeah, and then Shane doing Shane things. Mike asks, how do you send appreciation for the great pool content? Collins will have his payment information up on the stream, you guys. You can send donations through there. Um, on the uh, post-up channel. Oh, ah, okay, I, I okay. I think I put the links on this one. Okay. Well, show some love. We're here all week, or longer than a week, actually, so... Um, goes yeah, a long way. You'll have plenty of opportunities to see it. Does the four go into the left middle? I think it probably does pass the five. We'll see here right after we shoot I the two it, ball. It may, but boy, it's even hard to get there, you know? So yeah. Shane's got a plan in mind. He used every inch of that pocket. I'm not sure that's where he wanted to be at Collins. I think he's going to get the, the rake out. There's a small gap there between the four and the eight, which would tell me that I think it does pass the eight, and it does indeed pass the five, if you can get there. Indeed. I don't think you can get there from here, though. That's real tough. I mean, draw the crap Mike out of Molly the ball. says, thanks for the Moscone picture. She loved it. Oh, that's awesome, Mike. I'm, I'm glad she did. I forgot I even sent it out. They sent her a signed picture from Team USA. Nice. The guy's daughter. Yeah, it's pretty cool.
He is drawing the crap out of it. Mm. Get around the tent. Mm. Does not. Okay, now what are you going to do? Does it go off the eight? He's... Stop it. <laughs> I, Stop I mean, it. just look at it. Does Stop it go? It. It's close, it's man. It's close. It is close. It's really close. I mean, when you're up 7-1, why, My, why you, not you just know? fire? I mean, it. the safe is hard, too. You know, There's so. no safe. I don't think there's a safe here. Well, you can play cue ball. I don't know if I mean, he called you it. can play cue ball. I don't know if he called it. I don't think he called it. Did he call it? Does it matter? I know he ain't playing it off the eight. Look at this shot. What are you doing here? Oh, next level master class what stuff the here. Hell is that? No. When in doubt, keep it simple. Wow. But did he leave a he cut left, in the side? I think he left a cut in the side. I think he pointed to the side. Just got a note. Shane has won the 10 ball in 2011, 2016, 2017, 2018. And in 2016 and 18, he won the eight ball as well. Shane has had a lot of... Shane used to come over here and just rob these events. And there wouldn't be a yeah. lot of players here in years past. And But this is certainly a very different field. In, um, but either way, he's very comfortable here. He always supported Mark Griffin's events. And it just shows why he is where he's at in the tournament right now. As Vitaly cuts the ball in the side and hits it pretty good. Overran it by a little bit, but I think he's going to cut it again in the side. Well, the point can, can sneak out and is he banking this ball from putting bottom on it looks like it yeah. and he is little little love off the side of the eight ain't nothing wrong with that he needs it at this point he needs a little something to, nice to get down. the get the momentum going you know yep A lovely nudge, as uh, Carl Boys might say. I gotta work on my Carl Boys impressions. It's close. That's not. No, I could. I could do better. I gotta figure out some other phrases. Where's the cue ball going? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. That's the snooker guy, mm -mm. isn't it? There's a snooker guy that says that. Who? I don't know the guy's names. I don't. I don't know the sucker scene. Well, either way, that was a great impression. Oh yeah, great. Yeah, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dig no. Don't ever do that again. <laughs> don't ever do. That. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, Jim, what? <laughs> yeah, I gotta work on that one. What has he done here? It sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger was calling snooker yeah that's the first thought that came to mind yeah okay but it was close you know yeah you gotta shoot your shot oh <laughs> do my pepsi impression oh god oh no that guy we need that guy in the booth vitaly looking for the silver break <laughs> <laughs> to send svb into another dimension, another dimension. <laughs> He's lost the plot. <laughs> Those are good ones, dude. That's uh, actually very good, buddy. Those are good ones. Those are epic. Good job, man. Oh man, I, I'm sorry, guys. I freaking love this game and everything about it and all those things. I love all those guys just because they add so much to the. You know, just the the stuff that you can talk about. On you the gotta side. have your own flavor, man. Yeah, it's you know, great. To each their own. It's great, dude. I like Pepsi. He does a great job. Yeah, Pepsi. I love him for like 
you know, three or four racks. Originality. <laughs> Look at this break. Finally, Vitaly gets something going for him. This is about as good as it gets. You can't ask for nothing better. This is actually as good as it gets. Got two four railers down. I think Shane just shifted position in his chair because he just noticed. Wait, Vitaly found a break. Could get dangerous. He's got the eyebrow scrunch. If you were to just walk into the match and just see his face, would you think he's 7-2 up or 7-2 down? I think he's, I actually think he's dead even with that, that facial expression. Mm. He's dead even. Well, this is tic-tac-toe here for Vitaly. <laughs> I can't unhear that Pepsi impression. Uh -huh, yeah. Well, the thing yeah. I love about Pepsi and, and even Mark White, I mean, Mark White isn't, I mean, Mark, I like what Mark White does, right? But I love that he's He's always so intense with everything he says, you know. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. It's good for the game. Personality. Indeed. Tron back here for five ball in the corner. He's Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that is so, it's the perfect break. It is, yeah. I mean, that really was the perfect. Yeah. That was the silver break. Oh, <laughs> whoa, 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 baby. Easy there, cowboy. Everybody relax. Easy there, cowboy. Everybody relax. <laughs> Everyone's like, do Batman. Do Captain Kirk. I honestly, I didn't watch much Star Trek. That's Star Trek, right? Captain Kirk. I've literally never watched an episode. No Calcutta for this event, guys. No. Finally, a breath of fresh air for Vitaly in this match. Shane just waiting his turn to... Checking the rolly. Yeah. See what time he's going to be able to go, to go to dinner tonight. Yeah. This is not I think it's the angle he wanted, but... Should be fine. Oof. Hit it really good, actually. He hit it fat so that the cue ball wouldn't move so much. Yeah. Yeah, he hit it like dead perfect. Look at his cue He's ball. perfect with the cue ball. Yeah, so he hit exactly the part of the pocket he was intending. Absolutely. All right. Seven to three. And let's see if the tides are going to turn any. Shane's halfway home to another U.S. Open 10-ball championship. He's shaking his head. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, he's thinking, how the hell do you break that good? Because that was a pretty good that break. Was, yeah. That was a perfect break. Yeah. Dude, Frank Caliendo and his... His uh, John Madden. Oh man, there's nothing better. That, that guy right there. That he's yeah. he's got mud on his jersey. <laughs> Six ball down. Cue ball dead center table. And look at that break, dude. Is anything going to get tied up? Things it get a not. little bit. Things get a little close. You know, with the the two, three, and eight, you don't really have rails to work with very easily. Negotiating your way through those balls, but. That being said, it's looking pretty juicy, this rack here. Yeah, it doesn't get, I mean. A couple of fantastic breaks. He's like, oh, yeah, you players. got the perfect break. I'll show you. Yeah, yeah. You got the perfect break. I'll break one that's almost as good. Yeah. Is post-up still live on 8-Ball? No, we're coming back after this match. I'm using all my equipment on this match. We'll be back right after this with the eight ball. You guys can check out the bracket for the US Open eight ball championships on Digital Pool. Search US Open eight ball. Okay, I know there's a lot of people getting annoyed with the impressions, but no, no, there's no, some no, people no, that no. there's some people that like it and I think you guys are gonna kick out of this one. The only Batman impression I can do okay. 
is the uh, the Christian Bale Batman. Because mm -hmm. you just gotta sound like you're. You just gotta sound like you're really out of breath. <laughs> it's actually pretty and good. You were running up a hill so fast that you got to get back Ooh. and sit down for just a second. That's pretty epic, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> You've been working on that one for a no, while. No, no, I actually get yeah. lightheaded every time I, I do it. Tell, yeah, you're a little glossy out after that. No, I'm, I'm actually like hyperventilating right now. <laughs> you gotta, you gotta relax though. We may have to yellow card you. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Chat's loving it though, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Chat's loving it. Oh man, Christian Bale's Batman, epic. I'll tell you, if this pool streaming doesn't work out, <laughs> okay. We may have to, we may have to be your manager, buddy. Yeah, sure. We'll get you some gigs. Okay. <laughs> Look at that. To those people saying, can, a, you talk B, C, D. can you talk about the match? For those of you saying that, I mean, it's like when the balls break open like that, what is there to say? What is there to say? Go one rail to every ball. Just make a ball, go one rail, get straight in on the next shot. Do you yep. know what I mean? It's like yep. Shane's just going to make it look like they're all hangers. I don't think there's much to say. Can never please everybody. No, yeah. That's for sure. Because for every for every person that's saying that, there's another person that's saying, "Good Lord, if you only talked about every shot, I'd fall asleep." Yeah. So, try to find a good balance, guys. If you're new to the stream, that is. That's I'm just addressing those people. If you're new to the that vibe, I know it's new to pool. Not for everybody. Imagine we see a third one in a row. Not trying to jinx it, but the last two breaks have been quite something special. Shane ain't even looking. All right, come on. Let's see this break. See if he can have a repeat of that last one. I'm not the one. Oh, God. Here we go. Here we go. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Almost gets a scratch in the side. Yeah, was but that from a kiss or was that his cue ball straight off no, the stack? No, no, no. I mean, he came across it a little bit compared to hitting it square like the last time, but he almost got kissed in there, kicked in there. What do you do here? You got to go, right? You got to go. You got to go. You got to go. Yeah. I think you got to go. He's looking at banking it towards the four, I think. And putting the cue ball on the six, maybe. I think Vitaly, maybe with how the break has been turning out lately, it's, it's, it's understandable to be a little bit gun shy about going after it here. Um, but I think if you play that safe and and you don't get close enough to the six, Shane's just going to jump the ball and, and I just, slam listen, it in you, the hole. You got an opportunity, you got to take it, you know? And I get weighing out your options uh, there, but uh, yeah. I thought you, the cut was much more favorable. Yeah, but yeah, because you can just, you don't really have to worry about the cue ball. You're just going back like, and forth. Yeah, like 80% yeah. of the table is open, yeah. open season, you know what I mean? Right. Pretty thin. I mean, it's yeah, but, but this is this is you know obviously easier. Oh, Whoa! I was gonna it. say easier version of the last shot, but yeah. uh, forgot to make it. The tally patsura eat your heart out. Gotta be excited for this one. And this is the break he needed. Big mountain to climb, but, you know, listen, you got to start somewhere, right? Uh, this is uh, actually... 
This is on Vitaly's break, right? This, this is kind of tough here. No, no, no. I think he's all, I think he's fine. He come out one rail. Oh my Slamarino. Say Slamarino in your oh, Batman voice. Oh my stroke alicious. Okay, relax. Relax. Oh my puncheroni. He punched the hell out of that ball. Yeah, he hit it good. He hit it good. I like how the guy misses one ball and there's comments he's dumping the game. How does, I mean, <laughs> it's the gotta guy, be sarcasm. The, the guy's it, not allowed to miss a ball. It's gotta be sarcasm. Oh. Dude. Like uh, we we do have a sarcastic chat. You gotta admit that. We, we gotta, do. We got it. They're yeah. full of jokes. Uh. Is Chris Swart in the chat? Chris Swart on YouTube? I don't think I've ever seen Chris on YouTube. Who's that? Chris Swart, the owner of uh, California Billiards. Oh, in nice. Fremont, California. Nice. I think we got to stop out there for the Lucasu tour. Pretty I hope sure. so. Pretty we sure should. we do. We Pretty sure at some we do because that's a great room with I'm a like, lot of players. All right, big game here for Vitali, and they're all going to be big from here on out. Shane breaking and running. I wonder if the pull stat guy is in the chat or maybe somebody can tell us know. how many breaking runs he's had. I don't know. I think he's now contracted with... Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh. Speaking of sarcasm in the chat, Oblivion says Ooh. Collins has single-handedly ruined the goddamn stream. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I, I know Oblivion. Congratulations. Well, Oblivion's my boy. Yeah? Yeah. Nice. Rolled question, that one up. Question from the chat says, is Vitaly a phoenix? Is he coming back from the dead? I think mm. that's what they're trying to say. 8-4. Huh? Shane. Step closer, that's for sure. Shane shaking the head. He can't believe he missed that one ball. I don't think anyone in the chat can either. What's the Lucasi tour? We are in combo about sponsorship. Hmm. We are in combo about sponsorship. Yeah, I'm not sure what that means. If you don't know what the if you don't know what it is, how are you in conversations with them? Does it make sense? Anyway, it's a West Coast tour that we're doing out in California, Arizona, I think Idaho, Vegas. We got eight stops in total. I think we got the first four planned out. I think I have dates on three. Do you? I have dates on three of them. Yeah. I should know it, but. The inaugural event is going to be in April at Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento, California. Next month is going to be a lot of traveling again. Yeah. Big break. Whoa, Eight ball down. Cue ball getting kicked. All over the place. He's going to have a shot, though. A it, shot. It's it ain't a hanger. Three balls in a good spot, too, or an okay spot. Whoops, wrong button. Is there any Arizona stops? There is supposed to be one Arizona stop. That's for sure. <clears throat> That's all going to be streamed to you through post up, Indeed. covering the whole thing. If you want to know what's going on with West Coast Pool, that's the channel to follow. What's your page called again? I'm spacing on it, honestly. Nice shot from Shane, and it's going to get rewarded. You got to go, man. You yeah, got to go. He's shot. a he's a killer. You know, look, when look when, at the way he's walking around the table, like stalking it, man. No, he's like walking like uh, like. That's right, that one ball's going in. You know, like, just... Ugh. Do it in the Batman voice, just, though. Ugh, no, no, the Batman no. voice is worn out. I'll pass out. It'll make me pass out, I'm serious. <laughs> All right. Breathing too heavy. Breaking my heart, man. <laughs> All right. Can you fade running into the six here? Draw oh, out yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, 100%. Okay. 100%. I think you can get to the rail. Ah, uh, yeah, see, I he knew... He didn't even want to, though. No, he didn't, but he's fine. He controlled it very well. Uh, question in the chat about scores around the room. We can do uh, we can do a little a little score update after this match or this rack. Dude, Chris helped you out with the booth. 
Out in California Billiards? Yeah, Chris helped me set it up. Yeah. Okay, good. Like, helps me put it together. My back's injured, Chris, after helping okay. Collins over here in Vegas. So you're, you're going to be I on the clock the out there. I panels by myself. You guys can't even help me take them down. <laughs> yeah. You're a mad man. Gonna draw out of this one. Three balls away from a nine five nine four lead. Yeah, Town Max Rec is the sponsor of this event. And um, I haven't heard any complaints from any players. No, they all at all. I haven't heard like one every single one that I've asked in the asked in the booth says, No, it seems to do its job well. Yeah. The balls are all tight. And you'll know, like, because players will complain about it like nonstop. Yeah. You know? Whoa, check this out. Ooh, okay. Got a little eh, sweater. he's fine though. Got a little sweater. Yeah, but he's fine. He's okay here. He just jinxed him, buddy. Congratulations. No, it's the it's the typical pool stream line, where somebody gets out of line. It's yeah. like, oh yeah, but he's SVB. Yeah. Nine to ten, or sorry, nine to four. Yep. Any deals on town, special codes. If you're in the area, maybe if you stop by. Or unless Collins has you as a mod, we can talk about it. <laughs> I'll have some gloves and chalk and all that good stuff here probably tomorrow. I don't know why I haven't brought it to this point, but we'll have some stuff for Lazy. sale. That's just laziness. Sheer laziness. You're right, yeah. I haven't been doing anything with my days. I'm not saying I haven't been yeah. lazy. I just sit on a chair all day. Let's see watching. Wonder what Shane's thinking right now <laughs> with that face. Somebody <laughs> screenshot got the that. Same, he's got the same face every time. Someone screenshot that and make a meme. Came across it again. Six ball down, though. One ball is going uh, to... Oh, he's fine. He'll have a, he's going to make the one, but he's got a lot of traffic to fade coming back and forth. Hey, Randy Stahl. Thank you, man, for the uh, cash app. And Jeffrey Machado, thank you for the uh, the beer later. I'll definitely be chucking that at a beer later. Are you going to buy me my coffee that they sent you money for? Or uh, that's on the, That was a super chat. I don't get that money until next month. So you're ah, you might SOL. get it at the Lukasi. SOL then, huh? If I remember, oh. you might get it at the Lukasi. I know, I know what side I'm betting on. <laughs> 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 USA, <laughs> Shane is thinking about Vegas and the Mirage. <laughs> Oh, okay. Full pocket. All right. Cue but it worked. The real nice side of the table. Just get a focus purely, purely on the pot. Shane ain't getting up for that two ball. No he's, chance. he's saying, go ahead. <laughs> Shane's thinking, what? <laughs> Shane is wondering if they kept his direct deposit info ready. <laughs> if you add the score together, it makes it equals me winning already. <laughs> is Shane playing in all the U.S. Open events? Yeah, yeah. I just confirmed that in uh, when he was in the booth. He says he's staying staying through. He's actually got a flight out of wow. I'll bobbling the ball there, overcutting it, and cue ball rolling a little bit extra because of it. But anyway, Shane said that he's flying out of Vegas at midnight after the last day, and he plays in the PLP the next day. Pardon me, the next day. Like he lands the plane and heads over to the venue and goes to play he's after checking into his hotel. He's a sicko like that. He's a sicko, dude. Nice shot there. I mean, Shane's, what, like 40 now, right? But he's still 
traveling consistently and playing top shelf man and listen let me tell you that new announcement of the million dollar oh um, it's got him fired up uh purse for the world yeah. championships the world nine ball yeah that'll motivate shane trust me he was talking yeah. about it he's was not he? he's not thinking about anything else that's what he said basically. yeah, yeah he yeah. says i'm just focusing on my rotation game my rotation break my nine ball break yep and he said uh like because because he likes his money because Federer was barking at him in the chat saying when are we going to play a big game and tony was barking at him too Tony was chirping at him as soon as he walked in the door this yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he says, uh, I'm just not focused on one pocket right now. It's the funniest thing because if you go anywhere where Tony Chohan and Shane Van Boning are in the same building, just hang out and wait till Tony gets a minute because he'll start needling Shane like no other. Yeah, it's it's hilarious. Hey, Chris Snyder, welcome. Better late than never, buddy. Just draw him back a little bit, hit that perfect... And he's doing all he can do, right? Just handle your business when you get a chance. And got to hope that Shane makes a couple of mistakes. Ooh. Okay. This is the final match. One race to 13. U.S. Open 10-ball championship presented by Q-Tech. Live from Griff's in Las Vegas, Nevada. Yo, what's up, Stebs Duarte? Saketh K says, this guy got game. He certainly does. I mean, he's made it to the final. Did you guys see the field in this tournament? Just go look at the bracket. It's, it's ridiculous. Hey, Lindy Russell says, I sent beer money to Mike and Collins. Collins will take care of that beer money. Yeah. Yeah, he will. Mike will pass <laughs> pass on it, but maybe I'll use it for coffee for him. Consider Lindy Russell, thank you so consider much. Considering I don't drink. Yeah. Yeah. But we appreciate the support, for sure. Yeah, that's coffee money for Mike. Thank you. That I'll see Mike maybe, gave I'll, up the alcohol maybe and just I'll swapped see, over to caffeine. He drinks it, more caffeine than he ever did booze. Maybe I'll see that coffee at the 2025 U.S. Open 10 ball. Oh, look at this. If you're lucky. If I'm lucky. I don't think he's got a shot here, yeah, buddy. Yeah, he's got a shot. He's, it's, he can see the one. It's not easy. But you know what? You just got to bear down. That's all you got to do. It's really got to bear Could down Could this here. be the beginning of the turning of the tide? I think it goes. I'm pretty sure it goes. Well, either way, even if it goes, it's not the easiest shot. What about the rail first? Golly, you know how tough that is that far away? The rail first, the slide across the table. That is so tough to do. There's no, You can't make that ball rail first. Oh, he was trying to go for it. Lose a little bit of inside. And Vitaly's going to have to come with one here. Can you give me the overhead, buddy? <clears throat> Please. Hmm. Let's get a score update. Some matches for the U.S. Oh, yeah, Open. That's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. As Vitaly is sizing up this one ball. Dude, I love this funky, funky wah pedal music. Bader Alawadi is uh, already jumping. through. He's going airborne. Has finished two matches already. Vitaly does not have to win two sets. This is a single extended race to 13. Oh, and he almost made it. And he's going to sell out. I, oh, that's unfortunate. He came so close. Solid effort. 
Mario He currently up seven to one versus Max Eberly. We got to get that guy in the booth. Yeah, Max Eberly had a buy in the in the tournament, and now down seven to one. Carlo Biato finishes his match eight to zero. Oh, he was playing a probably a local player, Marco Scabin of 430 Fargo. So somebody just firing, hanging out with the pros, yeah. schmoozing with the pros. And uh, Joshua Filler, Billy Thorpe right now on table 13 on that uh, Windows Open table. Score is currently 6-4 to four in favor of Josh Filler. Nice shot here. Perfect angle to come up for the five ball. Victor Zelinski uh, defeated Daniel uh, Machow. Oh, man. First round. That was an interesting first round matchup. John Morris slated to play uh, John Salim after defeating Skylar Woodward 8-4 to four in the first round. How do you like showing up to Griff's and losing your first match as Skylar Woodward? Tony Chohan up four to one versus Savannah Easton. Lee Van Corteza dispatches Corey Duell in fifty three minutes, beating him eight to zero. Is it nine five or ten five? It is now ten five. Okay. What's that? Nothing. I clicked on I clicked on my stream mm. and I thought it had ended. You know what I mean? I thought we weren't live. We're good. Taking his time here with the rack. He's running out of time though in the match. Shane's just a runaway train right now. Nice. That's the break that got him here. Hey, did my YouTube chat break? I'm not seeing any comments coming through. It's been that way for a while, I think. There we go. I fixed it. I fixed it. YouTube chat was frozen for a minute there, guys. That's why we weren't really interacting. We didn't. Oh, he wanted to put that right behind the eight ball. I love the idea. Not the execution that he wanted, but it's a great attempt. What happened? Your, the chat? Yeah, the chat was just frozen, so we, uh. we fixed it now.
Oh my. Wow, what a madman. Oh my try. <laughs> Look at his face. He's like, really, that ball didn't go in? Like it was a hanger. Little drag shot here. Nice full hit. Just making sure he stays on the three ball. Only issue is the seven ball, Collins. It's the only thing I'm really seeing getting in the way. With where the five is in relationship to the six, I think uh, it should be fairly manageable to get some type of angle like uh, like this on the six. To play the basically the wagon wheel you know what i mean yeah yeah oh was he trying to bump the seven there there's no way right huh This is thin, so he's really wants to make sure he hits it how he's intending to. Chat saying that Ronnie O'Sullivan just made the 167 break. Did he? Oh, epic! 000. Wow, thought who, it was like half a million. Who else would do it like that fast? You know what I mean? Who would, who else would it's be like the, the first guy? First event? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, who else would be the guy that would do it first? Well, event? I know in Stuttgart they were saying the pockets have been playing a little more loose in the last few years, you know, so that was definitely doable, but. It, it's perfect that it's Ronnie, though. Speaking of perfect, look how Vitaly just drew that shot. Straight out of the jaws of the pocket, didn't even touch a rail. He's perfect on the five. I believe he's queuing low to get that angle that I was talking about earlier. Not going to get there. Maybe forward two rails? No idea. No idea how you play this. 147 or 167? 167. The 167 is the half a million, I think. They're saying 147 in the chat. So, I don't know. Okay. 7-9? I guess. Got to get straight and fairly close. Got a lot of angle here, man. Probably won't do it. The internet did not tell the truth. Yeah, I know what. Yeah, we. Yeah, the 147 is the maximum, but they introduced a new yellow ball for a 167. I think it was half a million. Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, that's so, why I was so surprised to hear it had happened already. Yeah, it was the very first. So apparently, event. it hasn't happened already. Right. <laughs> yeah. What Is are you he do? going here? What? Paying the carom? Combo. Okay. Oh my gosh. The tally Patsura. He wants to bounce. Going for the jugular. I mean, what are you going to do, right? You have to shoot that ball. And that was hard. Yeah. That was a funny angle, man. That was not. That was like. You couldn't pay me to be excited to shoot that shot. <laughs> Well, I mean, I could come up with a number, but yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right on, Chris Knowles. Thanks for hanging out, buddy. Thanks for helping.
Where's that cue ball going? Holy crap, it was going right at the side pocket, and he's on the 50-yard line. <laughs> what? What are you laughing at? Nah, nothing. What? Nothing. Look outside pocket. Look no. outside pocket. Oh! oh my god. All he can do is laugh. Wow. Set a timer. I say 40 seconds. Playing with fire there, but you got to take uh, swings. 10 6 now, right? Yep. Right? Okay. 10 6 now. Can, sh can Shane. <laughs> oh. Sorry, that was Collins dropping his phone trying to adjust those short shorts he's got. <laughs> they're not short. No, they're short, buddy. No, they're, they're not. short. If you'd like to see how short they are, just go check out Windows Open. Oh, oh look at that. Okay. All right. It ain't over yet. Just because I don't wear my shorts like Tony Chohan. I mean, I'm not saying you got to wear them like Tony. I just think there's a middle ground to be <laughs> had where you're leaving something for the imagination, buddy. All right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. Well, we love you, buddy. Thanks, man. Yeah. I tell you who doesn't love something, and that's this one ball right here for Shane. I have no idea. There's not even really a place to push out to because you're just pushing out to an easy safe everywhere you go. Love the chat. Is he gonna get? Is he gonna get he away with course. it? Wow, no, he hit it perfect. He hit it great. This is intentional. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, no, that's what I meant to say. Excuse me. This is intentional. Nice shot. <laughs> I'm gonna consider this situation that you guys are talking about in the chat as a victory. Because, no, a victory for me. Ah, okay. Mike would have been much better off not mentioning it to me and me just wondering what's going on in the chat. But he showed me right away. He was so proud that he I couldn't stop laughing. That's the problem. And Collins knows me too well. And he's immediately just like, you know, suspicious, you know, right away. Listen, it's your booth. You you be as comfortable as you want in your booth. I'm a, I'm in your house. Oh, I'm comfortable. I, I, we know. We know. Can you can't see the one? Can no, you show? He no, he can't see. The wow, one. I thought he could see the one. No, what? Oh, that well, overhead was a little. No chance. He almost made a jump earlier, and he was real close. That one did not threaten. He needs that ball to slow up, and it is not. Y'all send Colin some money so he can buy some the rest of the fabric for... Oh, yeah. <laughs> for his Let him have it. You are unforgivable. Ugh. Okay, you know what? That's it. The, I'm taking it off of Windows Open. Don't take it off. No, I take it off. I'm, I took it off. No, it's a, it was. They got they got the best 
Fans, yeah. fans were cheated to the best five minutes of their life thanks to those shorts, buddy. Well, I'll tell you right. what, you, you you deleting that post actually, you just sacrificed, you know, probably about a hundred thousand likes because those are some good. Listen, we're not. So. <laughs> you, don't gotta, you don't gotta tell me it's been hard to stay concentrated over here. <laughs> <laughs> you don't gotta tell me. All right, SVB. He smells blood. He's looking at the finish line. Yeah. <laughs> Can't think about oh, man. I took down the post, so it's no longer on Windows Open. If you got to see it, you got to see it. Congratulations. <laughs> Tip Collins on your way out. Yeah. I got to go to table 11. All right, buddy. Okay, thanks for that, Mike. Speaking of 11, Mike is on his way to table number 11. Shane Van Boning on his way and arrived with game number 11. Oh, I guess the race length in the tablet was not set to 13. It might have been set to 11 on accident. Looks like Shane's going to go check it out with Brandon Birch. Where are you at? Where are you at? Can't really see. I know it's blurry, guys. The trouble has... Or, sorry, the camera has trouble focusing when it's dark out. Tally. More trouble on the break here. More trouble on the break with three with the three ball. Did Shane make the ten? The ten ball? Or whatever it was? Eleven six. Okay. Sorry, my phone was just blowing up, dude. <coughs> Those thighs are just popular, son. I mean you know that. Well, yeah. Mike, there was a guy in the chat trying to get a hold of someone from Derby about a contest he won. Yeah, I'm not sure. Tell him to, if it's a contest I did, then tell him to hit me up. I don't think, I don't know. Have him send me a message. We'll be glad to, if I can help out, I will. Heather Cook. Heather Cook, where the hell did you find that yeah. emoji? <laughs> it's, very, it's very fitting. Uh, Those shorts don't fit, but that's oh they fit great yeah nice nice yeah nice. i hit that ball thin, thin. thin. You hit that ball thin what do you like here buddy 
Right, like that? Yep. Okay. He's trying to make the ball here. Yeah, he's going after a kick. The way he was aiming this mirror system, I think he went past the one ball so that he could account for the slide, I think. Because this is going to go long. So he was aiming short. Because if he actually hits it short, the cue, ball, the cue ball can scratch. But if it goes long, mm, oh wow. He wasn't off by much. Didn't aim short enough, but... Hell of a try. Michael Thomas coming in with the PayPal for additional material for those shorts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Golly. We need some fabric, man. You know? Does anybody know a seamstress? Petition for a knee cam. Made the char okay. charge by the minute for that. <clears throat> but depending on the price, we might be able to make it happen. After all, we are are in Vegas. Do you know Hua Beats? No idea, but he keeps on typing that in like. 18 times now. Yeah, $1,000 cash game, me and Melina Mike. It's kind of tough to agree to a match with somebody that you've never met before, Hiwa. I know you hang out in the chat a lot, but we, we don't know who you are. Sounds like I've been asking for a game with him by the way he's commenting, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Holy fan. <Okay. laughs> the chat has gone full chat mode. <laughs> it just... It just... Stupid. I want to get listen. I'm trying Stupid to get them the like the jokes. the Griffin the <laughs> the Griff's experience, you know. So. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not in Sacramento, buddy. What are you doing here? I don't know why he's taking so long here. I mean, a lot of good things can happen no matter where the cue ball is. So uh, just trying to make make use of this combo, make it a little bit more controllable, I guess. He's really going to – I bet you he's going to slow roll this, like, super, super, super slow. Like, just enough to get the five in the hole. Are you playing to make the nine in the five? Like, uh -oh. the, make the nine ball go into the five? No, because then you lose the cue ball. But if you just play it fat – no, you don't lose the cue ball because you can come off the rail and come back out. I don't think you lose the cue but ball. But it's really it's really thin to get the four to go there, I think. And the cue ball's going towards where the nine is. Okay. But if you just roll this real slow, the four should stay right there. He played the four off the nine. Damn, okay. Yeah, real nice shot. Yeah. I like the pure draw shot here. When you're close to the ball like this. Just a pure draw shot. Just get out the stroke cam. All right, I think all the hard work has been done. Later, Alan Keeney. If you like the event and appreciate the free stream, make sure and hit the subscribe button to Griff's. 
we cannot do it without them. We would we wouldn't be here without them. Right. So. Well, well, well. Ooh. Well, well, well. With where the ten is sitting, all of a sudden this shot gets real interesting. Yeah. Do you let the stroke out and, and pull the cue ball away from the 10 and go around the table since the 9 is in the uh, corner, maybe? Or do you just run into the 10 because the 9's in the corner? <laughs> I, think, I think you just run into the 10. If you hit the right, the top side of the 10 as we're looking at it, there's a scratch. Yeah, I think you just... I wouldn't want to let it go. That's just me. But look at the scratch. Look at the, the scratch? scratch. Look On at the, the scratch. Look at the scratch. Oh. Side. Ay, 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 the frustration, the and understandable frustration of the SVB-ness that's about to be unleashed. All right, I'm going to step on out of here, buddy. It's been fun hanging out with you. Where are you going? I got to do some work, man. Okay, yeah. You know? I'll just sit here and not work. Listen, by the length of those shorts, you're working, buddy, is what it sounds like to me, or looks like to me. Shane Van Boning right. on the hill of the U.S. Open 10-Ball Championship. Let me see after this break. Yeah, why would you leave right now? Well, because I want to get I want to get a video. I want to I'm going to talk to the guys. Got to get trophies done. I got a lot of stuff to do. Well, how do you know? That's why I said we'll see after the break. Okay. All right. I'll play Collins for a thousand, but he has to wear those shorts. <laughs> you get your money's worth right there. Four ball. four ball, one ball coming up. That's how many balls? Game, set, and match. It's three ball. How, how many balls do you need to make on the break, dude? Yeah, you're right. He'll probably be done in about a minute and a half. Oh my god, Shane Van Boning falling for the falling for the Molina Mike curse. No way, dude. No way. Too much pressure trying to win his first big tournament. Yeah, exactly. If I'm Vitaly and I didn't think I was coming back to the table, I'm dogging this ball every time. Vitaly will probably not, but if, if it's me, the pressure. The pressure. What has he done there? <laughs> we need. Whoa, 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 whoa. Flirting with the corner pocket. Guys, we got drama. Kevin Clark coming in with the PayPal's. If you know, you know. Thank you, man. The man, the myth, the Clark. The Kevin Clark, better. <laughs> ah, yeah.
and Vitaly Petsura. Vitaly Petsura staying alive. Staying alive. Oh, thank you, to Tobias Georgie, for the appropriate quotation marks around who is this commentator, quote, commentator, because I respect that. I'm technically not a commentator. I just hang out with you guys. It's like a, I treat it more like a video game stream or like we're hanging out on the rail. Thanks for acknowledging it. My name's Collins. Collins knew he, I was hanging out with Molina Mike in the second chair for a while there, but he had to step out because he was certain that the match was over. That'll teach him. Nice, Vitaly. Now do that five more times. That only gets him to the hill, Edie. <laughs> All right. Six ball down. One ball gets kissed to the short rail. Two ball down. Four ball down. There's only six balls on the table. But he's got to chop the one real thin. Ooh. He's got to cut the one ball thin and avoid all this. And do that. I don't know, dude. I don't know, dude. He was just looking from this end of the table so that he could see that line that he's got to follow after cutting this one ball in. <clears throat> and he runs into the nine. And Shane Van Boning... Now separated from the title of U.S. Open champion by only six balls. Yeah, that shot was always going to be a tall order, guys. That shot was always going to be a tough one. Perfect angle on the three. With this angle on the three ball, you can access, access any point on the table with the cue ball. Look at this cue ball. Look at the speed. Shane Van Boning walking around the table like the champion he is. And Vitaly is going to have to settle for runner-up. As we give the trophy to Shane Van Boning, your 2024 U.S. Open 10-ball champion. What a tournament from both players. Congratulations. Let me turn the room mic up a bit. That's pretty good. Congratulations, Shane Van Boning. This is Mike working, by the way, guys. That's Mike doing the work. And Shane just wants to hit more balls. Shane wins a championship and just goes and practices. Immediately starts to practice. <laughs> uh, 
runner-up trophy. Nice crystal trophies. They look real nice. Brandon bringing in the champion trophy. All these pictures and post-match interviews can be found on Windows Open, guys. Should probably give a huge shout-out to our sponsors. Uh, this is only the first tournament. This is only the first tournament of four. We got three more to go. U.S. Open 8-Ball, U.S. Open Banks, U.S. Open 1-Pocket. Shout out to the sponsors, 1PKT, Michelle Griffin, Realtor, Fast and Loose Designs, Premier Billiards, The Town, Max Rack, Diamond Billiard Products, and our title sponsor. Thank you so much to Q-Tech. Thank you, thank you, thank you. What a great event so far. Shane Van Boning takes first place at $9,000. I am going to go live again on post up, guys. I'm going to get that stream set up while they do the celebrations. You guys can check it out. Nice, 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 dude. Up next on the stream table. I don't think Shane's going anywhere. I actually think on the stream table we've got more SVB in the 8-ball. I think we got more SVB in the 8-ball coming up. You can catch this interview on Windows Open if you want to see what Shane has to say. Alban Ocean coming out. Getting ready to hit some balls. Chat box coming back, guys. The chat box from post up. Coming back. Let's go. Boom. What's up, one for yo? Wombra says that was highlight of the tournament for me. What was that, Wombra? All right, all right, all right. First match out the gate. Back for the U.S. Open 8-Ball Championship. Let me change the graphics on screen. If you're just joining us on Post Up after the live stream on a rewatch or a replay, we just watched the final for the U.S. Open 10-Ball Championship. Crowned our champion, Shane Van Boning. And runner-up, Vitaly Patsura. And now we have, going into our U.S. Open 8-Ball champion, championship, pardon me. SVB still on the table, but this time with Alvin Ocean. I'll sport with the spam on Facebook. Time to yeet it and delete it.
how many players are participating in the eight ball tournament we got 51 players 50 51 i think it's 51 Bank time pool, I don't believe we're muted. I don't believe so. There we go. Uh, the winner of this match tomorrow will play Badr Alawadi. Things looking like they're shaping up for a match between Josh Filler and Max Lechner tomorrow. It's Bauer is getting a one-way trip to Band Town. We'll let you guys watch Albin Ocean warm up here. Should be getting started shortly, I believe. Any moment now. Ooh, gotta change the transition. Wait, 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 wait. We gotta do this right. Gotta do this right. We are now back to US Open 8 ball. That's the final score on the screen from the U.S. Open 10 Ball Championship Final. We are back to a race to eight format here. I don't believe we're getting started quite yet. I could be mistaken though. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The top left graphic still says 10 ball. Got it. Thank you. Next up, 
table 25, Jason Clapp versus Jesse, table 25. Here we are. Alvin looks like he's going after this like it's the first game. Did they lag already? Did I miss it? Yes, in the chat. Okay, this is game number one. Here come all the commentator clueless comments. I am clueless sometimes. My apologies. Getting the transition from the old, from the ten ball tournament to the eight ball tournament. Now we're we're locked in. Lock it in. Alvin Ocean with a break and run for the first rack. Playing good. Playing good. Hey, John Forsyth, thank you so much for the PayPal. No, I, I've decided against putting Fargo rates on the scoreboard for this event. monster break right there the six ball is clean to the bottom left corner with the two sitting in the corner here I wouldn't be surprised that Shane takes solids takes care of the seven ball first probably and uh, uses the two to reposition himself to deal with the three and five I would think Shane is the master Shane is the pattern play master. David R coming in with the 999. Thank you for the super chat, David R. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised here if he goes like uh Ooh, what about even doing the seven first and then shooting the three two combo? So you don't have to worry about going from the three to the five around the eight. The six works just fine as a key ball. It's it's pocketable pocketable from anywhere on the right side of the table. Shane's going to take care of the two ball first here. Tries to get to the five immediately. game's over
<laughs> Stephanie Ball coming in with the twenty dollars. More short shorts and thanks for the SVB commentary. That was fun, wasn't it? Guys, I'm gonna have to go get a little bit more sugar and caffeine. I didn't get much sleep last night, so I'm gonna step out of the booth while Albin Ocean tries to do his thing on the next rack. Um, I'll be back shortly. Scratch on the break from Alvin Ocean, but these balls on the bottom right side of the screen that, that Shane is positioning the cue ball in, they all just kind of rolled towards each other at the end of the break like there was a magnet sitting in the middle of that, t that quarter of the table. Chill with the language in the chat, guys. Chill with the language in the chat. Uh, just as a heads up, I'm I'm uh, not really modding the. Uh, the Griff's TV chat anymore. I'm back over on post up. So if you want to interact in the chat, that's where we're all hanging out. Just as a heads up. Uh, not playing, not playing the full WPA rule on on the break on eight ball. No, not behind the line on the break. Ball in hand. SVB going with solids here. And seven don't pass the ten. 
but it does pass the one if the one isn't there. So he could shoot the five first, then take care of the one next, use the four to get position on the two, and then the two to get position on the seven up table. He's just trying to see exactly the line that he's going to end up with on the one. I'm pretty sure that's what he's doing. He's trying to clear the pocket so that the seven goes in the top right corner. And then wants to slide across the table to play the four in the side. Roll forward off of the four to get to like somewhere around here on the two so he can follow to the seven, I would think. I would think. Possibly. He could also come down here and then just play speed. You know, play speed like somewhere around here, but that's a little tougher. Give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down, HR Biggs. Either one is an interaction. You know, if you don't like it, it's still engagement. Oh, he kind of doesn't get a lot of insight on that ball. It's easy to swing to the wrong side of the eight here. cue ball nice wow Alvin Ocean concedes the rack Smashes the break. Cue ball all over the place. One ball hangs up in the corner up there. Solids are looking. Oh, the middle of the rack just got completely obliterated. Really bad. Really tough clusters to deal with here. I don't know. P PD Ch Chestnut, I don't follow eight ball close enough, but I would have to defer to what Shane was saying when he was in the booth that the Chinese players that play Chinese 8-ball are the best in the world. All right, next up on table 27, Max Everly versus Mark Estiolo. Table 27.
Mick Hill do to Thanos with the gauntlet? I'll have to watch him play. Gareth Potts plays Chinese 8-ball very strong. Stephanie Paul, thank you for the compliment. And Donovan, thank you so much. It's very kind of you to say thank you. Just try to have fun with you guys. That's the main thing. SVB putting uh, some serious work in on this pattern play for these stripes. I, I really, when, when in the beginning of the rack, I had no clue. He made it look like it was simple. What's up, Kevin Seabert? Oh no, is the venue music playing too loud? I turned it down. Hopefully it didn't bleed through for too long. Shane Van Boning takes a 3-1 to one lead. I turned up the venue to uh, Zaid Al Nashi says bad quality. I wish you'd be more specific so I could be better at what it is that you're looking for. Zaid. Zaid. I genuinely mean that. Are you talking about the uh, the uh, if you're talking about the uh, resolution, you can change that in your your video settings. Alvin playing a cute little stun run through right there. Probably here gonna slide over just a touch to play the seven ball. Use the two to reposition yourself on the one to go back up table to the five. He's looking at the five ball now. Needs to figure out how to get to the five. Needs to find the best line. Decide if he wants to use the one or does he want to use the two. Seven ball, I would think, is first here. Okay, nice. Nice, Zade. Glad to hear that we were able to work that out. Thank you, man. So he decides to use the two ball so he can drift two rails this way. He needs to find a really good... The key here is the line from the short rail to the long rail. Which which spot on the long rail does he hit? Because if he hits too low, the 10 and 9 come into play. But he finds a real good line. Real good line. Gosh, these guys. Pulls it back three to two. Alvin just wanted to get back to the table and have a chance to break, man. Shane doesn't concede any balls. Yeah, I noticed that. Is Shane still breaking full speed? Take a guess. 
and then watch this break. That cue ball is going to fly up in the air. Whoops. Cue ball is going to just smash the stack wide open. Jump back to the head string. And he's not going to make a ball. Get ready for the hand flip. No hand flip. Dry break. What can you do? What can you do other than to let Alvin back in the game without even trying? Do I know what chalk Shane is using? I assume master chalk. We can find out. Looks like master chalk to me. Jake Morris, we just finished the 10 ball final on uh, Griff's TV just before this match. Ocean finishes the deed, ties the game, and breaking. Take a look around the room real quick, guys. Looks like we have a match here between Vitaly, just, just like Shane, jumping into his next match. If you want to check out the match at the table at the bottom of your screen here, you can see it on Windows Open. It's being live streamed right now to Windows Open. Savannah Easton in a match here. The Roadrunner. Little beep beep action. Dude, she's so serious. Like uh, She's like a little adult running around the table, man. It's crazy. We're going to just miss the break from Albin Ocean, but I want to take a peek around here, and then we'll take a look at some scores when we get back to the feature table. John Mora here wins his match versus Sky Woodward and gets to play John Salim from Germany. Yeah, let's pop back to the uh, main table here and... See how we're looking. Look at the the killer. 
The Killa hanging out with the Eastons. See how long it takes her to notice that she's on TV. There you go. All the rail birds. Back to the action. Whoops. <laughs> Dogged it. Looks like it was a pretty good break for Albin, except for the 10 and 9 tied up with the 6 ball up there. Talking about those other matches we were just checking out, uh, checking on, we can uh, look at the scores. Looking at a score of... Uh, down there on table 25, Jason Klatt is up 7, or sorry, 3 to 0 versus Jesse Saldivar. Uh, John, Mori, John Mora versus Can Salim. Can Salim, he is uh, up four to three. John Mora up four to three. Interesting match between Danny Olson and Joao Cias. Just getting started off two to zero. Lee Van Corteza beats Corey Duell eight to zero. Wow. Corey Duell in a match versus Sue Orr. Current score four to two in favor of Corey Duell. I'd say we've got maybe one more match after this on the stream today, guys. Ike, I believe that's the payouts, but I'm not sure, Ike, for the all-around. Albert Ocean winning three games in a row here. Break and run. Dry break from SVB. And then another break and run for Albert Ocean. <clears throat> Just another Wednesday. SVB absolutely crushed the rack last time and came up dry. Let's see what happens this time. Nine ball gets kissed out of the side, but he still makes the 12 in the left-hand side. Ball down in the top left corner. And a wide open run out. Shane's trying to make a decision here of which grouping is better, probably based on how things lay with the 10 and 7. Thank you. Okay, thanks. You got it? Yep. Okay. Guys, I'm going to have a few bites. I'm going to mute my mic for a few minutes. If something comes up, I'll definitely unmute and, and uh, chill with you.
and we're back. <coughs> if you ever come down to Griff's, Cuban is decent. If you ever come down to Griff's, the Cuban is decent. Pretty good. I kind of like that it's on the smaller side, Jerry. I like that it's like not a really big, thick, you know, large Cuban. Especially because I think Mike and I are going to go do dinner tonight. So it was like a nice little lunch. Got it with a salad. Pretty good. Hey, Rick Isabel, thank you so much. And congrats to SVB, of course. How about a little beep beep in the house? How about a few beep beep, meep meep? Do I have that? Do I still have that? I think I have that. Oh, that might have been loud. It's not bad. Not too bad. That's when we gotta come in here and go like this. Oh yeah, Ike, that's a great idea. I should go rip that. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. Oh my god, I'm dead, dude. That's perfect. <laughs> I need that button. Oh, can somebody text me right now so I don't forget? I'll, I'll leave the, the message unopened. So when I go look in my like Facebook Messenger later, I'll remember. The uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. I need me some of that on my, on my soundboard for sure. <laughs> I just got accosted by the Roadrunner. <laughs> 
Okay, I can I can feel the text messages now. Thanks, guys. I wonder what Albin's planning to do with this 8-ball. He's gesturing around the table. I have no idea what his plan with this 8-ball is. Maybe use his 9. Maybe use the 9 as a key ball where he can roll like this direction after the 9. Maybe. I have no idea. He's been playing some really, really good patterns, though. While I was eating that sandwich, I, just rather impressive stuff, even at the world-class level, like really good stuff. Clean. Did he get there? Oh, only perfect. It's only perfect, guys. Maybe not. He doesn't like it. You know what the cool thing is here? If you go flat into the 8, the 8 bumps out this way. And you can still shoot the 8 in this corner. That's what he does. And it works. Nailed it, dude. Nailed it. Based. <laughs> Based. Trovo. Yeah. Yo, Big Queen in the chat. Coming in with a 1999. Big Queen. Big Queen. Yeah, it was really interesting for me to get to know Albin. To be frank, I did not expect that like specific personality out of him. Uh, and knowing more about him now I, I see him I, I just I feel like I see him better as a person you know I mean obviously that's how it works right when you get to know somebody you see them better whatever What did he say, guys? I gotta go back and read it now? What did he say?
I never told you to take it down. I never told him to take it down. I don't care. You know, if that's what you if that's what you want to look at, you can look at it. Tim Harris, there will be plenty over the course of the next two weeks. You know, we don't want to we don't want to impose, especially while they're all still active in a tournament, by asking them constantly, "Oh, can you help me with this? Help me with that?" You know. I do think it's it's generally good for their, you know, their their brand and their social medias, but uh, and and uh, if if that's something that they're working towards, it's. It's good to be able to have your personality out there so that the people that follow you feel like they know you. You know what I mean? So um, I'm sure that there's a number of them that are, that are willing and uh, and able to do so. But like I said, I'm not gonna. We're not gonna constantly be asking. Oh, can you come in? Can you come in? But if it if it works out like that, then great. And I'm sure that will happen plenty of times throughout the next four days. I mean, sorry, nine days, <laughs> eight, nine days. So. Yeah. Alvin Ocean has been playing near perfect eight ball and he's breaking on the hill right now. Better already did hang out in the booth for a few hours the other day, but he's actually out of town now. Is this going to be a dry break? The two ball finds gravity. Last ball rolling almost. Cue ball on the rail. But stripes are still looking pretty good. Stripes are looking pretty good. Uh, not the toughest opening shot either. I mean, this is a shot that you, you know, you can see the pocket while you're down on the ball, shooting the 13, roll out, take care of the 12, and then then run your pattern. Yeah, obviously you got to go stripes here. Did he miss it? He missed it. He missed it, guys. He missed it. Big opportunity there to close the set out and shut out SVB from the winner's side. And, and uh, Albin doesn't get there. Oh, sorry. Your seat's taken. Seat's taken. Hey, Jenny. <clears throat> you doing that coffee? Or? Sometimes that just aren't enough rocks. Are you done with the coffee? Yeah, I'm done with the coffee. <laughs> All right. Yeah, Lizard TV, it was a really good interview. Fun fact about that interview, Lizard TV. The little clip that Joe showed of Fetter playing that perfect set was on my YouTube channel. That was one of my first, like, uh, semi-viral videos within the pool community. Because Fetter played... I'm just piggybacking on Fetter's success, you know? Cool story, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm still doing it today, guys. Just piggybacking right on Fetter's success. Better thank you for all the all the love, man. Wow, 
Wow, Albin missed a, a very, very, very makeable table length shot uh, to have an opportunity to win this game and win the set. And now it's going to be Shane breaking. If he can get out here, he'll be breaking at 7 to 6. With one of the highest break and run percentages in the tournament. You want me to see if we can get Max in here? Uh, what do we have after this? Hmm. Not a lot of options. Yeah, that was my question. I think uh, <clears throat> I think Sky's match is the one we're we're we gonna go with. Oh, I got to I'll be back. Loser of match thirty-seven. Match thirty-seven is uh, Manuel Montejo and Kelly Chuberco. Both seven hundred Fargo players, seven hundred plus. At any rate, SVB is going to take the shot on the eight ball to go to the game six to five and breaking. Sorry, seven to six. With an opportunity to get on the hill, all because Albin missed a very makeable shot, and I'm sure he's feeling it in his chair right now. See, he's feeling it. <laughs> Thank you guys for the compliment. Terry and Jibber Jabber guys, you guys are too kind. Lizard TV, the, the first time I met Fetter was at the Brendan Crockett Memorial at Hard Times Billiards in Sacramento. That was an interesting... Right, sorry, sorry, sorry. This is... Uh, something interesting just happened with the Max Rack. Look at this, Mike. Um, Rewatch. Watch this replay. <clears throat> I wonder if this is something that's... Because I didn't see this at all with the 10-ball rack. It's probably more inherent with any type of 8-ball template. But watch what happens with the break here. Can't even move away for five seconds because he'll already be down on the next shot. I'll finish my story in a second, Lizard TV. Here we go. Watch the rack. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if any outcomes were changed or not. Probably not because the balls were moving at such a high click, you know what I mean? Right right after the break. But I would assume that that's more possible on the larger rack, right? Like the eight ball, like a eight ball magic rack, you know what I mean? Yeah. I didn't see that at all with the... The ten ball rack, it didn't yeah. happen once. Maybe just a, a funny... Funny... Uh, low frequency event maybe some kind of like uh maybe the way he racked them maybe he racked it so that the the rack was already bunched up a little bit underneath it or something you know what i mean it was just interesting to see that especially since i hadn't seen anything like that with the 10 ball I mean, in theory, it doesn't really matter, actually, because it would be after the break anyway. Like, after the first balls, the pocketing balls would go somewhere, you know what I mean? And you get the tight rack that you want. So. Excuse me, a 
chance actually to show the shot that Albin missed to let this happen. I mean, a guy like Albin who's been playing almost perfect eight ball misses this shot. Hold on, let me see. He misses oh. this shot at seven to five when he's already on the hill. He's already on the hill and the rack is very runnable. Overcuts it. And all of a sudden it's a hill hill game. This is Oh, it's a hill. It's a hill. Well yeah, get in the game, Mike. You gotta get you get you get you get you get you get your head in the game. Trail Molina Mike is in the booth with me. Yeah. Hey Sav. Keep going. Okay. She's gone already, of course. Savannah Easton stopping by the booth. Oh, Lizard TV. Uh, I met Fedor Gorse two years ago at the Brendan Crockett Memorial at Hard Times Billiards. Uh, and he ended up hanging out in the booth quite a bit during that tournament, maybe a total of three, four hours. And got to know him a little bit, and then come six months later, he reached out to me about wanting to do some streaming stuff on YouTube uh, by himself. And I gave him some pointers and stuff, and then it's just evolved from there. Got to go with stripes here. The six ball, obviously, not having a pocket. And the 15 ball sitting in that corner gives the stripes the advantage. If he can find a way to drop down on this 15 ball sooner than later, this rack is over. Ooh, I like using the nine. I like using the nine, too. He just looked at using the nine because you can get the cue ball anywhere in this window and uh, use the 15 to then play the cue ball back to center table. It doesn't necessarily have to go around the 13, but uh, I think Shane knows. The writing is on the wall. He's got one foot on the one lost side. Alvin's still got to do the work, but it's looking pretty juicy for Alvin. <laughs> and of course, Shane does the first lips. At the perfect timing. Thank you very much for that, Shane Van Boning. It's good for the content. Shane had one dry break. Alvin had one miss. And here we are. Is that right? Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what Jerry Stuckert said. And I believe Jerry to be the one to pay attention. Lord knows we don't. Oh my God, someone had to say it. Someone had to say it. <clears throat> Eight ball passes the six, I'm fairly certain. It certainly does. Two stop shots. And Alvin Ocean moves forward. Here comes the handshake. SVB goes from winning the 10 ball championship to immediately being shipped to the one loss side of the eight ball championship. Good match by Alvin Ocean. Really, both of them, honestly, I, I would probably say that Alvin played better eight ball in that, that set, mainly because of the break. Shane's break was wild. Alvin was a little more controlled. You guys can find the bracket at digitalpool.com. Search 
U.S. Open 8-Ball. Live scoring. And can follow the tournament from there. The Eastons. Sweating the set. How was the, how'd the call go with uh, Savannah? It wasn't close. It wasn't close? No. No. I had one. I got called out of the booth for one call when you were gone. Oh, yesterday? Yeah. It wasn't close. No. <laughs> I had one that was pretty close earlier. When in doubt, it's good. You know what I'll never try to do? Mm. Do one of those good good hit, bad hit folks post on Facebook. Oh. God, those things drive me nuts. Well, yeah? Yeah. They're good for uh, engagement. Yeah, yeah, for opinions. engagement, yeah. But People will share their opinions. That's good. Okay, we need a... I'm going to go find out what match we're going to have next because it looks like the plan we originally had is not going to work out. So just stand by. First prize for the 10 ball championship was 10,000 or sorry, $9,000. That's an interesting one. Payne McBride. Payne McBride. Marco Skaben. Wait, what? Why wouldn't we play? So, you there? So, the plan was to have Sky on the TV table. The problem is we're waiting on a match to finish in order for Sky's match to be on the TV table. So, the Payne McBride match is going to be on the TV table. That round on the one loss side is the last round that we're playing today. They, they called the match, so. Yeah. Yeah. Anyhow, turn that. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. 
I love pain. It's going to be great. Yeah, it's going to be great. I love me some major pain. You on mute? Nope. Oh, okay. Guys, this is what this guy calls working. What he's doing right there. The money maker. <laughs> hey, I'll tell you what though, Mike. What's that? My money maker is bigger than yours. Believe me, buddy. After seeing you in short shorts, no, the, I, no, know, I know, I know, I, I, I know, buddy. All I know. This up here is what, look how big it is. Actually, take it one step further. What's that? That thing is. Huge! Look at that mess of wires. I call that the neural network. I call that an effing mess is what I call it. <laughs> 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 whatever. To each their own. Yeah. Of course it is, Epona. Of course it is. It's a rat's nest up there. <laughs> this guy, something else, let me tell y'all. This is what happened the other day. He texts me and he says, I'll be at Griff's at six. And I'm like, cool. So he texts me, says, I'm about an hour away. Great, meet me there. Wonderful. Grab my cues. Out the door. Never once did he mention I need help unloading everything. Here. Not one time. I show up here. It's a good thing I didn't tell you then. What? You're saying you're not gonna show if you need if I need help? No, of course. I mean, we're we're family, but but damn, this is Give me a heads up. Uh, you, when you when you invite me to a pool room, <laughs> by the way, it was pretty pretty packed that night too. Yeah, it was fine. We have a cart, so we had to get through. We had to get all these panels in. Yeah, but it was good. We made it happen. We're gonna have to do it on the way out too. We. <laughs> <laughs> we. Yeah. We need to talk about it. Why don't you just take another picture there, Mike? They're ready for you. They are. Yeah, they are. Oh, the legs? Oh, buddy, let me tell you. How's the? I how's might get. I might. Doing? I might get the. Uh, I might get the Facebook. Facebook may ban me after, after all those thighs, buddy. Yeah. I mean, let me tell you something. Actually, that might be the one. <laughs> I don't care, dude. That might be the one. That might be the one. Do whatever you want. That's all right. I'm a big boy. I can take it. <sighs> Looks like pain just getting ready. If you want to follow Savannah Easton's story through this tournament, make sure you follow her on Facebook or on YouTube. Duffy, we got Payne McBride next. Versus Marco Skaven. Skaven? Yeah, I don't know who he's playing. No disrespect. I just don't know who the guy is. I think he's a local player. I've oh, seen okay. Him before. Okay. Definitely seen him before. Oh, I'd have seen it, man. He walks out of the hotel room. Oh, I forgot my shorts, Mike. Knowing that I'm going to be in the booth with this dude, like, the entire time. And you grab these things. 
I don't even know where you go shopping for something like that. First of all, uh, Singapore. Okay. Okay. Well, H and M Singapore. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Regardless. Uh, <laughs> Mike, one second, dude. What happened? Irregardless is not a word. Is it? No. The the thing that you're trying to say is just regardless. Okay, regardless. <laughs> Thanks for the correction. Because irregardless would mean not regardless. Okay, so. It's Duffy. <laughs> I gotta lay the, the smack down every once in a while, you know? Let them know what's up. I'm, I'm lucky to get this far in life, buddy. All right? Yeah. Do Regardless. They lag, they lag over there. No idea what's going on over there. Oh. I think they're getting started. Whoa. I'll tell you what, though, Mike. What happened? Irregardless, my cameras are all, all, all over the place. You're doing a good job, though. Thank you. Oh, yeah, I know. So this is Oliver's buddy. I know who this guy is. Oh, that's right. He, yeah. That's where I've seen him before. Yeah. Hard times. Yeah. Yeah. He's just warming up. And the scoreboard's wrong. Someone should fix that. Real nice guy. These Europeans, man. Real nice, real nice. You, on the other hand? Hmm. All right, so I got a good story, buddy. Okay. So yesterday, you know, I left, right, for lunch, right? Okay. So I went to go have lunch with a buddy of mine who, uh, his name's Chapel, runs a distribution company. Real nice guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, he was saying that, uh, he was telling me some of the players he sponsors. He just sponsored John Mora. He sells um, a Predator Table. Shout out to Mike. And anyway, he was saying that uh, he just sponsored, well, not just sponsored, he sponsors Payne McBride. Okay. And I said, okay, well, where did you, like, you know, why pain? Not in a bad way, just was curious, like, you know, how did you come across sponsoring pain? Let me guess. What's that? Sportsmanship award. The calling the eight ball foul on himself at Quincy. He yeah. saw he saw the the reel. Yeah. And called them next day. Boom. That's great. Made it happen. That is great. It is right. That's some really good stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Top flight. Is that a word? For a phrase? Put it on mute so I can cuss you out for a minute. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. What's going on? I don't right know, here, man. man. I don't know. I just like giving you a hard time. Yeah. <sighs> All right, so this is one lost side action. By the way, some people in the chat said it is it is a word. I'm not getting into that debate because I'm not smart enough, but yeah.
and this is the thing about Collins, is that he's that guy that has to be proper about every little thing. <laughs> like, he has to be the right one in this. It actually is, but not usually needed. Okay. I don't know what that means either, but is it a word? What's the verdict? It's it's an extra word. It's like... It's an extra what? It means the same thing as regardless. So it's an extra what? It's just an extra word to so mean it, the same thing. Like it's... It, uh, it's like an... Like if you had another word for tuna. You know what I mean? Like you know what the tuna is. So why would you have two words that mean the same thing? It's tilting is what it is. But a word. And I honestly believe that it was popularized by people who... <laughs> easy, who easy, e easy, really... easy where you go... We easy when you use the rest of this sentence that's coming out now. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm going to tell <laughs> just, you, buddy. Just me coming after, yeah, like, yeah. half just, the chat. Just, <laughs> just be the just, people that yeah, use yeah, the word here yeah. regardless. Just be careful here. Oh, boy. Don't be a nit, Collins. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Informal meaning of regardless, which means that it was added because just, like, literally is in an informal definition or has the same informal definition of uh no i saw the I, I can't remember what the comment said but on point based anyway it's a double negative yeah it's a <sighs> double entendre i do have <laughs> update for you guys this may be one of the last matches of the evening we may have or the day we may have one more we shall see but there's not a whole lot to. Uh, we're only playing this this current round in the um, in the bracket, so yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that before. But in case I didn't, now you know. <clears throat> Does irregardless mean the same here thing? Here we go. Regardless? Here we, I knew he wouldn't let it go. I, I, because I know you're that guy. I know you're Here's that guy. The that's the, the reason. That's the reason why I said what I. Can we turn the camera in here? So you, we'll we'll give you the podium for your speech, young man. <clears throat> go ahead. Yes, we define regardless as, or sorry, yes, we define irregardless as regardless. Many people find irregardless to be a nonsensical word as the ear prefix usually functions to indicate negation. However, in this case, it appears to function as an intensifier. Simple, similar ear words, while rare, do exist in English. We all came here for education, by the including way. Including irremediless. Never heard know, of that word. I don't know what that means. Irresistless, which means resistless. And irrelentlessly which means relentlessly nobody in the history of the world has ever used the word irrelentlessly never heard that before Ugh, just what are we even talking about here why even have a language if you're just gonna do whatever the hell you want okay i'm done okay turn off the camera irresponsible is the opposite of responsible it doesn't mean extra responsible. But what they're saying is irregardless means extra regardless. <laughs> you know what I have to say about all that? What's up? <laughs> what he said? What did he say? You couldn't hear that? No, I couldn't hear it. All right, guys, Mike needs to hear it again. One more time. <laughs> Why is it taking us four days to get that out? Uh, Lower that down. All right, guys. Irritating is like extra tating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Christ. Okay, guys. Are we gonna go? Are we gonna go have dinner tonight? We're having a good time. Uh, I'm getting a little loopy, man. I haven't gotten much sleep in the last five days. <laughs> oh snap! <laughs> okay, <All> Nate. Right. <laughs> Okay, Nate's just needling me in the most polite way possible. <laughs> okay. There we go. Anyhow. Hey, regardless. Yes. We can now agree. <laughs> Great. Hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, YOLO, it looks like uh, uh, Marcos uh, Skybin, Skabin is uh, is actually like a Circa 450 Fargo that just is taking a taking a flyer to hang out with the pros. He's a friend no, I, of I think uh, he came with Ruders. his friend. Yeah, yeah, he's always coming around. I've seen him around a lot. Yeah. As my wife tells me all the time, you're full of useless information. And then he says, God, she's so right, dude. Until, oh, my God. Until it comes in handy. I've never met your wife. No, no, it's a comment. Oh, oh, I was going to say, but I like her already. Real talk, uh, Amanda's one of the coolest people you'll ever meet. Yeah? Yeah. Well, she's... she's great. Anybody that's, that likes you, buddy, any friend of yours is a friend of mine. So great. if she's your wife, she's she's like family already. But I will s see if she can throw away those shorts at some point in life. She loves these shorts. <laughs> I, I can understand why. <laughs> <laughs> She just tells you that, though. <laughs> Doe was in the chat? Is that Chris? Yeah, that is. You want to meet him? Yeah. Is yeah. he leaving? Okay, yeah, I yeah. I gotta yeah. go hunt him out. Yeah, go. Cool. Shake his hand. Yeah. All right, Collins is going to take a break. I might do the same. Ooh, Melissa, I like that. Payne tries to reverse it. Doesn't get it. I think Marco... Ooh. Unfortunate. Yeah. Thought he was going to have a combo, but... Yeah, a little bit of a roll there. Pocketed. Now that's the funniest thing. Yeah, listen, we've been just seeing some some of the best players in the tournament uh, or in the world actually play. So we're trying to keep a TV table match going, and so uh, yeah, just you know, have a little bit of respect for the players. I'll ask. Be kind. Yeah. 
Not sure what he's doing here. I think he wanted to make the four ball. It didn't happen. I think Payne's going to shoot this combo, and it's all a matter of how he can get on the three. Do you guys have to stay until the end of this match? Yeah, you know, we're going to stay until they're, we're, we're done, basically. So, with the day. Um, even though I think it might be a bit of an early day for us. Um, wow, I missed that combo. Did not expect that. Um, yeah, we're going to stick with it. I know there's plenty of things that we do got to do, like been here for a while already so laundry wouldn't be the worst thing on, on, in the world but um whatever matches that they got playing is we're gonna stick around for it for you guys so we made a commitment and we're gonna we're gonna make sure and and follow through on our end he's taking on this this orange ball here looks like he's playing the bank Brian Jones with the $50. Wow. That's pretty nice, man. Went a little wide. A little wide. A little frustration there from, from Marco. I think he's eyeing because it doesn't look like... I'm <laughs> It doesn't look like the six five maybe plays. Yeah, real or fake words, we're sticking with it. So I think he's just trying to make the four ball on his own. Nice shot there. Yeah, I might just, uh, let me see here. Let me see if I can start breaking some cameras around here. Bear with me, guys. I'm going to start pressing buttons. All right, we're going to come to this match for a little bit. 6-4. James DeVee's up on Savannah Easton. Looks like a bit of a moving game here for Savannah. James is a great player out of the... Pacific Northwest. This is one last side action. I was talking with Mario earlier. Mario He, and he told me that um, James had him stuck. James had Mario stuck 7-4 going to 8. And Mario came back and won. So, you know, Mario can play. I'm sorry, James can play. Rolling up on this five ball and he makes it. And that's the shot that's going to get him in line. All Savannah can do is sit back and watch. Not the most thrilled after that one.
on the other TV table matchup, I think they're still playing that first that first rack. So, setting records. Setting some records. He's gonna go to the six ball here as the camera just shakes. Yikes. Okay, maybe he's not gonna go for the six. He's gotta shut on the seven ball, which is the only problem. I think it's time to just handle that, that side of the table. Oh, and he misses it. Wow, did not expect that from James. Savannah's going to have a shot here on the 14. She's going to draw out one rail and just drag the cue ball down for the 15. Oh, just rolled it. Okay, might have hit it thick though. And she did. I don't think she blocked the pocket for the one ball either. If, any, if anything, she made it play a little bigger. Let's see what's going on on the TV table here in a second. Let's not see what she's shooting or what he's shooting. Playing a, I'm not sure what he's playing there. I think he's going to get away with it, whatever he was doing. She cannot see the 14 ball, that's for sure. It's whether or not she, he can see the, she has a kick at the 15 ball or can hit it straight up. It's hard to tell with this angle. Trying to come around three rails. She's going to give a ball in hand, but good news is the one, the seven ball does not have a pocket. Over on the TV table, they're still playing that same, that same wreck.
I like the way that he played that ball. Wanted to make her ball that was hanging, but I think he'll give up a bank. I think he intended it to draw it all the way down the table. Came up about three diamonds oh, short. Yeah, tell us how tired you are, Mike. Sorry, buddy. This is, <laughs> I'm hitting the wall now. Yeah, yeah. Hitting the wall. Do we know what the score here is? Six to four in favor of James. And Payne just won that first game. There they go. They're, ooh, double kiss. What the heck? All right, we're going to switch back over to the TV table? Or? Wait, uh, there's something I want to look at here. Okay. Let's see some uh, some of that Everly. This is currently sitting at seven to six with Max on the hill and Max is running out. And he's good on the stripes. Who's he playing? On the one last side? Yeah. Or aren't yeah. Mark Estiola. Mm. Means Mark will be out of the tournament. That's a two and out for Mark if if uh, Max is able to swing the cue ball to the other side of the eight here. That's right. It is so hard to not overcut this ball when you punch it as hard as he needs to punch it right here. Oh, he's going forward around the eight. That's really good. Oh, apparently it goes. It doesn't go in the corner. He was trying to roll up for the side. Yikes. Yo, who is that? Brian Jones. Sorry, I was out of the booth coming in with a $50 super chat. Jeez. What the heck are you guys doing with the super chats? Thank you so much. From Burnett, Texas. Where did Max go? Dude, you got to be kidding me with Radley Smith coming in with a $100 super chat. What is going on, guys?
Bradley, jeez Louise, man. Mark Estiola is going to keep Max Everly from winning this game and winning this match right at this moment. Uh, Bishop, it's, it's not too tough at all to get a table right now. I mean, during the tournament, you're not going to get a nine-foot table. But later in the evening, it's not so bad. Sounds good, Bishop. Mark Estiola is Filipino, yes. He is Filipino. Yeah, Jeff Phillip, I think so. Payne might be a little out of sorts being on the stream table here. Payne's a good player. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna follow this uh, this hill hill match here between Mark Estiola and Max Eberly. Max now with another opportunity to get out. Last track didn't quite get there. I think that. The key ball situation getting from the last ball to the eight in this one is much simpler. Eight's pretty much out in the open, so. I would assume that he'd take care of the four right now. Take care of the four right now. You can use the 11 to actually move the cue ball back to center table, I think.
He's looking at the line off the side of the 11, I think, right now. Like, he's looking at the, the secondary contact. I like shooting the four. You've got some mild insurance with the three ball. The three goes in the bottom corner, the closest corner to us. It's interesting that he picked the three ball right there. I would think you could use the three ball to reposition yourself on the one. Gosh, if the one passes the 14, you could even just thin the four and, and leave the cue ball right there where the 11 is. Right? He's playing the combo here, which is interesting. He better hit it with some decent pace to get rid of that 11 ball. I think he should have played the combo in the shot before. Yeah. If you're going to play it. Because then you got the three ball oh. as the insurance. Now, with no insurance, you got kind of a jelly roll having a look at this one, but it's going to be tough to get back up table. Yeah. I mean, playing it, hitting the 11 ball first, I don't understand. You, you know? Yeah. It, it worked out, but. Yeah. A little bit of tunnel vision, maybe. Sorry about the camera shake. The camera's dancing to the music, guys. Yeah, this was always going to be the case here. Now, so now you got to float this at pocket speed, then come around no, for the five. No, I think it's, for, I think for it's the way five. too thin. I think it's way too thin. This shot is pretty thin. Yeah, but that means you're going to come off hot. You want to come around for the five in the same pocket, right? Or are you playing it no, to play I don't in the think pocket you can right get here? No, I don't, I don't think you can get there. I think that you either have to uh, let the cue ball go up and down or try to run into the eight with the cue ball. To have a shot on the five. It's, I'm pretty sure this is really thin. He's queuing low. Maybe low inside. Low inside to kill the cue ball off the short rail. See, I like coming around, but now you're going to play the five ball. Yeah, but this is my point. He was way too thin. He had a thick hit. It was a thicker hit than what, you, than what you're what you saying. He used like a, a drag stroke on that where the cue ball was like killing right before it, it hit the ball. You want something to drink? Uh, I'm okay, thanks. Maybe a water bottle. Water bottle's good. Yeah, I think he was trying to drag it to slow the cue ball down and get to the other side of the five, but it was just so thin. It's even after slowing it down, he he ends up with like nothing right here. I think he has to go. I think he has to cut the ball. Do or die situation. And he overcuts it. At least he hit his own ball. But Mark Estiola is almost certainly going to come away with a dub here.
We're hill hill, Robert Parker. We're hill hill. We're just looking away from the feature table right now. I like the combo better than the carom here, Brian Jones, because you can play well, maybe not here, here, but uh, at some point you can play the combo and use either one of these balls by the side pocket or the 14 ball as insurance and, uh, and not have to worry about it unless he can see the 11 right now queuing over the 8. This, this is an interesting choice. So the, the 11 must not be blocked by the point of the pocket. Like maybe he can get below, below the 11. Sorry about the overexposure. There we go. It's just overexposed because his shirt is real dark. HR Biggs, probably not, honestly. Wow, Mark Estiola dodging two bullets and ending up with the easy run out with Max Everly just being unable to seal the deal. That's how it goes sometimes, Hill Hill. What do you guys want to take a look at? We got this Oliver Ruger match. We got SVB beating up on somebody over here that I've never met before. We got Daniel Masiol and Joao. That's what I want. Selfish mode. This is a good match. Score on the match with Oliver. Five to four in favor of Oliver. If that one gets close to the hill, we'll watch it. Did I say Daniel match y'all? I didn't mean that. It's Danny. Danny Olson. It's Danny Olson here. I don't know why I said Daniel match y'all.
I'm gonna go speak with Mike real quick. Uh, I don't have a scoreboard yet. One second.
Sorry to keep you waiting, guys. We're just looking through the bracket, and it looks like all the matchups are going to be... Uh... There aren't really any close matchups left. Oliver Ruger now on the hill versus Jeff Whitehead. Let's see if uh, Danny Smith, sorry, Danny Olson, can make this eight ball, and then we'll slide over there. And he does. Here's Oliver Ruger at the table on the hill. There's a match going right now between two 700 plus Fargo players that's been going for three hours and the current score is five to five. They are grinding it out. Savannah Easton is currently Hill Hill with James DeVee. Danny Olson just got on the hill versus Joao. If you want to watch Savannah Easton's match, you can do it on her YouTube channel. No, no action. We're not we're not streaming action. We're trying to stay uh, ahead of the game. I've got videos to edit. I, we both didn't haven't been getting much sleep in the last two nights, so we're going to get all that work done and and. Uh, Get some good rest tonight. Last night went pretty late. Nice shot by Oliver Ruger. The Rugster. Savannah Easton takes it down. Very nice. Very nice. Uh, yes, eight ball is a call pocket game. Oh, no. Oliver got a skid off the rack.
Ay, ay, ay. We are currently watching Oliver Ruger versus um, <clears throat> Jeff Whitehead. We're going to finish this game. Oliver's on the hill, and then, then we'll go sweat something else that looks interesting. Oh, wow. SVB's playing a guy named Andre Januarta. That's a solid player. 743, and the score is 3-3. Three to three. If that gets close, we're definitely going to watch that. How is Payne doing? Payne McBride is up 4-1. to one. Oliver plays the bank and takes the game. We're not, it's not a tease, Lee. We're going to go back there. We're just scoping out the room right now. The two of them were kind of struggling to get a rhythm underneath them, so I'm giving them a little bit of time off the stream to get their feet back underneath them. Lee, we'll go check it out. Mike's Golf, I think we'll get Savannah in here sometime tomorrow. You have that to look forward to? SBB takes his lead 4-3. to three. 
let's see what's going on back on the homestead. When does Savannah go to school? She she has a, a schooling process that meets together once a week remotely. And she does the rest of the school on her own. Real nice shot by Payne McBride. Mike's Golf asks, what's your favorite pool game, Collins? Do you like eight ball? Uh, most interesting game to me by far is one pocket these days. McBride going after this one ball. <clears throat> Solid's laying really favorably in this rack. Unfortunately, he lost his cue ball there. Mike's Golf, if you want to know why I like the game so much, come hang out in six days when we do the US Open one pocket.
what's the player count difference between this and the 10 ball? Uh, 10 ball had 64 players. I think we had 50 players actually for the, for the eight ball. It's 51 or 58. I, I don't know if there was somebody who dropped out.
I'm not so sure why he's been looking at this shot for so long. I'll go with the big draw stroke. Holy smokes. We'll finish this game with these guys so that, you know, if they'd like, they can go back and watch it and share it with their friends. Yikes, and now the eight's tied up with the uh, stripes here. Yikes. Payne McBride going after this breakout here. Hits it nice. Is the eight going to sit in front of the side pocket? He wants it to stop. It stops just in time, and the scratch in the corner is blocked by the 12 ball. That's a great shot by Payne McBride. A real nice shot there by Payne McBride. And then doesn't quite get enough of a cut on the eight ball, but got to imagine that this this uh, rack is coming to a close. Just jump it in again. You can miss hit it and fluke it off the 15. Like that. I just called it, dude. 
<laughs> I just called it, dude. <laughs> Nostradamus. Don't call me Nostradamus. <laughs> Hell yeah. Those are the moments we, we live for, guys. Those are the moments that we live for. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Uh, Stephanie Stephanie Paul troubles my middle name along with danger Yeah, Mike, check us out on uh, Mike's Golf Tips. Check, check us out on, what, in six days. Jordan Bromley, it was uh, SVB, won the 10 ball. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm going to have to step out of the booth, and then I'll, I'll, uh, I'll put a scoreboard up for this match when I get back. I think the current score is sitting at 7-6 to six in favor of Shane Van Boning.
Okay, back in two minutes. Okay, so Shane's on the hill here, guys. Uh, seven to six. And actually, I'm going to wait to see what happens here with this game. I might not make a scoreboard because if Andre gets out, it's hill hill. If Andre gets out, it's hill hill. With SVB on the one loss side in threat of going two and out. And he does get out. And SVB is breaking. Our US Open 10 ball champion is in a spot here. Under threat of being knocked out of the tournament. Immediately after the tournament that he just won. It is hill hill here, guys. SVB to break. SVB off the break doesn't have a shot. Guys? Oh, wait, was it a dry break? One, two, three, four. I don't think it was dry. Oh, I looked away for a second right at the break. I'm sorry, you guys, but this is... Uh, Either way, Shane's at the table has no shot, right? 
Hill Hill with a uh, a guy that's a seven sixty three Fargo. Seven forty three Fargo. Oh, he has the seven ball. Oh, I got scared for a second, guys. The seven ball staring me right in the face. Good lord, I might be tired. Thanks, Ryan. Rip. At any rate, the four ball's tied up behind the eight. It's still an interesting rack. It's still a, a weird spot. I don't know how old Andrea is. This is my first time being exposed to this player. Oh, wow. He just faded a, a scratch here with a double kiss on the four. Eight ball now tied up with the stripes. Clustered at the top left corner of your screen. Two ball in a bad spot, too. Yikes. Here's the deal, guys. He's not going to shoot at any ball if he doesn't have a reasonable expectation of running out. Uh, it looks like he's winding up to go, guys. It looks like he's winding up to draw into the eight ball. Try to use the four as insurance. Oh, no, he's just stunning. Stunning the ball. I have no idea how he plans to develop these balls at the bottom or the top left corner of your screen. Yeah, this is Shane's second match. Yeah, immediately after playing Alvin Ocean. If he lays this up on the short rail with a window to the two ball, oh my god. He's drawing the cue ball back to play the eight in either one of the sides or either one of the corners down closer to us, I think. So he's going to end up playing it in the side. This is no gimme of a shot, but you got to expect Shane to get there on... <laughs> If it doesn't go, I mean... Great shot. Great out. Never in doubt. Ladies and gentlemen, Shane. Van. Boning! Look at him. He's like, I can't believe... Look at Evan, too. He's like... Dude, I, I can't believe that run out. He's like, man, I only had a window like this big. <laughs> yeah.
shoot. That's why he's one of the goats. One of them. He may not be the goat, but he is one of them. I don't, I'm not familiar with any of these players here. Uh, score here with Daniel, Daniel Machow. 7-0 in favor of Daniel. So, whoa, a little camera shake here. Sorry, folks. Trenton Smith, I guess, 4 430 Fargo. Probably making things pretty easy here for Daniel. It's interesting. So many, uh, so many players kind of just donating to play the pros it's it's interesting almost half the field it looks like i was not expecting that what about this vitali patsura match what do you guys think hill hill oh god perfect timing get the hell over there game more Hill Hill matches. Come on. What do we call this when we go full red zone mode? We got mode. We got to come up with a name for the post up sweat locker. Teetering on the edge. Hill watch. Hill watch is kind of lame. Panda watch. The sweat lodge. Defcon five. That run out from Shane was Hill Hill, yeah. Hiller time. Post up or shut up. What are those buildings that they put on top of mountains like to, to watch out for enemies? Where they used to light fires on top of the mountain? Watchtower. Like in Mulan? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was going somewhere with that. The lookout post. I mean, none of it, nothing's good. Nothing's good. Nothing's as good as the red zone. You know what I mean? Can't call it the blue zone because that's just lame. Oh, we got to get Swifty in here. But when you call it like the watchtower or the guard tower, it literally just starts to feel like we're watching from security cameras. Vitaly trying to break out the two and five there. No good. And now he's in, uh, we'll call it three balls uh, or three ball hell
thriller from the hilla. <laughs> Pool is not like the NFL, this isn't rigged. Uh, yeah, I can't think of anything good, dude. Nothing sounds good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What about some type of, uh... Ooh, what about some type of play on words with, like, pressure? You know what I mean? Like, the pressure is mounting, like, the... The post-up pressure cooker. Ooh. You know what I mean? Like, because the pressure mounts when you get to the hill. Your mom's house, yeah. says you're about to feel some pressure. I like the callback of your mom's house. That was a good one. I know I'm going to come out with... I'm going to have a t-shirt next Christmas. That says, who's on your nitty list? <laughs> and it's going to have, like, Santa Claus. With a pool cue and some dice or something. I don't know. Someday I'll figure it out. Someday I'll figure it out. Some type of catchy little thing that you can make a logo for. Bah. <laughs> The boiler room. The boiling point, post up boiling point. That's the name of a soup company. Nice shot. Got to get on this 13 ball at some point. Oh, look at this jelly roll to get straight in on the 15. Look at this jelly roll to get straight in on the 15. Are we getting a sky match tonight? I don't know. Skylar Woodward has been waiting forever. Forever. I think his match is the last one that needs to be called.
the post-up pressure point. I hope Sky would not mind hanging out for a little bit. Let me get to know him. That would be really cool. I know it's still showing Sky on table 20 because he was scheduled back a while back. But uh, they're, they're just going to keep scheduling matches. Or, or, you know, moving them to a table. The pressure point ain't bad. Oh, and a jelly roll again. Two jelly rolls on that run out. Vitaly's going to be a little... Uh... Where is Vitaly? Do I have a cable falling down? I think I do. No, I don't. They're just hung for the other camera. Okay, anyway. Uh, looks like Vitaly ends up moving to the one last side, guys. I believe they're going to call Sky's match right there. I'm going to go talk to Brandon. I'm going to leave you guys right here. Score here. Currently. 7-1 to one in favor of Payne McBride.
Okay, guys, we're gonna have, uh... After this match, we're gonna have Sky Woodward playing Kaligi. Kaligi, uh... Chuberko. And I'm actually gonna, uh... Take a little break, get a, uh, a Red Bull, and get amped up for that match because Kali is uh, 706 Fargo. He's a solid player. I've never seen him play before, so it'll be interesting to see how that match goes. I mean, or I could let you guys watch Billy Thorpe in the meantime. Let's let you guys watch Billy Thorpe do his thing. How's that sound? There you go, guys. Trying to run into the four ball there. A little bit too much slide, and he's going to scratch in the side pocket. Yowza. I believe the gentleman that Billy is playing is another local... Player. Vern Felt is a five oh seven Fargo, so. We'll let you guys uh, watch Billy make that cue ball dance, and I'll be back.
Okay, sorry, just got... I was out there, got pulled aside by a few people, started chatting. There we go. 3 0 Billy. 3 0 in favor of Billy here. This match to the side, I think, is getting close. We're going to have Skylar Woodward very shortly here, I think. I think Payne McBride is shooting. Payne's got three balls left on the table. Welcome back. Sorry to keep you guys in the dark for so long. Just had a few interesting, interesting little conversations. Also, I had a, a, one of my cords kind of sagging, so I had to, you know, tidy it back up onto the ceiling. Payne McBride did finish that rack, so we're gonna get S or we're gonna get Skylar Woodward pretty quick here. <laughs> quick shout out to our sponsors, guys. Michelle Griffin. Realist, uh, realtor, great gal, tons of energy, tons of passion for pool. Met her last night. Town Max Rack and Town Products. One PKT, Fast and Loose Designs, Diamond Billiard Products, and Premier Billiards. Premier Billiards actually are uh, all around sponsor, sponsoring the all around event. And uh, of course, the title sponsor for the event, Q Tech. Big shout out to those sponsors making this event possible. I believe Brandon is just now calling the match on table 20, our feature table. Hey, Lonnie, let me know how that cordless transmitter goes. I'd be curious to see. If I could just run Ethernet and do power over Ethernet instead of having to run, you know, extension cords for power cables and stuff like that, it'd be nice to run power over Ethernet to control the cameras and then do Wi-Fi HDMI cordless transmitters. Let me know how strong the signal is. Uh, no, Vince Stroud, uh, no, I, I run uh, 30 frames per second. Just the return on investment as far as processing and, uh, and uh, storage space goes. The return on investment on, on 60 frames per second, specifically on YouTube, with this type of content. Uh, I, in my opinion, currently, the way that things currently sit, it's not worth it. As improvements come with technology and processing power and storage space, it might become worth it in the future, but you're talking twice the data at 60 frames per second.
Where's Brando? Calling the match on table uh, table 20. Oh, he's on his way right now. I see him walking to the tournament desk. Marky Mark, that's why I'm letting someone else test out the system. <laughs> Score here four to zero. Skylar Woodward making to his way to the table. The Oops. Oh <laughs> no Didn't mean to have that turned on. <laughs> there he is, ladies and gentlemen. One of the funnest people to in, in pool to watch and be around. Skylar Woodward. I'm definitely copying and pasting this next name. Pull out the popcorn, folks. The clutchest shot maker, in my opinion, in Moscone Cup in the last five years. He loves himself a good beer. He loves himself a good pair of jeans. And a nice pair of shoes. Look at those jeans. Jeans on fleek. Let's go. Yeah, let's watch Sky warm up. That looks like fun. That looks like fun. Who goes there? What's up? Oh, you want to hang out now? Guys, look at this. Mike wants to hang out now. <laughs> what do you mean? I've been I've been here. I've been around. See, you see, it's already five o'clock, huh? It's like six. Yeah. It's like six thirty, man. I mean, I mean, it's beer thirty. I mean, I'm, I'm just having it in honor of Skylar Woodward, the honorary. Uh, it's not a Bud Light. Yeah, you're you're too, you know. I'm better than that, honestly. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know yeah. I know. I know your uh, type. Freaking beer snobs. I know your type. Freaking beer snobs. So I've never seen... Uh, how do you say his name? Do you know how to say it? Is it Kelly? Kelly Chuberko. Kelly. I'm probably he butchering just, it. He actually just made a very generous uh, little contribution to the stream. Uh, real nice guy. He said yesterday or a couple days ago that he lost his match because... One of my mic cables was falling from the ceiling, and I had to interrupt him to put to get wow. up on the ladder. You know, because so I didn't. I didn't want it to fall on his head. Wow! So that would be the second time you affected the U.S. Open. Then what was the first time with my thighs? <laughs> no comment, buddy. Kelly E. Kelly E. Kelly E. Oh, Kelly E. Kelly E. Kelly E. Kelly E. Kelly E. Kali I'm Lisa, thinking. Lisa, you, you, Lisa, you, Kali -e. got it. All right. Kali -e. Kali -e. Kali -e. Yeah, Kali -e. Honestly, yeah. the fact that we're just Kali Kali -e. Kali -e. Anyway, back to your thighs, dude. You gotta like. We're gonna have to figure something out for tomorrow. We can't have you. 
I'm not one to impose dress code. Should I go pick up some cycling shorts? <laughs> I mean, it would be longer than what it is right now. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right to the bar. Right to the bar. Okay, Lee E, Chiberko, and Skylar Woodward. And Sky's going to win the lag here. No doubt. Just freeze it to the rail, Sky. I got a feeling this match is going to go fairly quick. Just based on the way that these guys were hitting balls. I don't know, up. man. That guy was in a marathon match not too long ago. They went on for hours. The town. Max I Rack. Think, I think the guy was salt breaking. Anyway. The Max Rack. Is this the last match of the night? Yep, this is it. Whoop. Rut row. What'd you do, Mike? What did you do? What's going on? I'm joking. Oh. <laughs> Just messing around. We're having a good time. You pretty cool? Feeling good? Yeah, I just had a Red Bull. Must be real refreshed. I was up there waiting at the bar, and everyone's real busy, and, and my hero, Julie, comes up and tells me that she knows what I want and handled business. That's it. There you go. You're already regular. That's right. Pretty nice break here, huh? Pretty nice break. A couple of clusters, but not really anything that Sky can't handle, I don't think. I think you got to go. Uh, I think you got to go solids here. Opening shot, three ball. If the six passes, if the six don't go. You going solids here? I think so. Yeah. I think the six definitely goes, actually. The fact that you can see light in between the eight and the six there, and you're looking almost right down the whoa. Oh, hello. Almost right down the barrel of the shot line, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Means that it's at least twistable. The two ball, I don't think passes into the corner, but definitely goes in the side, and you can use the one as a key ball to get there. He's going three ball. Yeah, I think you got to go solids here. Because of where the six is on the eight. Whoa, he's going right into the two now. And if this ties up on the five, we got trouble. But it, it's going to open everything up for him. It's going to open everything up. The whole game's open now. I mean, Sky's probably the best. Well, one of the best. One of the top you know, top eight ball player for sure. Uh, you just stunned to the other side of the four the right now, tip. right? Just stunned to the other side of the four and the, and the game's um, over. Yeah, yeah it's fun. Yeah, yeah, play yeah. like a one pocket shot. You mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah Stun yeah. to the other side of the four, and the game's over, man. Or you could, uh -huh. you might be able to use the five to stop the cue ball. I kind of like that. I, Whoa! I would definitely recommend not overcutting the ball. Well, though. I did learn. I'll mute the mic. It's important if you make the balls. It's a big part of the game. Courtesy of the U.S. Open live at Griff's. Now, if you're Kali'i, I think you just go on the side, right? I mean, I know it's a sharp angle, but I'm not sure what other choice you have. Hey, Vince Stroud. I genuinely believe... Your Fargo rate doesn't matter as far as, like, providing good entertainment. Okay? It just depends on who you are trying to entertain and what type of content you're trying to entertain them with. Vince Stroud is in the, in the chat thinking about doing some streaming and stuff, and he says, I don't know if we'll be doing com commentary. Personally, I don't know. I Personally, I don't, but I have... High Hargo, Fargo friends that might like to. I'm assuming he's talking about the, the commentary stuff. And it's like, 
you learn along the way, number one, because you get to test your ideas out loud, right? Right. And then... So let me, let me ask you a question. Yeah. On that note. Yeah. Give me like top, let's say top three trainers of pool in the world. I don't even know their names. So give me like, you know any good the coaches? Only ones, the coaches? only ones that I am aware of are Mark Wilson and Jeremy Jones that I've, I've heard are like top, top, top notch. Okay, fair. But I don't know. Any, anyone else? I don't know of coaches' names. I don't know the coaches. So I'll give you a guy widely respected. Yeah. Not a player at all. A lot of players are going to him. Johan. Yeah. Resnick. Yeah. You know, responsible for players like mm, Fetter. Yeah. You know, so not a great player. Great teacher. Big difference. Yeah. You know, so. So I'm talking specifically, though, about like. like oh, yeah. Uh, when it comes to commentary. But my, well, I guess I'm just, just talking about entertainment in general. Oh, right? yeah. Like it's, yeah. Yeah. It's really you have to find your own secret sauce. It, it's not mutually exclusive wow, to your to your this. Fargo rate. Is yeah, one, yeah. Yeah. Is yeah. the point. Look at how the, the nine ball just trickles in front of the one and, and closes off the whole rack for everybody. He's trying to go into it right now. And I'm not saying that because I think I'm, I'm not like trying to say, well, my, oh shit, I'm not a, I'm not a 700 Fargo, and and I'm on the mic, so you sh nobody's Fargo matters. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, what I am saying is, if you're a person that that's that is uh, interested in trying to make other people happy, if you find your own way of doing it, and and it resonates with anyone, it it can work. So. Uh, and I'm not just talking about pool. I'm talking about anything. I, I watch all types of content creators on YouTube, and and I watch some guys that are like you know followed by fifteen thousand people, you know thirty thousand people. Yeah. And uh, I just happen to like the individual, you know, and they they do a great job for for how it resonates with me. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, just just because Vince brought it up, that's just an opinion that I have. I mean, you don't, you don't lack uh, passion, buddy. Irregardless, <laughs> irregardless, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Sky Woodward has made some pretty clutch <laughs> shots. To uh, I just have to go there now. Uh, speaking of clutch shots, look at this like it's a hanger, yeah, dude. I shot there. Look at that. It gets, oh and gets, and gets God, like ball in hand shape right there. Absolutely perfect. Must be nice. Uh, the way he Must just picked through nice that rack. If he can play if that he good. Can break good too. I don't know who's gonna beat him. I'm serious. Just well, off the well, first rack. Well, he lo he's in the one loss side, so somebody beat him already. Who beat him? John Mora, first round. How'd you do it, John? That was unreal how he picked through that rack in some sticky situations. Can you hold down the fort for a second? Yeah. Just a quick second. Barely any time. I got to look at something. Oh, man. Really? We're going there? We're going just in there? Case, just in case. We're going there. Just in case you feel. Actually, like it. we have some on the way for tomorrow. Oh really? It's in the yeah. It's okay. yeah. Cool. It, it's happening. Whatever. It's happening. Good. Cue ball in the hole. In the hole. Guy with ball in hand. Yikes. If someone in the chat if, if will Amazon some shorts that are appropriate for Collins for tomorrow, would make my day. I'm totally kidding, by the way.
How much money do we got to raise? Is this a real question? For is... for me, it is, and for the page, it is. Okay. Because we need good content. Okay. So, how much money would it take for you to rock some speedos that someone sends? Out here at the event and do like a trophy. Be inappropriate. Never mind. Never mind. Scratch that idea. What the hell is this guy talking about? I'm just saying. Someone in the chat mentioned sending you speedo, so I'm just asking. Got to find entertainment somehow. Yeah. You know. Yikes. Do you want me to go out there and just be like the round girl that like carries the sign around the table? Like, Dude. Like they did out of the. Chinese. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's what you want. Yeah. Man. That's what. That's what we're missing. We thought about everything else except for that during the finals. There you go. We got it. We got it all figured out. Yeah. Is that a foul on the lag by Sky? Wait a second. I'd pay for it. <laughs> Stephanie Paul. <laughs> That's funny. Ashley, yes, that match took forever. Oh my goodness, no disrespect to the players, but man, did that. And I and I heard they were. Look, here's the thing: they were soft breaking, or I don't, I don't. Obviously, it wasn't Kali'i, but the other guy, I think he's from Spain or something. He was soft breaking, and I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be a bad guy. I don't, but I'll, I'll gladly will if they're gonna play like that. So, just play like an adult, please, <laughs> please. It took them over three hours. You see Ashley's in the chat? Oh, yeah. I think she's in town. Oh, really? I think so. That's Could be wrong, but yeah. Hi, yeah. Chopping Hi. it in. Yeah, Q's and whatever your name is. Yeah, you're right. Way too high expectations. Anyhow. Look, I, I want to have a great event. We are tasked, and I think we're doing a good job to this point, of trying to help improve the event. You know? Oh, next now year, there's plenty of things that I might change for next year and improve. We're far from it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But I think it's a good first step. I think we certainly got a good starting point, and if they want to have us back yeah. for next year, I think we've got uh, not only some ideas, but uh, we might be able to bring a little bit more to the table ourselves, actually. So, yeah. We got to get some dinner, Ashley. Me, you, and that guy right there, and this guy sitting next to me. I would love to come and chat with you guys. That that would be. Yeah, that but that would you be know, a blast. It's uh, listen, we, with the help of the three of us, and resources within the industry, we were able to put this whole thing together in a month and a half, basically. Little hop and skip and a jump with the cue ball. Look at the balls just marrying up on the Yeah, that on guy the plays good. Yeah, it's unfortunate that 6'9". Nine... Yeah, the giggity deuce. Yeah. Is there a dress code? Well, listen. Like I'm going to have to implement a dress code after this guy. First of all, I'm going to do no soft breaking. Second of all, after my, you know, I was going to say partner, but the way your shorts are sounds a little... Uh, Ashley, way, the way my buddy over here... Ashley. I'm going to have to implement dress code. Ashley. So... No, hey... Is this she, really out of line? She's seen the picture, by the way. She, listen, don't pick up your knee. Please don't pick up your leg. All right, because your area is facing my area, buddy. Okay, <laughs> just relax. Okay, you need to just dial it back, big guy. Okay? You're, is that really out of line? What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't think that's out of line. What's out of line is when you sit down. What? When you're sitting down. I mean, those things are riding high. Do you high. want me to stand back up? You're racking a little high. That's all I'm saying. You're racking the balls a little high no, on the spot. No, a little no, high no, on the no. spot. Michael Stillwell coming yeah. in with the 1999. Thank you, man. Hey, thanks, guys. Uh, 
This guy. Chris Santana. This guy. Chris Santana, knock it off. This guy. What are you doing? What are you doing? This track might take a while, boys. I don't know what that means. I don't know either. <laughs> oh, too many jokes. Nice shot yeah, there from nice Kali. Shot, he doesn't only, want to get hooked, though. It's only half the work. Yeah. It's only half the work here. Uh, I mean, you know, one or two more shots, and you could be sitting pretty good. Yeah, but the 13 and 11 sitting below no. the 8 and all them all them solids, uh, things can just get a little interesting down there, depending on when you Thank start you, going Scott. after it. Thank you, Scott. When you start going after it. Ashley, sure for sure, we're going to get some dinner. For sure. We're going to make it happen. Oh, matter of fact, so Brandon was saying we might be able to catch a hockey game one night here. That's what I heard, yeah. Yeah, you interested in that? Yeah, I am. Stephanie Sweet. Paul coming in with a $20. Short shorts for life. Cash for the show. My girl. John G's, we are using Digital Pool. You can search U.S. Open 8-Ball Championships. Not only get the tournament flow, but you can also get live scoring as well. There are, are tablets at every table, and you can find out the action real time. Vitaly's, Vitaly's playing Sergio. Wait a minute. Sergio lost earlier. By, yeah. Did Vitaly lose? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I can put that match on Windows Open. I told you to do that right I don't when know we called it, the table. I looked at you and I said, Vitaly's playing Sergio Rivas on 13. Would, would anyone want to watch Sergio Rivas and Vitaly on Windows Open? Because if so, I can go put it on. Oh, look. There you go. Jackie Tucker just says it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at the timing. The timing of that comment is uncanny. Actually. Right? It's, it's it's obvious that you were typing it before we started talking about it. Look it's, at this shot. It's my burner account. This is what there. I'm talking about. This is what I was talking about. Okay. Things get real interesting when you get down to this side of the table and it's not perfect because of the tight position with all them other balls right in that area. He says, nah, nah, nope. We got one yes. No, no, I'm not saying put it on this one. I'm saying. On a separate channel, separate page. Facebook page. Anyway. I'm trying to just slow down the cue ball. Oh. Like, uh, it's just real tough, man. It's real tough. It is. All right. I think we got enough. Yeah, plenty of people want to watch it, man. Oh wow, the five passes the thirteen. This this rack is uh, this rack is open. Some might say the uh, the windows open. Oh, I see what you're doing there. Ah, all right, I'm gonna smell go. Smell what I'm stepping in. I'm gonna go turn it on for all you guys and gals. I shall return. The fresh windows open. On the back, the bad side of the three ball. Here, maybe just stop the rock. Stop the rock, play the seven. Stop the rock, play the seven. That's all you can do. Don't get greedy with the position. Seven takes you to that end of the table, and the one ball brings you back to the eight. Just stop the rock. Yep. Whoa! Sorry to yell in your ear, guys. Sorry if you're wearing headphones. I know I, I kind of let that one get a little loud, but that was crazy. I think my dad's gone crazy. Yeah, Sky's made a couple mistakes early on in this set, and I'm sure he's been kind of hanging out, moving around lately, not playing much pool, but. What's up? Sky just missed a, a ball that's really a hanger for him. Oh, what a shot there. Hit the replay button, pal. Wow. 
He deserves to get rewarded after that one. I think you're gonna have to come back and forth again, right? Yeah, there's, there's no, no way. Uh, yeah, yeah. Whew, but the the natural path. <clears throat> oh, you could spin it actually. Oh, and then try to go into the side rail. Y yeah, yeah. Use the side rail to slow it down. I like that. And then. Uh, I think that's what he's doing. And then shoot the the eight in either the side or the corner, whichever works out. Yeah, just like this. Nice shot. Yeah, that's yeah. a real nice shot. Very well played. By the way, I think the stream is up. I don't know if I mentioned that. So nice. You guys have access to that Vitali Sergio match. Whoa! Trying to scratch doesn't work out. Yikes. And Kaylee E wins the game there. <laughs> Finding the bridge on that table is on the table is like plugging in a USB. It's never there in the first on the first try. How true is that? Yeah, I know. Yeah, you always gotta you always gotta flip the USB over. You know what I mean? The plug. Yeah, yeah. Like it's no 50-50. You'd think it's 50-50 odds. But it's at least 55% in favor of, like, having to flip it over. You're like, what the heck? Indeed. Indeed. Oh, on the Griffs channel. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, yeah, we weren't inter we aren't interacting on Griffs channel. I don't have the chat box attached to my stream. Wow, Jack says Kali beat Seeming Chin in the Swanee. Nice. Oh, wow. Nice. Nice. That's a good win. Where's he from? Do you know? I don't know. I mean I know I've seen him before, I just don't remember where, you know. I think he's a local guy out here. Oh, okay. He was talking about maybe doing coming out to hard times for something. This dressed some up. Point. Everything's pretty nice here. Yeah, dry break. Yeah. Oh, Hawaii. Okay. Oh, he traveled here from Hawaii. Wow. Well, dang. I think you got to go solids here. Use the seven as your key ball. He's just checking out the four ball to see if he can get down there. He's looking at the seven right now to see how he can roll to the to the eight. He's playing the rack backwards right now. So you take care of the three, maybe go back and forth to deal with the five and the deuce. Use the one to access the six and 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 then use the six. Whoa. Maybe he was just looking to go into the seven right away. What's he gonna use to get back to the eight? Maybe shoot the four last? Use the one to get to the side of the table now. Take care of the balls on the side of the table and then use the, the four to get to the eight, I guess. Because the eight only goes in the bottom left. I mean, it technically goes in the middle right, but... Yeah, I mean, look, e even, if you, even if you use... You'll... Hmm, I mean, you could even draw over for it, too, if you need to. You know, from the five or come around flat off the two, you know? Yeah. So you got options here. You got some options. Isn't the tablet working on Sergio Vitali? It should be. I don't, you know, I don't know what the live scoring is like. I haven't checked digital pool in a little bit, but everything should be working fine. Yo, Carson Franklin coming in with a four ninety nine. Saying this week has been way more enjoyable and making the work week easier. Keep up the great work. Thank you. We'll try our best. See, I like, 
I, I like would have thought it would have been useful to leave the seven, you know, to get back to the eight. Because all them balls on the bottom right side of the table are, are blocking everything. So, you, you know, you got to find a way to get here. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The 10 ball just plays kind of oh, big. Listen. Unless you're Sky. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, yeah, that's what he's looking at. So, yeah, same idea. Okay, he's coming looking at the flat. two ball. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. He's coming off flat off the two, and then you're going to go into that area of the eight. Oh, I wasn't listening. No, that's cool. Sometimes I just, I'm just so used to tuning you out, you know? I, I kind of like just coming, you know, even one rail. That's actually what, why I enjoy the fact that you do the Dog in It podcast so much. Because I can just practice tuning you out, you know? <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. All right. It's okay. All right. Yeah. All right, Dangle. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to have a good week here, me and you, yeah. big boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I forgot. Let me check the, uh... uh... I don't think the stream is lagging. I haven't dropped a single frame in eight and a half hours. Have you rebooted at all? No, I haven't needed to because the reboot, uh... The post-up channel was down for a few hours. And so when I turn it back on, it's only been on for four hours, three, four hours. If you're having issues like that, it must be on YouTube's side. Try and just refresh your page. Yeah, I've dropped no frames. I've gotten a good upload rate. I can see all the all the analytics here. YouTube says I have an excellent connection. So yeah, try try just it might be a software issue for YouTube. Try a reboot or like a refresh on your page. Yo, Dustin Joss Johns Dustin Johnston, thank you so much. I just saw the cash app. Thank you, man. Good night. I've been trying to check the score on Digital Pool and I keep on forgetting. All right, let's see. Digitalpool.com. I'm going to events. There's the US Open events where it's got all the tournaments in one. 10 ball is done. Let's check out the eight ball. Let's go to live scores. We're going to get there. Sergio Rivas and Vitaly Patsura. It says zero to zero. Huh, okay. Let me see if I can go get a score update and then we'll go from there. Give me just a little bit, you guys.
Kaylee ends up with a little kiss on the uh, 13 ball. I don't know if the six passes the two. I guess we could check it out. I think it might. I think it goes, guys. Yeah, I think it goes. LQ uh, Gur. I, I've actually decided against adding player Fargos to the scoreboard because this is a more uh, prestigious event. Like, not to say that Fargo is not a prestigious uh, um, analytic, but uh, in most other events around the world, when you are talking about world class caliber entrance, they, they tend to leave the Fargo to the side and just let the players compete. I think it's a more interesting thing for open tournaments, including many, many amateurs. Now, that being said, this one... There were a number of amateurs that actually fired at this one, but I think you know what I mean. What's the build on my stream PC? I've got a uh, two terabyte solid state drive. I've got 64 gigs of RAM. I got a uh, GeForce, GeForce RTX 3080 and a uh, uh, Intel i9 10850K, 10 core processor. What scoreboard do I use? I literally made it myself from the ground up. It's just, uh, I, I made the, I took the uh, thematic elements from the promotional material from the events and uh, created a graphic along those lines and with those same themes and then overlaid a bunch of different text things where all I have to do is press button to switch the text to change the, the numbers so yeah and I'm using SMTAV cameras PTZ cameras oh thank you thank you thank you for the score sorry I get I get a little uh distracted when people ask me to nerd out over technology OBS yeah I'm running OBS I made the switch to OBS about eight months ago and I'm loving it it's so much less it's so much less drain on your PC I'm only running at like 5% total CPU do I think there will, there will ever be a 900 Fargo player at any point yeah I think it's I think it's a statistical certainty. Certainty, it's just a matter of time. Speak English for us non-nerds. <laughs> Jennifer Rabbit in the chat. What's up?
Shane Van Boning took down the uh, U.S. Open 10 Ball Championship. Who do I think will be the first to hit 900 Fargo? Uh, I think it's probably a coin flip. It's probably a coin flip that it's either somebody that we already know of or somebody that we'll meet in the next five to ten years. If it's someone that we already know, it's Josh Filler. But at the rate that he's moving, um, he's not moving fast enough. And I think that, I actually think that based on how the, the log logarithmic system works in Fargo rate, that the thing that would be more likely to cause someone to get to, pl to 900 Fargo, it's more likely that someone's going to get to 900 Fargo because the, the player pool grows and there are more players in the player pool and therefore more... Uh, what would you call a, a wider range of skill in the player pool? I think it's more likely that that's the reason that someone makes it to 900 instead of someone just absolutely destroying the existing field. Uh, Ray Norgard, I just went for Intel because I, I was hoping for more stability. It's a liquid-cooled um, Intel processor that I just wanted to make sure it was re really reliable. I think someone's already been over 900 Fargo Rock. I mean, uh, Kyle Boot, in because of that, because of low robustness. So it wasn't technically a real Fargo. Looks like Billy Thorpe has finished his match. Vitaly Patsura now to break on the table being streamed by Windows Open. Looks like someone's in the lead there, 5-2. to two. And I think that the rest of the U.S. Open is pretty much finished. Joao looks like he's playing a match here. Yeah, I think you could get more raw power out of an AMD processor, but uh, I think I've, I've, my understanding is that Intel processors are a little bit more stable. Like you can overclock AMD processors to just ridiculous power, but I don't, I don't think I need that. Fargo should have more of a recency bias. I think the the recent games within the last two to three months are, are significantly more biased than the rest of the games as far as my understanding is. And anything beyond six months is not really biased at all. Uh, what are your personal thoughts on the Town Rat compared to other templates? I haven't had a chance to play many games with it. Uh, but just from what I've watched, I think it's interesting... The design is is nice as far as being able to remove it in more situations where balls are clustered near the spot. Um, I like the fact that the place where the balls lay on the cloth is circular, so you get even distribution of pressure inwards on the base of the ball. That's interesting to me. Uh, it seems fairly thin. Uh, now that being said, I have noticed a couple of instances where the eight ball rack kind of gets taught, like caught up in the break, but I don't know if that's because it's a town, like the town design and that shape is more conducive to that, or if it's because larger magic racks, i.e. magic rack eight ball, like magic rack brand template eight ball rack might do the same. I don't know for sure.
but it seems to freeze the balls pretty nice. Q Q's and code, what are you talking about? You talking to someone else in the chat? Oh, you're talking to Doug. You're talking about Doug Wu. Gotcha. Thought you were talking to me. My apologies. Yeah, I think here you can go solids and maybe even play uh, like a three ball combo to make the seven, unless you can see the seven right now. Yeah, something like that, nice shot. How do I feel about Griff's? I think it's a great spot. I think it's a really great room. I think that YouTube is telling you that you have it muted. Which is ironic that I'm telling you that because then that would mean that you could hear me, but you can't hear me if you're muted. So good luck. Oh, good lord. CJ Farnham says, Are you going to have any special guests in the booth for this tournament? Was really hoping to hear the vocal stylings of Johnny Archer. Ha. Definitely going to try to get some guys in the booth here. Let me just put it this way, though. Anyone who's really going out of their way to try to be in the booth, I'm not particularly interested in having in here. Because those people kind of tend to be the kind of person that just wants to hear themselves talk. But, you'll see how things go. Marcus McCaw coming in with a $10 super chat says, Shout out for Swayze and Carson reclothing the 9 foot. Savannah and I, we have a good time. I like Savannah a lot. Kaylee, he's playing, uh, playing some solid eight ball here. He's going to have to outrun Sky Woodward, though, to a pretty good click because, you know, alternate break being down two to four, Sky already halfway there. Even if you play great, you gotta fade. You gotta fade some stuff. Is to catch coming in? Uh, Federer to catch left town.
Yeah, funny story, Sean Wilford. That's hilarious. Guys, it's amazing what drugs will do to a person. Makes them outwardly aggressive to people that they don't even know. <laughs> it's weird. How can I sign up to be a mod? I People don't sign up to be mods. People don't sign up to be mods. I identify personalities that are right for the job and just hand them out. And if they decide to help, great. If they don't, they just get a cool little blue wrench next to their name when they chat. I know he has, Ike. I know he has. Steven, come on over to YouTube if you want to see it, if you want to see the other chats. Uh, in these matches that are more closely contested, we, we leave the chat box off. But uh, in blowout situations and, and times where the chat gets, you know, pretty, pretty stimulating, I pop this thing up here. Have I ever had paid lessons? Give uh, gotten paid lessons? No, I've never, I've never gotten a paid lesson. No. <laughs> Rule of thumb: If you ask for a mod spot, you're not mod material, probably. There are very few exceptions to that rule of thumb. There are some people, there's actually two people that reached out to me and said, hey, I'll, t I'll do that for you, that I knew were the right people for the job. But they were just doing it, they were reaching out like as an act of service, you know what I mean? And I already knew them from the chat previously. Anyway, uh, Kaylee concedes the game, and Skylar Woodward, now up five to three and breaking. Scratch on the brake, shoot from the kitchen? No. For me, I like getting spanked by mods. That's what I'm talking about. Kinky. Kevin Clark to pay more play more events pay for his airfare and hotel he actually runs a business he has a pool hall so he's a pretty busy guy Sky Woodward making quick work of this one I like going seven three two four eight 
or 73428. Can we um, look through the matches for tomorrow so we can get on the same page? Sure. Okay, let's bring out the bracket if we can. So the first round in the morning is going to be at 10.30 in the a.m. Let me bring it up too so we're looking at the same thing here. So I was thinking about getting Shane Van Boning versus Evan Lunda. That's an interesting one. What else we got? Billy Thorpe, Daniel Maciel. That's also very interesting in eight ball. Yep. Um, Lee Van Corteza. Uh, no, 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 loser side, loser side. Oh, loser, loser side, loser side. the morning, yeah. Savannah Easton versus the winner of Sergio and Vitali. Corey and Joel. Oliver Ruger got a decent draw. Yeah. Into the one last side anyway. Yeah. But I think it's between Billy and Daniel. It would be Billy, Roland, Dan Roland and Marcus Yeah, this Iola. one's good, too. This one's good, too. Yeah. Billy, Daniel, Roland Garcia, Marcus Iola, or SVB, Evan Lunda. Let's put it up to a vote in the chat. What do you say? Put it up to the vote. So this is going to be the first match. Tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning. And then for winter side at noon, Bader and Albin, Mario and Fran, Manuel Montejo versus Carlo. Max and Josh Filler. Jason Klatt. This guy Victor. got that game, right, guys? Sorry, he's distracting Sorry. me. Sorry, buddy. Should be six. Pardon me, six to three. And yeah, blame me. Why not? Well, he was. So on the winner's side, I was thinking between... Who's SVB against? Uh, Evan Lunda. And then uh, Billy Thorpe. Versus Daniel Dang. Maciel. Again, this is one last side action for the morning. Yeah, so I'm starting the poll on YouTube. The only place where you can vote is post up on YouTube. It's at the top of the chat. All right, and then for winter side, I'm thinking between Filler and Lechner. Or, or Filler, Lechner, or Mario, He, and FSR. People just always want to watch SVB, man. Yeah, of course. He's the draw, man. I personally said SVB in Lunda. I know you did. For you, so. I know you did. But you did also say... Uh... Uh, sorry, I had to roast him for a second off mic. Uh, what were you roasting me about? Nothing. Okay. Roasting you about how jealous you are, how good my shorts look. <laughs> anyway, anyway, all right. So, what's the what's the early what's the early uh? Uh, vote how many votes do we have in the poll? We got 120 votes in so far. 70 percent in favor of SVB Evan Lunda. I say if we get to 300 votes, we'll have a at least a pretty decent gauge. Of uh, whoa! Someone putting in a vote with a two dollar super chat. If only that was worth an extra vote. It's if it's a tiebreaker, then that one will win. Okay, Larry, but I don't For think sure. it's gonna go to a tiebreaker. Uh, yeah. Once we get to three hundred votes. And by the way, the second place vote, I'll get on Windows Open. Yeah, second place will go on Windows Open. Yeah. And then so for winter side, what do you think? Oh, the, uh, Lechner filler or obviously Lechner filler or uh, Mario he and FSR I th I thought for you Lechner filler winner side crap yeah probably Lechner filler screw it we already know we already know our uh, SVB Lunda match for tomorrow so we're gonna vote for the winner's side match now too we okay. have a new poll so who was second place though on the uh billy thorpe okay so billy thorpe versus daniel Maciel will be on windows open and the svb evan lunda will be on tv table at 10 30 a.m tomorrow
Boom. Poll started on YouTube. Once again, you can only vote in the post-up YouTube chat. Nice shot there from Kali. Yeah, watch it come like 50-50 on this other one. Yo, Jack Murray coming in with a 999 MLB Productions Billiards. Thanks again for their... Thanks again, if guys for the stream, you guys for the stream. I think that's what he's saying. Wow, look at the look at how close the vote is, in guys. Guys, if you're on Facebook or you're watching on Griff's TV, get over to the YouTube chat for post up and get in this vote because it is close. It is close. Lechner versus Filler or Mario He versus FSR for the for the feature matchup tomorrow. Second matchup, winner side matchup. Holy crap, it's close. Look how close it is. Is it really? Let me see. What's what is it? It's right here. Fifty-four forty-six. Wow. Fifty-three forty-seven. Wow. Mario FSR in the lead right now. Oh, it's shifting. It's shifting. Forty-nine. Shifting. We got a horse race. We got a horse race. We're going to five hundred votes, guys. Wow, five hundred, huh? At five hundred votes, we'll call it. You pick it. You. We're at one hundred and seventy-six votes right now, and it's literally fifty-fifty. We're in Vegas. Can we bet on who's going to win the poll? I know this is crazy. It's actually a coin flip. Nice shot there from Kali'i. Getting back within two. That is so cool to see. Holy crap, that's actually really cool to see. What is it? It's 50-50. Flat? It was a second ago, 49-51. Now? It's going blow for blow, man. Did Kali'i get out? Kali'i did I've get been out. watching this yeah. poll. Five hundred Run, votes. Running to five hundred votes. We're almost halfway there, and we're at a dead even heat. Holy 51, crap! Fifty-one forty-nine. You pick who's going to be on post up for the second match winter, tomorrow. Winter side action. What the hell, guys? This is weird. I will literally call it at 51.49. If it's at 51.49 at 500 votes, the winner plays no. on stream. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. I'll screenshot it. I can. It's look. huge. There you go. 51.49. Where are we at right now? Vote tally wise. How many votes? 260 votes. Can we just call it a 300? No. We got to call it a three. All right, we're going to call it at 300 votes. We're going to call it. There's only 35 votes to be cast, guys. Swing it your way. Swing it your way. 52% in favor of Lechner versus Filler. If you really want to watch Mario He versus FSR, you better get in that chat. And go vote. It's coming down 272. 280. Oh, my God. God, it's like watching it's like watching a horse race. It's still 51-49 in favor of Lechner Filler. Mario He versus Francisco Sanchez Ruiz is in second place. Eight votes to go. If it lands on 50-50 right at 300, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on tilt. Wow. Wow. Come on. Five more. Five more four more votes, guys. Three more. Three hundred votes, Lechner Filler. And the poll, Lechner filler. By 1%. By 1%. Recount. <laughs> Recount the vote. All right. Lechner filler, TV table, Mario Key FSR will be on Windows Open. That was crazy. On Facebook only. Go check it out. You guys are both winners. No way. There's just like literally half the chat is on tilt. <laughs> no, no kidding, right? Rigged, do it again. Fifty-one forty-eight. How does that play out? Because we got thirty or three hundred and one votes, probably. Reject the results. <laughs> Somebody voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> Is that what they said? <laughs> no, I'm just uh -huh. saying. It says it says fifty-one percent to FSR or sorry to Filler Lechner and forty-eight percent to He and and uh, FSR. And so I'm like, someone voted for Donald Trump. <laughs> And I didn't even watch that last rack because I was so 
uh, so eyes glued to the horse race. Who won? Sky? Mm. Is Sky on the hill, guys? The election's rigged. <laughs> Make them play Scotch doubles. <laughs> I like it. Who would you take? Who would you take? Who would you take? Yeah. Lechner Filler versus uh, Mario He and FSR? Yeah. I'd probably go Lechner Filler. I'd probably go Mario and Fran. Really? Yeah, I would. Wow. Yeah. Sky won. Thank you, guys. Sky's on the hill. 28 dead people voted. <laughs> we need to storm the commentary box and get this election overturned. <laughs> That's funny. That is funny. <laughs> oh, shit. Look at this break. Nice break. Who the hell is John Stockton? You don't know who John Stockton is? No, no idea. Utah Jazz. Carl Malone, one of the best assist point guards in the history of the NBA. You don't know who John Stockton is? No idea. Jesus. Okay. That, I, lear that I, was, I learn new things about you like every day. That little vote right there was the funnest thing I've done. In, that was exciting in the stuff. Last, in the last two and a half hours. Yeah. All right, so I'll put up the schedule tonight on Windows Open. You guys can check it out. I'll have the graphic up. But it's over with. Let it go. Yeah. You all get to see two matches anyway. Cancel it's going to be Collins. great. Cancel post up. Collins didn't know who John Stockton was because mm -hmm. he's. I was born in 1989, yeah. and I didn't watch cable television until I was 15 years old. <laughs> That's just, that explains so <laughs> much. I can't even tell you. <laughs> wow. It's all coming together now. You know? <laughs> dude, I look over and like look at looking at your shorts is like a eclipse, dude. It's fucking scared like <laughs> It's just so much light beaming from those white thighs, man. It's unreal, man. Golly. Oh, I can't wait to all get right. to bed. Come on. Holy. Oh, take a swing, Kali. I like it. Oh, no, no. Look at the interesting layout here. You got to go stripes. All the stripes are right by the eight ball. You got to play the combo. You can't play solids here. Mm. You can't play solids. You just It's just simply put, you can't play solids. Hi from Puerto Rico. Hey. Oh my god, he's playing solids. What's he gonna do with the eight ball? Does the eight pass? Just lock Am up. Am I just a fish and, and go, the eight It passes? goes in the side. No, the bottom left corner. Oh, I'm a fish. Oh, beautiful. Oh, it's, yeah. Drive yeah, a freaking yeah. freight train yeah, through there. I definitely watched Wishbone on PBS. No question about it. I don't even know what that is. Obviously. I also watched Veggie Tales. Dude. Barbara Manatee. You are the one for me. <laughs> well, well, guys, it's been fun. It's been really fun, This guys. is going to be the last uh, couple of shots of the day. Yeah. We hope you guys have enjoyed it. USA Ball Open. US Open oh A Ball God. Championship. Nailed it. We're going to be back live tomorrow. <laughs> Matches all day <laughs> long. In the chat says calls Mormon AF. For sure. For <laughs> sure. Amanda, I like Amanda, man. Oh, she's great. That's funny. All right, you guys. Game, set, and match. Good night, everyone. Hope you all enjoyed it. We'll be back tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. This guy's like, finally get to play my match. <laughs> He's waiting so long after losing to John Mora first thing in the morning. Uh, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for all the fun times. I'm going to go edit some videos. See you later. Windows open, still streaming this match, guys. Is this still going on? Oh, yeah, 7 to 5. Oh, okay. Close to the hill. Okay. Have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. <laughs>